Cumbus. Oh wait, I wonder if how much of Bounty Hunter is copyrighted. I can't remember. Oh no. That's fine. Music, let's turn you all the way down, buddy. Figure out how much is actually gonna get turned down. But I turned it to off and it's still going, so that's great. <laughs> it's always a good sign. Yeah. Please turn this off. Okay, I'm still going. I like his like, no, no, no. quality mono or stereo. You're like, all right. Let's <laughs> go. Stereo. Um, We're in big leagues now. God damn. Uh, <laughs> um, okie dokie. Okie dokie. Hey. <laughs> Uh, uh, Making all them noises. Where's my go I'm live option? What's going on, game? Or <laughs> make or noises. Software. There we go. Noise. Ah. All right, that's live. Should Everybody. I do another noise? <laughs> there you go. I did another one. I'm gonna say your noises are gross. What about this one? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all of hot. my noises. Nice. I don't like these noises. They're not as. It's that they're not as pleasing to the ear. No. Ring. Not like. Who gets That's to decide very, uh, these things? It's I'm true. not sure who decides it. I think it's just. Uh, I think it's. I think it's preordained, maybe by like. <laughs> damn it! By the universe. <laughs> who knows? Forerunners. Yeah, Ooh. the forerunners do it. It's... All right. All right, Mr. Kyle, I see you. That means that this must be public in some way. Oobly God! <clears throat> the Kyle has been seen. We are public. Thank you, public Mr. Kyle. Domain. All right, you guys ready for the first one, which is uh, yeah, no. five paragraphs. Okay. It all came in through Streamlabs, sure. you see. Ooh! God all damn! Right. Here goes. I spoke with a friend who watches your vids. He said in 2021, he has started viewing media with an author mindset, which means always accepting what the artist intended as the truth. Uh, <laughs> what the artist, wait, what the art has <clears throat> intended as the truth? Author. Oh, okay. I don't, in, the, in what sense, I guess? Why, why is that? Sorry, so that is an authorial lens to view stories. Apparently, that the, is the author mindset. Uh, that if the author says it's true, it's just true. Apparently. I think he's saying that, like, because he wants to write or something, that he now views other people's stories based on what they intended rather than strictly on what they produced. Hmm. Uh oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, no, I mean, I I'm, I'm interested in knowing what people intended, but, you know. Yeah. yeah, but what they actually make is... Hmm. Mm. Different story. Have you seen children draw with crayons? It's shit, right? Aww. They intend something way different. Gets on the fridge, though. Not on my fridge. It does get on the yeah. fridge. Though there's generally not too much competition. <laughs> if they were in, like, an art my school... Fridge. So they it's go on to say really. that, um... It's sort of like the opposite of death of the author. My friend thinks that if you can come up with an explanation for why something would make sense, then you always should give the benefit of the doubt, especially if the author's central message hinges on the plot detail. I mean, a lot of the time we um, do go with the benefit yeah, of the doubt. I think I think that's a better. It depends approach. on how like, reasonable you, it is. If you yeah. take it too far, it almost feels like: Are you even engaging with what they've created, or are you just like making something up? Making excuses. They yeah, don't know which way's up. Well, I guess I don't know what you're reading, you know, like, if you're going so far with that that you, like, refuse to be like, hmm, maybe that was just a flat-out mistake. Like, I, I, I don't know. You know, yeah. I don't know what you're engaging with. Um, and that's, that's a good point, though, right? Because, like, hey, what if some people really don't know the what way is up? It's like, no. No, I don't <laughs> no. believe you. <laughs> like, no. if, they, if they're inflicted with vertigo and maybe they're underwater and they can't see, I kind of... You gotta make a lot of allowances for me to buy that. <clears throat> a lot. Not super hyper advanced space technology doesn't know which way up is. Yeah, and I... I, I don't believe you. I feel like that's how we've always ran it. That if there's, there's confusion as to what happened and you can reasonably assume something, we have no reason to assume against it. We're just like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. And we yeah. often say, like, would have been nice to have a line, but that's okay. 
Uh, they go on. He thinks YMS more nitpicky videos and Jay's Doctor Who stuff are legit, but that your videos are largely useless at actual criticism. Uh huh. This is a nice. super chat someone sent. Yeah, yeah. Well, this this are it's, they insane? They sent. Well, it's it's their friends' perspective they're sharing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, your friends got some odd perspective there. Hey, man. The author matters the most, apparently. Uh, despite watching them, he thinks. You don't contextualize any of your criticisms to their impact on the plot. I feel like that's all all of us do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's the that's biggest just... thing we talk about. YMS I, I can, and can we you give a fucking the... example from a Forge stream last night where I say, "Oh, they all have, all have these gadgets during this heist thing, and we don't know where they even got them from. They just have them. Like, if they that's like very important because if they don't have them, they can't do the heist." Well, I guess that's the point, right? Is like, if the criticism is raised, is it entirely irrelevant? Because if the answer is no, then what you just said is wrong. <laughs> like, that's a... We usually highlight problems in reference to their effects as well. That's yeah, I mean, that's how we too. define nitpicks. Mm -hmm. what the, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Friend says Disney Star Wars doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt because there's no compelling characters, good setting, or themes. Oh, you oh, can't do that. That's cheating. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <Our> rules breaking <laughs> down already. Look, you should give the benefit of the doubt to everything I like. <laughs> like uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's not really a rule then. You're just picking and choosing seemingly arbitrarily. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to be any kind of system or standard. And we like those. We like systems and standards. Oh, yes, yeah, very useful. Hmm. And yeah, you just, it, it comes back to the whole, like, yes, The Force Awakens, uh, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, they're all art. Get over it. They're just not good at I'm sorry, they're shitty. They got the, they got the big poopy. Big poopy. Poop stank. <clears throat> they all qualify, which means they also qualify for being given the benefit of the doubt, too. Mm-hmm. Even if they're the worst thing ever. Um... He has unwittingly become the nega disnoid using the same arguments as them. Sorry for the ramble, had to share this bizarre conversation. You guys have a great holiday. Don bless. Hi, Raffri Metal. Hey, uh, have a good uh, holiday, hi. dude. Raffri Metal. Where, guess... where are you in there? <laughs> in, in that in that bizarre portmanteau. Where do you exist? I guess I don't. Maybe I'm in the high. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Collect again. Press Y or something. Hey! Don't escape. There we go. Um, so yeah, that, that must have been a really interesting conversation. Just, you know, you just need to poke him in a few directions and it'll all fall apart. And maybe he'll be like, oh my god, I was the, the, the stupid one the whole time. It'll be, a, it'll be a great little character arc for him. He would go on a journey. Oh, the yeah. hero's journey. Or maybe it's the villain's journey. I guess it mm. depends on how that turns out. Yeah. There is no bounty on this droid. Um, yeah, that knocks out a, a couple right there. It's, it's interesting thoughts. Okay. Uh, for your information, jam and jelly are made with fruit, jello, and gelatin. Are made, sorry, jelly are made with fruit, jello, and gelatin are made with bones and hooves, specifically the collagen. Vegans don't eat bones. jello or marshmallows. Just another reason to not be a vegan. I think uh, who was it? Was like, um, don't you know this thing you're eating has bodes and dead and anus and it? So they're just like, oh, it tastes pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm, besides, I meat. I, I eat tons of meat that's off the bones. So, <clears throat> and why why is the anus getting such a bad rap? You know, maybe it tastes pretty good. Yeah, anuses are fucking great. More of an acquired taste, but still. Mm. I don't know. Um, if y'all do an EFAP movie's mini-arc of Mario, be sure to include the 1986 animated movie, the first video game adaptation movie. It doesn't even need a copytism screen due to its copyright limbo. Also, hi, Lord... Hi, Lord Ragzizis, Fring Daddy Hello. G, and Mubesplee. Yo. Hello. Um, yeah, well, once we get close to the release date of this... Chris Pratt is Mario movie. I, I, I feel like we might try and construct a, a little bit of an arc or something. I don't know. That still sounds so funny to me. 
I think it was the role he was born to play. <laughs> and he's not doing a voice for it, right? He confirmed that? Yeah, he's just doing Chris Pratt. <laughs> just is like, all right, I guess. I don't know what uh, I wanted or expected, but okay. It's a me, Mario. Hi, what's up? <laughs> it's gonna be uh, Emmett from the Lego movies. But now he will be Mario. All right, that covers Streamlabs. Let's check out a few that have come in today. See what they're Ooh, saying. Right. See what people are saying right now. I'm glad I got Rakita Law to shout you guys out while Rags was in the chat, and then had the next chat to say hi, Rags. Love it. Oh, mm -hmm. hello. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, that was a neat stream. It was late, so I caught uh, at least at least two hours of it. It was I've... neat. He's probably been one of the oldest requested people that we still haven't managed to get on. I just, um... Yeah. We've got to find that perfect video, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One that'll, that'll make it all worth it. But, um... I can't remember if I've been on a stream with him either. I think I might have somebody's crossover at some point, but... He's a pretty interesting dude. And, um... Yeah, it'd be fun to have him, you know, talk about anything to do with, like, sort of lore plus, uh, media. That... Uh, a shit with Legal Eagle and Captain Marvel, that would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. That would have been. You know, the, there is value in covering that again, but with him. I, I don't know if maybe we should do him for something else, though. I'm sure there's stuff besides that we can cover. We I guess we just have to devote some time to looking, yeah. you know? Maybe we could ask some people to suggest some videos. Maybe. See if they can find some. Um... Hi, Rags. Hello. Would you like me to take your onus, or would you rather take my onus? Your onus? Mm. Well, some say the onus should be on you, and some say the onus should be on me. So, it sounds like one of those context-specific situations that I'm not ready to declare a method of action on. Can't say. I wish I had a better answer, but I just want to make sure I don't paint myself into a corner. There you go. I don't want to commit to something. It might not work out. Uh, in incidentally, today I found out that the onus is Latin for load. Oh! A lot of, uh, a lot of legal languages derived from Latin and French. Neat. The Latins, they knew what was up. And, and the, the French, they, uh, they also kind of knew what was up. Uh, finally, I played Soma, and now it's one of my favorite games ever. Uh, depressing, but had me think about my existence as a whole. 9 out of 10. I mean, yeah, I'm glad you had fun with it. Very glad. I'd, I'd recommend everyone have fun with it, including green people. Absolutely. Everybody. Be they beaked or not beaked. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Also, Arcane is great, but don't let the overhype get to you. It has only been overhyped, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I hope it can even come close to living up to how everyone has said it's amazing. I hope so because it has oh, been boy. very hyped. One of the most hyped things we've ever seen. Well, we haven't even seen maybe that. the <laughs> most. Well, uh, we've ever seen hype. Oh, right, the, right, right. Seen seeing the hype, not the thing. I was gonna say everyone will stop fucking going nuts if they're like, "You've seen it?" I'd be like, "No, no, 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 no." no. <laughs> we'll let you know maybe. We there is no rush for me to see it, but I mean, with yeah. everyone recommending it, there's no reason not to now. I probably get asked like every day now when I stream. Is it Arcane yet? I, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm playing Halo. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a life. I'm playing Halo. I'm playing Halo. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're playing Halo. Um. I think the super chats that were missed were actually made during a call-up, the catch-up stream. They were about Persona 3 disappointing me 10 hours in, something, or something. Another one was about a troll face, Daisy Ridley. <coughs> Didn't we have a bunch of Persona ones that we were all, like, lost on? It was an Amin yeah. fab, wasn't it? Yeah, if we did that. get Persona ones, I would be lost, because I don't know anything about that weeb garbage. I've never, yeah. play, I've, I've never <laughs> played that game. I don't know what it is. I just don't know anything about it. So I'm pretty I, sure it was a couple of the last catch-ups and or meme fabs because well, there was just like five six seven eight in a row and it was like we have no fucking clue what's going on <laughs> there are 
um, I think it's like two or three hours worth of catch up in a meme fab that's been recorded, so you'll get that eventually as well. I guess it's probably January you're looking at for that one. Just don't know where to fit it in otherwise. Um, in the EFAP Discord, me and some others came up with ways to improve the ST, and one of the ideas had Finn as the main character. Thoughts? Howdy rags. Hi. I'm not against that. I'm fine with that concept, especially if it means we don't have to spend all that time with Daisy Ridley's Ray. Mm -hmm. I guess mm -hmm. just Ray is a character. Daisy really didn't have anything to do with it. This Ray's just shit. She's just so dull and boring and uninteresting. There's just nothing about her that's compelling that I care about. Man, imagine being dull, boring, and uninteresting. <laughs> Fucking and death. Also, Ray Skywalker. Right Damn. Yeah, I'm you going for the, yeah, I'm going for the, uh, just mixing it up with some Hebrew-style superlatives. I think it's, uh, <laughs> can I get the point across a little bit? She's really, she's just really those things. Dull, boring, and uninteresting. Not her fault she was born that way. <laughs> Not, you, she didn't have to be born that way. <laughs> Oh, man, so finally, so Slayer, Fiesta, Free For All, and SWAT are going to be added to Halo this Tuesday. What a great nice. idea. Wow, yeah. they should, yeah, I'm There's, glad that I they, mean, they eventually added I'm that I'm glad in. it took them a month, but, you know, <laughs> that's, that's, uh... We considered yeah. doing this on launch, but... We, we made didn't. enough money selling the color white that we decided <laughs> to put Slayer into the game. Layer. Have any of you guys... I know that... Meadows played a bit of campaign. What about uh, the rest? I it? haven't. Um, I've heard good things, though. I've heard good things from people who have pretty bad opinions about 343, so that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's so right. Uh... I was gonna play it yesterday, I think, but I uh, too many things got in my way, so I'm not sure when I'll do it, uh, but I will. I played the first hour, but I've been having a bit of, of performance issues in the open world, so I'm just trying to sort that out. Mm. But uh, it's, it's fun. Um mechanically it's solid but i guess i've got nothing for the open world yet I need to play more i think i have almost 10 hours in now oh, <laughs> like boy. my first first day i streamed it like five and a half hours just went by like that <laughs> um, i mean I'm, I'm still having fun open world is basic open world right I'm, i mean i don't want to say too much because we, we are going to cover it right so oh yeah yeah so it's uh i'm having fun I, I just wonder how, how how long I'm gonna have fun with all the side things because open world normal open world issues with the side stuff because it's all the same almost. like outposts and stuff yeah yeah that seems to be uh it's um man Far Cry 3's like effect on the video game industry <laughs> is is so pronounced when you really think about it. Um, or maybe it wasn't even that game, it was just that Ubisoft kept doing that and then everybody kept doing mm -hmm. that. Except for, like, Rockstar. I mean, still the, sh to do. the shooting is just very satisfying, just driving around, shooting things. It does, it's it just, does feel it's... like you don't get many shooters anymore that are, like, just mechanically not engaging. It feels like that's not a problem that you often have. It's the content side where things start to be a problem. Yeah. But yeah, I'm still having fun. Uh, I'm gonna take as much time as I need because I, I don't know when you want wanted to do it. Uh, but I, I'm guessing it's a, more than a week to play this game, so I'm just, I think I'm just gonna do yeah. everything I can. Have a have a good bunch of hours and, mm -hmm. and uh, can give a give feedback on that. I think story is probably gonna be your department, Fringy, because I know fuck all about Halo. <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, I don't, like... <laughs> I don't <know> <laughs> well, that'll be our point. job, Mel, to come in without the context. I'm yeah, not even yeah. sure that it's my domain, honestly, because, like, I played Halo 5, and, and I'm here See, I didn't. playing this game now, and it's <laughs> confusing to me. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. Um, yeah, okay, well... Well, it slots into this weird place where it's trying to be like a soft reboot, but it relies very heavily on uh, past games. It has to. It's a direct sequel. Mm -hmm. As opposed yeah, to I don't know anything about Halo 2018, 5. which, well, all you need to know is that it was like, 
it was like Terminator Genesis kind of experience. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard a lot of horrifically bad things about it. Well, I mean, they assassinated Cortana. Um, That's among not other that things. bad, lad. <laughs> I saw that. Hey, you didn't see yeah. nothing. <laughs> Wait, what'd you do? Nothing. 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 Yeah, nothing. Nothing at all. It's fine. It's nothing to okay. see. Just walk along. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be playing more Halo tomorrow. I, um, I guess. Just floop around on the open mm -hmm. world. I I find it endlessly amusing that uh <laughs> the, the tweet Idris Elba had a lot of questions about Knuckles' motivation. Says Sonic Two <laughs> director. <laughs> That's really amusing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, man. He looks like Knuckles looks cool in that trailer, which, man, feel, feels like a weird turnaround, doesn't it? What happened with the Sonic movies went from like, oh my god, what the fuck have you done? To like, legitimately, people are excited to see more of this Sonic, like, world. yeah, man, that was a hell of a good decision they made to it was redesign a very good him. Decision. Um, it's probably like a precedent setter, you know, in terms of hey. You know, like it might maybe actually we shouldn't fuck to... up the fans. Um, well, I feel like it's more the thing of you put something out, it gets really badly received, and you have an opportunity to change it. You know, like give it mm -hmm. a shot. Um, because yeah, now you've created something that people are actually excited for. Um, I'm sure it'll be a fun movie. Look, Rags, it's TC nine D zero. He's wanted. Dead or alive. Last known location. What do you need to do? do? Brief. This wayward droid contains highly sensitive information concerning the personal affairs of an unnamed politician. Return or destroy? Why would they want it destroyed if it was really... Maybe maybe they don't want it going out or something? The droid gonna say the n-word? Yeah, I think so. Oh no. Kill it! <laughs> Sorry, bro. 2,500 credits. Dead or alive for a robot? Can you, like, activated or deactivated? I... That's a great question. I don't know what it means exactly. If I unplug him or take his battery out, does that count as dead? I don't know. I guess we'll never find out. Guess we'll never know. Um, Sorry I can't quite watch this live. I'm going to a wedding, so I'll catch this as a VOD. Yeah, nice. Bye, Rags. Bye. Hopefully not your own. Oh. <laughs> Is, do you hate weddings, Rags? Yeah, I do. I think they're fine. Kind of boring. Though. Yeah, they're fine if they're short. They are very boring. <laughs> when do we get to the drinks? When do we get to the part that we're really here for? <laughs> so, Rags, what's your favorite biome in Minecraft? Ooh, um... Well, I'm a builder. I really like to construct things. I like forests, I think. I've always kind of liked the foresty stuff. Forest places. I like the nature and the greenery, but you know, planes, they're really good for just like just building things in terms of uh, like just stuff, making villages and things of that nature. So I, I probably those two. I like forests and planes, nothing fancy. I don't really care for stuff like swamps because it's just a pain in the butt to trudge through them. Um, mountains, not that much. Uh, Savannas are all right. Those are pretty nifty. I don't like anything ice related. I don't like if it's snowy and everything's frozen. I don't like it. I, I just don't want to be around that. I just kind of hate it. So don't don't even ask me about hanging out in the ice because I won't do it. I am a hot dog, not a cold dog. All right, then. Uh, name a better redemption arc than the Sonic movie franchise. <laughs> oh man, we already uh. <laughs> yeah, kind of covered that. Yeah. <coughs> uh, um, I mean, I guess it is like, because you guys have seen that movie, or was it just me who saw it the first? Time? I, I, I have. Saw it. I've not seen it. I have I've not seen, seen it. it. Right, so, like, the first one is definitely slots into... If it was, like, a 2000s movie in a certain sense, like, what mm. 2000s, like... Wacky, you know, wild, blending. a lot of places, uh, a lot of things. Well, uh, maybe more like a late 2000s in that case. It's it's more like, um... 
for as much as they kind of tried to salvage that film, I think you can still see the traces of, like, the original film that they were going to make. Um, Do you think they tried to make it too serious originally, or tried to make it too... Um... I, think it, I think it was a thing of, like, um, you look at this new one, it feels much more like they're leaning into the video games. It, it feels like the first one... Um, what it originally was was it's based on a video game but we're not going to lean too heavily into that because that's scary like leaning into the the real video <laughs> gamey scary. elements i well we can't lean into way, the right? thing that like, he's known for well it's it, it's kind of I, th I think we're getting past that now though because even like the new mortal Kombat, it's like they tried to lean a little bit more into the video games which is kind of what people wanted um i and, wonder and what I think, created yeah. that attitude was it like the first doom and how spectacular um, of a failure that was think, that it just I think the, ruined it I think for a while. This is, so I think this is a problem that comic book movies had for a long time too, which is like, oh, that's stupid and dumb. We're not doing that. We're gonna we're gonna like try and make it more realistic. We're gonna try and make it more mainstream. And now like, we're at a point where it's like with comics, people get giddy if you adapt directly from the comics. Like we've reached the point where people actually want to see you know, it's kind of like in the X-Men movie, they're like, oh, what are we going to wear, yellow? It's like, well, they're definitely going to wear yellow when they come into the MCU. Like, of course they are. Because that's what they wore in the comics, and that's that's what people want to see. And I, I think uh, I think that the new Sonic, like this one, feels much more like, oh, yeah, let's bring in Tails and Knuckles and have them, like, let's have them have their conflict like uh, like they had in the video games. Let's try to adapt directly from the material rather than trying to warp it and tailor it to a mainstream audience because the mainstream audience is like people who played sonic you know that that audience exists and it's it's big enough that, maybe now kind of, it's gaming yeah. is so big now that it's just more feasible to get more into the gamey side of things yes that that's kind of that's what i think i think that uh video games i definitely think video games have reached the point where it's like the people who shit on them it's like ah you fuck off whatever you know like because video games are just so common and and accepted and part of the media landscape um i mean you know now we're making like last of us tv shows and you know a whole bunch of movies i i think uh it'd be terrible I, um well i feel like every time it's like you know that the guy who made chernobyl is making that show right oh and then, you, and then you're like oh that be good though. actually yeah we've had this like conversation clockwork. before And I mean, Arcane, right? That's another example of a hyper-successful video game show. You know what's funny is, uh, if Galactus' introduction in the MCU is with James Gunn, he's probably gonna look one-to-one -one with the comics. However, if it's, like, someone else, like a Chloe Zhao or something, I think it would be very different. Um, I think it would be a bit different. I think that they would, I think that there would actually be someone, like, one of the execs or the producers who's like, hey, no, this needs to look like Galactus in the comics. I legit think that they have that conversation now. Because, I mean, you hear things, like, I, I remember that there was something I saw that they think that, uh, in, like, when Daredevil inevitably shows up in, uh, like, one of the upcoming shows, probably She-Hulk, that he's gonna be wearing the yellow costume. It's like, oh, Jesus, like, wow, really? They're gonna, like, lead into that aspect of the comics. I wouldn't put it... I, th I think at this point, that's, uh, that's what people want to see. I think, I think that's, uh, I think that's the, the way to go now, in terms of getting appeal. Because, like, normal moviegoers will be either indifferent to it, or they'll like it, and the comic book fans will really like it. Um, watch OG Cowboy Bebop save weebs by tearing down their sacred cows. Um, no. I, I watched the first two episodes, I thought they were cool. Yeah, um, I liked it, so... I'm not I'll interested in... with it. Yeah, I'm just not interested in it enough to tear it down. I'll probably rewatch it one day. We already tore I... down the weebs sacred cow, didn't we? <laughs> they have several. <laughs> Uh, watch Ruruni Kenshin Trust and Betrayal. It's two hours. Rags, Moots, Fringles, Morley. Nah. You can't force me to do shit. <laughs> um, I'll just a two hour in. anime just doesn't sound very appealing to me. Just on the maybe pile with a lot of stuff, you know. Oh, I've even heard of it. I don't know whether it is. Did a bad job selling it to me, Chatter. Ow. Yeah. It's no. your fault. Oh, why, how did you become so mean? We're not mean. Used to be the nice We're... one. Yeah. 
That's why we. That's why he hung around because he was a super nice one. Now you don't bring anything of value to our to our bad boys three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I know you guys don't know it, but JoJo Part Six is out. In order to be, in order to celebrate, can you guys look at the stands and each choose which one you want? I, I think. You know how many there, was, there are. <laughs> there the was a super notice. chatter before who gave us stands. I have no idea what it means, but uh, use those. Is that I where guess. we get the name from, or did they take that from like we stand something, or is that what it's from? Stands with a D at the end. Stands. Stand is yeah. okay. Yeah. That's what they call their fighting powers. It's basically like a. I know what I don't know what they're supposed to be, and I watched it. I don't know. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> this is just a, this is their magical form. Fighting spirits. Like, yeah, fighting spirits is probably uh, the best explanation. They they have like different skills. The way these. Doesn't, Characters. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is fucking stupid as shit, and I love it. <laughs> the way these characters run in game reminds me of Robot Chicken for some reason. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It kind of does. They, uh, the, the way they move their arms around. <laughs> On the chat wrote, Jojo makes me ashamed to be an anime fan. <laughs> Not Jojo I mean, Rabbit. That's really a good like, anime. Uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, though, right? That's like one of the really popular ones. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Jojo. Uh, jo. Yeah, it's, it's 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 so dumb, but I get a kick off out of it watching it. It's just funny, funny bad. <laughs> I've heard it's crazy, crazy. Yeah, you could say it's a uh, <clears throat> bizarre. Whoa, nice. Dude. <laughs> oh God, I said a word. You really did. Uh, greetings, long man. Hello, hi, rags. Hi. Ahoy, fringy. Yo. Guten Tag, Metal. Ah, uh, guten Tag. Hello. If Chris Chan didn't sonifu his mother, oh, would have been he would have been melted. Uh, that will be all. Carry on. I, I, all right. The less I know about the life of the Chan, the better. <laughs> yeah. Um. Howdy again from Texas, Efap. Hello. Uh, Muller, I got your plush, and it wards away the bad takes from my home. Nice. Yo, Fringy and Mootle. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Uh, thank you guys for your content as well as streaming on my birthday today. Also, howdy, Rex. Hi. Yeah, no worries. Oh, happy uh, birthday for when yeah. that was sent through. Yeah. Oh, that was that's today's stuff. Went today's stuff. Oh, okay. Happy birthday, dude. Yeah. Ha happy old. Happy, happy old. Birthday. Happy, birthday. happy birthday. a day closer to the sweet embrace of death. <laughs> Yay. Oh, it's not <laughs> for all of us. Some of us are not looking forward to it. Well, you know, <laughs> what do they say about dying? It's the easy part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Potentially the worst message. Arrow. Yeah, possibly. Potentially one the worst message we've ever seen in any work of fiction. <laughs> Certainly. That was a while ago, too. We might. This was from. So, Crisis was, on uh, Infinite Earth. It was a couple years the, ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. It was the crossover event for all of the CW superhero thingies, whatevers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we yeah. only watched it because Batwoman was in it. This was back during season <laughs> one. Hero. Ruby Rose was yeah. portraying that character. The, uh, and um, the, the power god of courage. <laughs> yes, she was the paragon of courage. And um, the the message that was sort of presented to the audience in that one multiple times was that um, dying is the easy part. The real heroes are the ones who have to keep going. <laughs> so now, that's I was going to say, it's really worse with context. Up. If it's, you yeah. want to be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly charitable, I think the best you could pull from that is that continuing and persevering is difficult um but when said <laughs> like that in full <laughs> that is incredibly generous considering what was the actual quote because uh it, it i don't know your mind immediately goes to just like any war ever it's just like man yeah. you know and just sitting there choking up coughing up your own blood it's like hey this is the easy part i i have to keep living <laughs> like that's just it just feels like Oh, uh, then again, someone in chat put because you said possibly the worst message, and someone wrote, you they'll never know what you sacrificed for them." It's like, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's up there too. But the, that one is a quote 
on its own could be very good, I guess. It could but... be very good, but but the yeah, context. Yeah, That's okay. Wanda's gonna be a villain anyway. Yay. Um uh, even if WandaVision didn't recognize that she was already one. <laughs> hey Rags, can you appreciate the name of this bounty? Uh, let me let me let me put the stream on. Let me. I, I've seen it already. Uh, I didn't mention it. I thought it would be funny. No, you can see it for yourself first, Dad. Let me. Uh, let me. I gotta go to some because it doesn't just pop up in my. Fuck, there it is. All right. <laughs> Andy's. <laughs> Andy's. 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 That sounds and like someone used. gave up when they were writing these fucking names. Like, and and use, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just used the letter scrambler. Yeah. Um. Let's see what his crime is, shall we? Uh, subject yeah, is a rogue there. assassin with credentials as a sharpshooter. Oh, that's it. All right. Well, right. Fifteen hundred credits. Not bad. Is that? Is so is fifteen is that a like is that a lot in the Star Wars universe? I feel like that's not a any? lot actually. I feel like that's not a lot, yeah. So mm. he's either not really that deadly or they don't really want him. It's like, care. yeah, if you happen to be around and you care. pick him up, yeah, sure, I guess. If you run but, into him, you know. Yeah, like maybe if you're doing trouble. something else. Maybe if you're doing a job we care about. Um and you see Ant Yee's just sort of <laughs> hanging around in you know the slums you as know how they do. Yeah, you know how you know how he is. He just loves to hang out in those low, low class areas with the dirt and the grime. It's now all of Star, now all Star Wars looks like just this dirty, grimy shithole. So who knows yeah. where he? Can be. Well, yeah. It, Remember when Star Wars was had like Mando. nice places? The prequels. Yeah, and they always did have nice places. It wasn't just in yeah, the prequels. even. Best Dirty was like a mining facility or whatever, but it looked really awesome. And Yavin 4 was real pretty. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah. yeah, nowadays Endor. it just seems like everything is... Wouldn't, uh, you know, Hoth wasn't exactly yeah. ugly. No. Um, of course, you had, you know, you had like uh, Moss Eisley and uh, Tatooine. Like, uh, but, but that was specifically a wretched hive of scum and villainy <laughs> that you'll never find more wretched. No, so it was the now normal state of the universe. It was pretty normal, yeah. yeah. Every um, place I, is... The New Republic has just really let things gone to shit. They really have, yeah. Every place is Mos Eisley. The whole galaxy is <laughs> a hive of scum and villainy. There's nowhere nice. We never see any place oh. nice. By the way, on the subject of Star Wars, so there's... Quantic Dream is making a Star Wars game set in the High Republic era that they recently made up. Um, okay. Yeah. Is that the David Cage guy? Yeah, that or is. is. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the I don't cinematic. hear that many great things about it. Uh, oh, well, this this one's... Oh, you might be thinking maybe like their last game. This one was just announced at the game. Yeah, yeah, the last... Yeah, the... the the, what's the, the robot one? Wait, what? The robot one? Yeah, the robot game David Cage made. Oh, uh, Detroit Become Human. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one where it's like, kind of like shit Blade Runner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, shit Blade Runner. Really bad dialogue, um, because it's Quantic Dream game. <laughs> so it'll fit in with Star Wars now. Well, I mean, it'd be nice if it was good. Um. Yeah, it would be nice. Maybe, maybe it would, well... I guess uh, on the video game front, like, it hasn't been completely catastrophic, right? People liked Fallen Order. Yeah, I guess they did. I didn't play it, though, so I don't know. I didn't care for it. I got bored, right. really. Yeah, I got uh, really bored of it. I just sort of played it in one... I, I sat down once to play it. I played it for, I don't know, four, six hours, something like there. Something like right. that, sorry. And, um... I just like stop. I just didn't care about anything. I didn't care about anyone in it. I didn't care about the mechanics or what I was doing or why. And well, I was just generic. like, this fun. I think yeah, that's, that's super generic. Is that it was kind of like Dark Souls light. Um, yeah, maybe I'll we'll play it eventually. It um, feel interesting. I, by the way, just because uh, we're probably not going to talk about it much, the Game Awards. I find it very interesting. That uh, that the the premier like video game award ceremony, the majority of people are watching for trailers. That is a uh, oh that yeah, is a very we don't interesting 
Oh yeah, why... I didn't give a shit about who won what because I know it's all well, horseshit anyway. It, it so. tends to be the standard thing of if if a cool game wins an award that makes us happy, and if a game that is overrated wins the award, it's like all right, whatever. But you're kind of just there to watch trailers and announcements. Um, a lot of CGI trailers though. I thought we we're moving past that as a trend, but uh, I guess not. One of the I cool want gameplay was well, something that would be cool, and we didn't get gameplay for it. But who knows? But uh, Monolith is making a Wonder Woman game. The same people who made the uh, the Shadow of like Mordor, Shadow of War games. Now really cool. Yeah, so, I've uh, heard decent things about that. So anyway, that could be crash. really cool. Yeah, I noticed. Sad. Oh, man. <laughs> Mad. Mm. <clears throat> I will say, it, when when that game got announced, it's like, oh yeah, Wonder Woman has never had a video game. That's kind of weird. <laughs> like, you figure that she would have gotten one at some stage. Lookism. Uh, Lookism indeed. You are playing the... Look at how scared Luigi is. You're going to send him into that gauntlet? <laughs> and he's going to come through it, and he's going to save his brother. Yes, he is. He's going to save Mar Mario. He's oh, going to yeah. come and get him. They're not doing that voice, I think, in uh, in the movie. <laughs> so I, absolute cowards. So I guess you're doing... It, did you did you get bounty huntered out? Did you catch all of your bounties? Well, now he's going to catch a bunch of ghost bounties. That's, that's This what's is happening. the multi-game melee medley where I play one per ten oh, minutes. Wow. And you just do the first level from ten or twelve different games? Yeah, it'll be really this fun. This game ruined Luigi. This game, like, created Luigi. This game ruined Luigi. I've never even played this <laughs> game, but even I am like, what? <laughs> like, what? Luigi as we, as we know him kind of doesn't exist without Luigi's Mansion. Where? Like, Luigi is a character. A real character. <laughs> a lot more so than Mario is. Mario, yeah, hey, just... Mario... Mario, um... Mario's hero he man. Stuff? Luigi yeah, is, uh, is unconventional. He's scared, but he pushes through anyway. It's why everybody likes him. That's what courage is. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's Luigi is super easy to like. I want you to be okay. The subreddit has tons of bad takes on Hawkeye. Kate shoots a normal arrow and it knocks down a building. People are defending this as making sense. Um. I, but I'm pretty oh. sure a bell takes down the building. She, so this, I don't, I think this, yeah, this would have been the one in episode one because, uh, it was, uh, she bell? she's doing like some, I don't know, like a dare or something at a college and she, she tries to basically shoot an arrow to hit a bell to make it ring to show off like how good of a shot she is. She yeah. hits it, doesn't really ring. And then she shoots it again, and it like loops onto the 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 little string in the bell, and then that that the what? bell collapses because of that. What? I this don't know why it collapsed because of that. But okay. I mean, it wasn't okay. it wasn't just an arrow knocking down a building. There's a little bit of Wait, a, so the arrow knocks down the bell, which knocks down the building. Is that how it works? The arrow hits the bell and makes it ring, and then I don't know for some reason the bell falls down, <laughs> destroys the building. Okay. I think that's so better. It's, it's 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 better than if the arrow just yeah. hit the wall and then the building collapses. We have I guess to I'll engineer have to see it. it. Um, yeah. how far are we in Hawkeye now? Is there four or five episodes? Uh, in? episode four, and I think um, because it's kind of you see the discourse. I think Yelena's just showed up. Well, um, I'll be willing to blast through it at one point if you guys. Yeah. Are. No, I I'll uh yeah. Because uh, I just want to know what happens for anything that will be relevant going forward. Cause I'm yeah, not I'm willing to watch it for the information, not for the entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm at for the MCU. Yeah. I'm well, still on the fence if I want to see well, it or not, you know. Well, I mean, at rags, I will say, because, like, I keep saying it, because this just feels like the, the take was uh, episode one was fine until the plot started. So I, th I think oh. we're in store for, like, not a good series but you know, than given the, given, probably yeah. just by virtue can, of how low stakes it is it probably won't have as many things that can go wrong maybe are we yeah maybe but i do get worried about because kingpin's like probably in this show uh and i guess now i'm like hmm how um, these characters that i like how are you gonna like slot them into this universe you know are, are there gonna, gonna be any gonna dudes in the new avengers um, Shang-Chi, right? Shang-Chi? 
Um, and and I, I guess Thor's still around. Doctor right? Strange. But Doctor Thor will Strange. be replaced by um, Jane what's Foster. her face? Yeah. Right? I don't know if he's oh, going to be replaced. Like There's both. I don't think exist. he's being replaced. I think she's yeah. She's just going to get to be Thor too. Okay. Um, and uh, that could be totally fine. They just need to make her more of a character than she. Was yeah, I like Tiger's before. character writing for the most part. So Don't we'll have to see what he does no. first. Well, I think they are adapting directly, right? And I think the well, if... the the story is that she like gets cancer, right? And then when she becomes Thor, it like doesn't get rid of it. It just delays it. So she needs to be making choices about that. That could be interesting. Like personal sacrifice in order to be a ca uh, in order to be a hero at certain points. I, d I don't know. Maybe maybe it could be something cool. Uh, someone in chat said, "Are you going to follow Marvel regardless of how crap it gets?" So as long as I'm still invested in a couple of their characters, I'll still want to yeah, see so what like they do with them. Still got mm. like because I'm still invested in Spundo, Doctor Strange, Doctor and Strange Guardians in my main lab. Guardians and Thor to a certain extent. I'm worried. Though. Thor is a big question mark right now. Mm -hmm. And hey, maybe they will introduce a new character that we'll really like. That could, that'd be neat. That would be cool. If yeah. they could do that. We'll have to yeah. see. Um, Hey, Fringy, speaking of Halo Infinite, seems to ignore a whole lot that 5 set up, for better or for worse. Would you rather they stay away from Halo 5's Tismy story? Um, so, it's kind of awkward. I think that, uh, I think that in order to, like, salvage Halo, you kind of need to... Five needs to be non-canon, I think. Um, a but, great position to be in. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think that that's a decision that people, you know, want to make ever when it comes to, like, making stuff. So, uh, I think the problem is, yeah, because, like, with Infinite, they want to, uh... <laughs> they want to, like, have it be something that people who've never played Halo can jump into, but... Even in the first hour, it's like, man, I don't, I, Halo 1 is much more straightforward than this game could ever be, because this game has a lot of history that it relies on. Halo it used 1 to starts, be that you could just play Halo and you'd know the story from playing the game. The, that's the big thing. They started to, you know, you read Fall of Reach, you can read the books, and you'll get something really cool out of it, but it's not, it's not essential. Um, whereas with Halo 5 in particular, the books and everything else became essential um, and I think Halo Infinite still suffers to a certain extent because of that. Because, of course, my immediate thing when I'm sitting here is, wait, so, and, and of course, if you didn't play Halo Wars 2, The Banished, who are you? Like, I thought The Covenant, what? Like, who are The Banished? Who is Atriox? Um, oh, The Infinities exploded. I thought that was, like, the premier ship of the, wow, like, if these guys could do that, my god. It's like, where is everybody? Where's Lasky? Where's, uh, Palmer? Where are all these people? Maybe they show up later on, I don't know. But but I guess I'm just saying, like, if you... I played those games and I find it confusing. If you haven't played any of the games, probably going to be totally lost. Oh, yeah, um, I mean, I, I, I played 1 and 2 recently. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, Flood and Covenant. That, I, that's, that makes sense. Well, Halo like... 1 has a really straightforward setup. You've... Do they know, you know, like, all I need to know is, d did they follow us? We both know the answer to that. Okay, hey, wake Chief up. We need his help. All right, oh, we're being boarded. Okay, now we need, we've got to crash on this crazy ring. Oh, boy, here we are. And then the story, like, that. the story has a very clear, yeah. it's not confusing. There is a bigger world to learn about from the books and everything else, but it is entirely inessential. Got everything you need. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you got everything you need uh, right there. Because I got surprised when I was thinking, I was like, well, "Were the banished?" And they were like, they were introduced in Halo yeah. Wars Two. I was like, huh? "They were. That's right." Like, and it's like, "Man, that's, that's weird. weird." I mean, the banished. I <laughs> said find... that's weird at the exact same time. Yeah. <laughs> I find the the banished. I, I find it kind of interesting as well. Just like, man, you know, the Covenant was scared of them. It's like, oh, fuck me. Man. Where were like, they this the whole Covenant... time? You do well, wonder. That's... That's your immediate thought, right? It's like, man, we never heard of them. We never encountered them once. This crazy big Covenant splinter group that was so powerful that the Covenant didn't even want to get tangled up with them. It's like, man, but the Covenant were like the scariest force that we'd ever encountered, ever. They were like really difficult to beat. Um, we got the aspect that there was, you just felt like we have humans and we have the Covenant and then, and then the, the introduction of the flood was like, okay, there were they weren't around before, but 
they were okay so now we've introduced them to this world for us at least and so that feels like okay so we have our three factions we have humans we have alien humans and we have the zombies okay all right yeah. we could do a lot with this and now they're just like no there's also the banished and they were wow. they, they, like they, they marveled it there's they they've kind of run into that problem i think i think the clearest example of this is the forerunners were always in the background the forerunners wouldn't like the they weren't players weren't, they were lore they yeah they weren't we were on forerunner installations the forerunners were obviously important but they were gone they weren't relevant anymore they were a part of history now the forerunners are very important in like the current story um because of course the forerunners were important in halo 4 they're important in halo 5 and from what i understand they're important in this one too um and it's just like man we are making it very difficult when you know probably we should have just ended this at three there was a story we told it and then reach tied it up nicely in a little bow full circle and that was it but now we need to keep it going even though the conflict itself should be done and it feels you gotta... really confused and lost yeah i feel like you need to do a star wars where you're just like meanwhile on the other edge of the galaxy or something like that yeah. is something well. very far removed from everything to where it's like technically the same universe the so, same lore but the problem is that when halo 4 came out i remember like oh it's been so long since i've seen master chief and it's like i man this is why halo will never end and more importantly why master chief will never like get to rest people want master chief specifically they want to play as master chief and fight the covenant um and it's like and so because of that you need to keep this story going a story that was very much done yeah it was um, finished it was, things can't halo be done 3, anymore halo 3 was very much it's over the covenant have been stopped the flood are no longer a threat the rings have been deactivated and the arc has been destroyed and and like so it's over it's done like it's it's we won yes we and won now, the war's over the universe can carry on but it's, it's yeah. all over and now halo 4 is like no it's not over and it will never be over because we, this is microsoft's most important franchise we need to keep it going forever we need tv shows we need we need everything make it happen yeah. reach had the good sense to be a prequel yep because there was still a story to tell there but yeah <laughs> But enough about Halo. Let's let's uh, let's press <laughs> on. Well, we'll we'll probably do a full episode on on Halo Infinite eventually. So no worries, folks. We'll talk all about that storyline. Yeah. Uh, Arcane is good because it has best character writing I've seen in years. I predict Muller will watch it, then immediately schedule an EFAP on it. Maybe, maybe if, if it impresses. <laughs> Um, just back from Chicago making short films, was able to convince some film students that Star Wars sequels are bad. Uh, one said it was the best filmmaking in Star Wars. Uh... Mm. A lot of normies out there who just... Yeah, you, you, you just have loads of follow-up questions when they say something like that. Yeah. Mm. Um... But yeah, neat. Um, in Last of Us 2, did it make sense to show the context of the bar at the end of the game? Uh, the Last of Us 2, the bar at the end of the game? The um... Same with why Abby killed Joel. I find it baffling, awful writing and story structure. Also, Lord of the Rings show will suck. Yeah, we know that. But um... <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um... Show the Baffling. context of the bar at the end of the game. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what that refers to. Chat, help I just out. don't remember it. Yeah, help us out. Uh, the Browning Automatic Rifle, that's possibly true, yeah. Um, uh, da, 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 da. When, when Joel pushes Seth... I assume that that's the place, but... Oh, they're talking about when... It, so they said Seth said a mean thing, and he had to give them a bigot sandwich, remember? And then they showed us the scene. Um, oh, the scene of... Oh, if I remember, the purpose of that scene is to show that Joel is still, like, trying to look out for her or something. Don't, don't, isn't there some kind of dynamic in terms of their relationship in that scene that it's, like, it's not yeah, really relevant to Seth? Yeah, he's like, hey, leave her alone, and then Ellie gets pissed off at him. 
Yeah, yeah they hate each other, you know? It's really horrible to watch all of that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what this is definitely what would it happen and you wanted it to be, right? You know, where they just hate each other? You know how yeah. you love their relationship and now they fucking hate each other? And they die hating each other? Isn't that great? Pretty sure he, he likes her no matter what and then she just he hates him. He likes her, but she hates him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Their relationship <laughs> was just bad. Yeah, their relationship was bad. She hated him. They they did a lot of they pooped on him, but they ruined her. Yeah, because he didn't. He as a character is fine, except for he didn't put up a good fight for for his own decisions. You know, like he didn't explain. Yeah, he himself. didn't just tell her. Yeah, when he should have done that. Yeah, but other than that, he was basically just ripped apart by other people and did, did the best he could. I mean, there's nothing he could really do against the plot, the the author killing him, you know? Yeah. Uh, of the three actors, who did Albert Wesker best? Or better, rather. Um, are we talking about the three from the Paul Jefferson Anderson films, or are we, we including the guy from Resident Evil 5? Because, you know, it's pretty obvious. I assume, because right? they only had... Five, yeah. Did they have two from the show? I can't remember. Was he? I think there was two in the movies. I don't think there was more than that. He was the he was that one guy in like when we saw him at the end of like the first one or second one or something like that. Uh -huh. And then when he was like a character who was involved in the story in a more direct degree, they had a new actor. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't beat the voice of RE Five Wesker. It's just so perfect. The look is so great. Crash. He just sounds. He sounds so just goofy, menacing. Um, I'm gonna. Have to, I gotta go with that. It's you can't beat RE Five Wesker. They, the they, fact yeah. that they they had a gold mine of potential they did not tap into. The Paul W S Anderson ones suck ass. Like compared. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, very, bad. very upset. I complained about that like seven times in the, uh, you know, arc through him. <laughs> Probably just always went like, oh, it's so lame. Uh. Uh, <laughs> uh, quick run through Girl. of the VGA winners and reveals. Deathloop got two awards and It Takes Two got Game of the Year. Sonic 2 Knuckles looking <laughs> badass as well. I think, yeah. uh... The takeaway for me was I was surprised that uh, an indie game would win Game of the Year because I think they often don't. They get like a nomination, but then it'll be like something else. So that's kind of neat. Yeah. That's weird. That, ga that game just completely went past me. I don't even know what it is. Until recently, until recently I when, when I heard about Take Two uh, dropping the yeah. bomb on them. They are the guys who make the. Uh, they just make like uh, couch co op games. That's That's like their thing. They made a, a game, I think, called Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. I remember it was like, I'm pretty sure it was Total Biscuit's favorite game, like, of yeah, all time. He, he yeah, he felt very that. highly of that game, yeah. Uh, so they made that, and then they made, I think it was called, uh, it was it was another one that they made, uh, and then they made this one. Uh, and that was the, the, the guy, the really funny dude who kept saying, like, fuck the Oscars at the, the game was like, five <laughs> years ago. He's just a funny, interesting dude. Uh, so he finally got an award. So that's 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 neat. Otherwise, like, again, the big takeaway from the Game Awards is it's called the Game Awards, but the majority of it is trailers for upcoming games, and that's what most people are there to see. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's it's a it's a weird, it's a it's an interesting dynamic. Um. Just a friendly reminder that Atla is trash. For a comparison, look at some garbage and imagine that it's animated with mostly mediocre characters. <laughs> what a comparison. <laughs> imagine trash. Um, also, hi, Rags. Hello. I've been recently re-watching the original Dragon Ball anime series. Like, before bed, just a couple of episodes. Man, that shit is bad. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, I Ball Z might be shit. more protected, I don't know. Like, man, Apologize. I didn't... I, no, fuck that. Like, it's really, <laughs> it's really bad. I like, the, I like like the, the fighting and stuff, but man... I I, I was... Uh, I think I, I checked it, and I think uh, Toriyama himself said, Yeah, I never wrote it with something in mind. I just wrote what came to mind, because then I get surprised as well. It's like, oh, that explains a lot. <laughs> Uh, it's really it's pretty pretty tis me, but it's still fun. 
it gives me the nice little retro cozy feelings. It's like, yeah, Dragon Ooh. Ball. Uh, Ruroni Kenshin Trust and Betrayal isn't full off anime shit. Um, an assassin unknowingly spends time with the fiance of a man he killed. Relatively grounded. You sold now, Ooh. Rags and Mel. No. no. So what, what? I was reading something. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm saying. Don't I'm worry fine. I. It could be fine. I just don't. I just don't care. <laughs> I just don't care about Ruroni Kenshin. Oh, we're there again. Okay. <laughs> Mos Eisley, Arizona, a suburb of Phoenix. I don't get it. Okay. All right. Um. Huh. How about that? Um, pretty sure Wolf said it was extremely generic. I assume they're talking about the Star Wars game, Fallen Order. I think a lot of people yeah, said that, honestly. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just felt no compulsion to play it any further. No reason to go. I was like, eh. If it's just going to be more of this for more and more hours, I just don't. I just don't care. I just don't care about anything that's happening right now or what I'm doing. Um, I was just watching EFAB 150 and the one, and the, uh, sorry, the one about Last of Us 2 and Abby. Uh, no one brought up Tess from the first game, an attractive lady with relatively strong arms. Dude, what was our coverage of Last of Us 2 on 150? I can't remember. Does they mean 100? For, for which one? Sorry, I did. They said Last of Us 2. I can't remember us covering Last of Us 2 on 150. I, I do think remember so. us I thought it was its own thing. Though. Well, we did it. We did it for its own arc, and then we did, I think, one or two videos on Jim, uh, Jim, the Jim Sterling video. Yeah, that was uh, one hundred. Oh, yeah, that was one hundred. Oh, okay. Um. Also, back in the day, Rag said Joel did the wrong thing with killing the doctors. Did I? Apparently, um, it's a complicated situation. Uh, There's a lot to consider. Uh, I certainly don't feel that way now. I do think he did the right thing. Let's get. The rags is to fight each other. I have to grab him from the past. I will win. My power level has <laughs> only it. grown. My power has doubled since last we met. Last we met. <laughs> Twice the pride, double the dog. Oh. Uh, Dan Harmon stated on his podcast, Harmon Town, that seasons one, two, and three of Rick and Morty were written um like this staff writers took turns pitching ideas then Harmon took the ideas into his office and wrote all episodes alone Harmon gave the credit to the person who pitched the idea to boost uh young writers careers the woman who wrote the pickle rick episode contributed nothing but what if rick turned himself into a pickle <coughs> Harmon had to then take that and reverse engineer a story um I, I just like that something's changed. Something's gone very wrong in the latest episodes of of Rick and yeah. Morty. If you told me that it's much less Dan Harmon's input, I'd be like, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I did not at all enjoy the last Rick and Morty stuff that I saw. It was, I didn't. I don't even think it cracked a smile. It was just. It was so unfunny and uninteresting, yeah. and just. Ugh, it was so bland and dull, and there's nothing clever or interesting about it. It was really bad. It was really it was. sad. Yeah. It's like, it's it's like someone a... flipped a switch, and just turned off all the good. We still have an EFAP episode planned for that. Maybe one day. It's on our back burner. <laughs> maybe one day. We didn't do that. <laughs> we didn't. It we felt did. like we maybe did, but nope. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh... I did. I remember watching the the last couple of episodes for something. I, we were oh. going to, and it didn't happen. Um, we oh. we did one Rick and Morty episode. We meant to do another one, though, because we literally oh. covered the show right before it went to shit. Oh, we okay. were like, yay, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. And then the week later, no. the worst episode what have we done? of the series. <sighs> Some of them were just downright foul. Like, Yeah. I played the VR Rick and Morty game that was released a couple of years ago. Played it recently on stream. That was kind of funny. It's the same shit as Santa Inc, by the way, where a lot of the jokes, they're just not even jokes, they're just statements. Um, like, wow, yeah. women get their ideas stolen from men. You're like, oh. 
It's like, oh, that was it? Okay, cool. And, and it's, it's like, pause for laughter, and you're like, no, I don't don't think I will. That's, yeah, it's, that's <laughs> sure is funny. Need a bit Wait, more is it than funny that. that it happens, or is it funny that they're acknowledging it? I, what am I supposed to laugh exactly, at? I'm yeah, you, you, and, and unfortunately, at that point, they're not even characters who are saying it. They just use as mouthpieces temporarily, because it's like, what does it mean that Summer would say something like that? I was like, I don't even... I don't know that she believes I that. I feel like she? she didn't say that. I think yeah. you said that. Exactly what a white supremacist I think would you, say. guest writer, you're the one who said it. 20-something-year-old, just came out of university person. Yeah. Hey, Fringy, I had a quick question. Uh-huh. Why did you delete all of your political videos? I know you've probably been asked this question already, so sorry if I'm bothering you by asking. Ah, uh, because I like talking about video games and movies the ones, more. Are this the, one, the ones that you did on, like, the Third Reich and, uh, you, the... Why, why must you turn this stream into a house of lies? <laughs> I, I just distinctly remember that there were some uh, videos you'd made on Hitler where you're like, you can see the good side and the bad side, and I thought those were really interesting. And I thought no, was, that was, that was boogie free. rags, that's not free. <laughs> oh, okay, alright, I... I guess I did just confuse those two. I was thinking of something else, yeah. Yeah, um, basically it would just be that I, it feels inconsistent with uh, with my main interests, basically. That's, that's like, the long and short of it. <laughs> Someone in chat is that only Andrew 50 watching do real EFAVs. Like, bro, we got we got responsibilities to respond to all these only questions, all right? Only eight, only eight, first off, only eight hundred. Only eight hundred, are you fucking insane? Only this is this is a super chat catch up episode. We have we have to catch up on the super chats because Fuck we off. care. It's not how many though we want a lot, but it's also the quality of what we do. So I mean, super chats need answering. We have to talk about. They do. We have to talk about would you which would you rather kill or marry, or what happened to yeah. Fringy's Third Reich video, and how come metal's not friendly anymore? And we have yeah. to talk about these things. It's important. We have to clear the air. I mean, only, it's just only it's, 850. I, I, I would, I would kill people to get 850 people on my streams. <laughs> it's yeah. Not only am I more than fucking ecstatic about the number, but like that's quite yeah. a lot for people listening to us answering. It's like a Q and A, you know. Yeah. And I'm In glad sense, that many people yeah. are interested, and we're just gonna keep going until we fucking cap them out, and then you'll see Fun more. Uh, by the way, this we wouldn't be streaming today. Maybe we'd be doing a game or something, but we couldn't do an EFAP today. Um, no, didn't line up. Because yeah, we we got to do Spooderman next week, which will be one six five, and then we've already got one six six done. And while one six six is premiering, we'll probably record one of these offline. Oh boy. Yeah, again, they're all done, so it's gonna be great. Um, I'm already an hour in. God damn. We've let's just yeah. say we haven't caught up on much of anything <laughs> yet. Oh no. We're getting there. Uh uh, this is do normies even like the MCU? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's why we have it like it is right now. That's why it makes a lot of money. <laughs> talk to yeah. the average person that doesn't care to talk about movies beyond saying which ones they liked and disliked. They'll just be like, yeah, I love him. Shang-Chi was awesome. He was like, oh, the fight scenes are really cool. It was pretty funny. The characters were pretty interesting. I love the will building. And you're like, what will building? And you're like, uh, you know, just how cool it all is. Like, yep. And that would be that. I mean, instead of a bunch of friends that just go watch them every time, and then I don't see them talk about it ever again. <laughs> I think that's the standard way, right? Like, yeah. if you ask somebody who said... Oh yeah, Black Panther. That was a great movie. It's like, what was the plot? I don't know that you'd get an answer. <laughs> what was the plot? I, <laughs> I don't I know. Legit it lost think I it. Get an answer. Yeah, uh, I don't think people remember what they what the plots were, what they liked about it. It is just, hey, the characters interact, and that's kind of fun. And then they fight some like monsters or thugs, and that was cool. Like legit, you'll get people being like, "Oh, Shang Chi's arc. He, he, so he was like, he, he had a lot of unrealized potential, you know, and." You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, mm -hmm. <sighs> so is it not a, not a prefab? People don't like it when we pre-record them. Uh, we didn't have a choice of this one. It was filled with copyright flumes. And uh, mm. uh, the cover being on basically all of it was the only way we were allowed to put it up from what I gather from YouTube being a Wombus. YouTube being a Wombus. <laughs> but uh, it is, oh. it is ready to go, luckily, so... 
I, I, I do know the stress now of copyright doing live streams because what I was doing yesterday was showing clips like, ah, I better pause here, I'll wait one or two seconds, and now I played more. Even though it was like a five second clip, it's just like, ah, I don't trust yeah. you, YouTube. 850 live viewers is a lot for a person of color. Yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> <That> quite, <man. laughs> Dude, some people just showed live stream, like, honestly. Like, <laughs> it makes you wonder how much people th think before they speak, uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that, that quote will never be not funny to me. Like, it's, it's fucking it's amazing quote, so it's funny insane. as hell. Because the way he also say, tries to save is like, but He's I also have save, a USB yeah. stick that's yeah. also a gun, so that's pretty cool. It's like, oh, you, do, play it off, you play know it off, exactly. Play it off, play it off, play it off, play it you off, play it off. You know exactly what you just said, and you're trying to save it so hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, EFAP on my birthday, fantastic. Seems like every time we stream oh, is someone's birthday. birthday. Yeah. Well, I guess that's, that's I guess that makes sense. Cool, right? Yeah, I mean, statistically, yeah. it's we got so many. Birthday, dude. Yeah. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Where's my food? I'm hungry. It's all about you and ML. And my food. Yeah. Yeah. Really um, 33 pages into my script for The Last of Us video, and story is just painful. How can anyone think the story is anything above a three at best? Um, They'll talk about what? The point is, they won't talk about the mechanics and the individual, like, elements and stuff. You'll just be like, well, no, it's a, it's a story about revenge and cycles of violence. Remember, me and Free watched, like, ten reviews in a row just for a bit of research. Part of the video I maybe will make one day in my fucking in decades of my life. Um, mm -hmm. But that was, like, one of those things that kept coming up. It's about the cycles of violence. It's about the cycles of violence. It's about the cycles of violence, you see. Like, oh, yeah, this game's about cycles. Like, of violence and stuff. And you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. The reason yeah. why I think that is because I watched the video where the developers said that's what it was about. <laughs> exactly. Bad. Just like the video where they mentioned that the characters, when they get killed, they call out their friends' names because that was mentioned in a video that they did. They're so proud of that when I just found it funny. Yeah. Like, Jim? Oh, good. I hope fucking Jim suffers even more. Fucking Jim, the piece of <laughs> Fuck shit. Fuck you, Jim. Mm. Fuck you, Jim. Now I know what to call you as you're sitting there dying in agony. Tea Fuck bagging. you, Jim. I'll drop in a Molotov on him. I hope that fucking Martha or Andrew, who's watching all this, I hope they know that they're next. The cycles of violins. Nice. Uh, hi, Rex. Hi. Fools forgetting welcome to Raccoon City, Wesker. We haven't actually seen that yet. Uh, no. So, I will include him the moment we see that. I've heard it's bad. I'm very shocked by that information. <laughs> As is everyone here, clearly. I, yeah. I don't know what to oh. even... My, My mouth tongue is, wide open. is you can frozen see. in terror. Mm -hmm. I knew it. I mean, my tongue is frozen in terror. Nice. Oh, no. Thank you. Um... Hey, watch Sword of the Stranger, an anime for those that don't like anime. Cool samurai action and heroic kick-ass Shiba Inu named Tobi Maru. Rags. You know? Oh boy. You know, I actually did see that. Oh. I remember liking it. It's alright. So... Yeah, I remember liking it. Sweet. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! Um, how did you meet Sitch and Adam? Also, hi, Rax. Hello to you. Um, uh, I think Adam, I just messaged oh. Sitch, and that was it. I can't remember. I've just I watched Sitch's videos for just kind of on and off for a while, and that's how I knew of him. So I don't know exactly how, like, we met. I like how mundane. Well, that's a lot of is. people. It's like, well, <laughs> it's a lot, like. I feel I like I can't remember how I met Fringy. I just can't remember. It was so long ago. I can't ago. remember that as, as yeah. I can't. Either. Or like top hats or, or any, yeah. Yeah, I don't know no, how it. Yeah, I think the enough. nature in which I met a lot of you is interesting. Uh, how I met Sitch isn't, because I just gave a message <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, what's up? Um, and yeah, a lot of what is interesting about how I met like Rags and Wolf at the same time is interesting because of what ended up happening with the three of us, you know, with the show and stuff. Um, 
You sent me a message on YouTube messages, Rags, before that got axed. Yeah, that was a thing. Even before it got axed, a lot of people just didn't know that was a thing that existed. Well, I think you were incredibly lucky that I saw it because I checked it like once and I was like, that guy's got a tick on his name. What does he want? <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, it, it's yet another one of those. YouTube has had a horrifically bad AI yep. for a long... It's, it's improved in some ways, but in other ways, eh. But it's definitely a... Um, mm. It's finding stuff and doing things. It's, it's a pain in the ass with YouTube. Um, I should be clearer. Rag said Joel was the bad guy. My bad. Views change over time, I'm sure. Um, I yeah, I'd be so. curious what, uh, why he thought that at the time. I can't remember. Me too, yeah. Because he certainly starts off that way. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the context of it. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, question for everybody. Um, <gasps> but do you think the Predator can fight an Elite or Brute from Halo in one-on-one -on -one fight? Both sides will have weapons and armor. Well, yeah, at probably... that point, it's just a matter of who gets the right shots first, because the Plasma Caster yeah. versus, like, uh, plenty of the Covenant weapons, right? Well, if, if the Covenant have the, uh, have the Pulse Rifle, then the Alien wins. Then again, the Predator it, has it's bad. the Sorry. cloak that is pretty OP. Yeah, mm. well, the Covenant have cloaking too. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's mainly elites that use that, not brutes. So I guess if the brute has that, it might help out. Well, brute has like that indestructibility it could turn on. The Chieftain guys. Yeah, quite strong, yeah. He just goes, he goes ape mode and with his hammer and can turn invincible. Uh, I mean, could be pretty even. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those fights where it really matters how it comes to be as a fight. Yeah. 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 Or if we strip them down to they don't get any weapons. Uh, at that point, would it be the Brute? Uh, if without the weapons, I think the Brute's got it, yeah. Yeah, I would say so too. Yeah, Alien's got the stabby thing, though, and the acid, so oh. it could be a toss-up. Predator, not Alien. Oh, Predator, yeah. Oh, we're talking about Predator. Oh, yeah. Predator versus Brute? With no weapons. What I did think, you think I, I was think, talking about oh, when I, I said brute. Predator has a cloak? <laughs> oh, I thought like he was part of, the, part of the thing, like Predator, Covenant, and, you know, Predator, Elite, Brute, <laughs> and how they measure up against the <laughs> uh, Alien. That's fine. Brute, right. no. It's all right. Alzheimer's is kicking in. No, we're not. <laughs> See? <laughs> so anyway. Uh, Bringy scared of Aussie Gov, that's why delete videos. Well, hey, uh, if um, no. you put naughty oh, words in video, them. I thought his video was very nuanced and multidimensional, so... J is like onions. They have layers, and while not great on their own, they make everything they had added to great. Anyone here plays anyone here? oh, this is another question, but um okay, I think Jay's pretty great on his own and with people. Mm -hmm. <gasps> My whole take. He is, yeah. I like listening to Jay, even when he doesn't have uh friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, anyone here played to the moon? I have not. Nay. Nice. I have not, no. To the moon? No, 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 not to the moon. Have you played to the moon? I have not. I haven't. Hey guys, I was just wondering, have you guys ever heard slash watched Cobra Kai? It's a spin-off of the Karate Kid series, and it's actually a spin-off done well. I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, covering it, it being one of my favorites. Also haven't seen that one, no? Um, I haven't seen it. I know that the new season's on the way, and the... Everyone's going to want to talk about it in the sort of FNT sphere, so Drinker might force me to watch it for Open Bar, which isn't a bad thing. I've heard it's very good. So, maybe I'll see it at some point, but I have not seen it yet. Bombas. 
Working at the theater, not looking forward to Christmas, Spooder man. I hate Marvel right now, lol. Um, <laughs> oh, bet. you mean seeing loads of people dressed up as Spider-Man coming to the cinema? That sounds like it'll be funny, especially if they're really yeah. fat. The fat ones are really funny. <laughs> I'm Spider-Chunk. I'm Spider-Man. Spider-Chunk. I'm Spider-Chunk. Chunks, whatever, a spider chunk chunk. You like look at him awkwardly and he's like, what? It's comic accurate. <laughs> it's comic accurate <laughs> costume. It was from issue 273B. This is one of the Number ones eight. that wasn't even produced in many numbers. I yeah, this only released in, yeah, this only released in, uh, Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Okay. And that country's not even a country anymore, which means it's ultra rare. Mm-hmm. I only split it a little bit. It fits me. I added a little more fabric to the back so I could bend over. Uh, hello there, Governor. You got your streaming license? I do. I do indeed. Uh, Mola, I lived in Bemore City for ten years. Circle of violence? More like a carousel. Well, all right. Maybe they'll make sort a Last of, the of Us thing, three that? based in Baltimore City. Oh, unless this, are they saying Baltimore City? But they're shortening it. I don't know. Baltimore? That's not in the. We have a Baltimore here in the United States. Okay. Um, I think I'm most of the way done with Halo Infinite, and the story is dog shit. It's fun to play. The one world wasn't needed. I think they mean open world, maybe? Um, but it's fun to play in. Alright, I haven't actually checked it out yet, so I don't know what I'll be in for. Yay, food! Boom, 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 boom. Uh, by the way, I like all of your Christmas avatars. Oh. Oh, Yay. thank you. <laughs> Rags and Fringy, Predator versus Elite versus Turian. Predator versus Elite versus Turian. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They all seem like they could be very evenly matched depending on the circumstances. Yeah. I don't feel strongly in really any way as to which one it would be. Me either. Because a lot of these, like, you know the, the net that Predators have? It's incredibly OP and amazing and shreds everything. It's just like if they throw that on one of them and there's an automatic win. It's like, yeah, I mean, that kind of counts for Plasma Caster. Sure. Even the spear to a degree. So, I'm, but I'm sure there's a lot that of strong, yeah, there's a lot of strong Mass Effect weaponry. So, that's what I mean. It's, it's kind of just you, you, you're, you're stuck in. To make the question more interesting, I guess you have to find parameters that are specific. Yeah. Uh, movie Bob Spider-Man lol. I mean, he's movie probably Bob dressed up Spider as Spider-Man and it's probably been a big gap in the belly area where the shirt doesn't come down far enough. No, when he does it, it's very cool. Uh, for the next multimedia medley, y'all could read Ben Shapiro's top 10 overrated directors list slash article from 2010. YMS read it and it's hilarious. I from mean, 2010? That does sound ben like it Shapiro could be interesting, because... How old was Ben in 2010? 12? He would have been a youngster <laughs> back then, right? He would have been a young boy. Was he married uh, to his wife, who's a doctor? I don't know. Uh... Man. <laughs> Holy shit. Don't tell us, yeah, don't that... tell us. No, I won't. That, that could be funny. <laughs> Oh, if you, are you looking at the article? Yeah, I mean, I'll make a note, and just, we could yeah. save that for that. That would be fun. <laughs> oh, we'll, man. we'll do it on. Is it is it in poor taste that we um, that our efaps are on the Sabbath? Um, I, I think that's just something they'd have to come to accept, right? I guess we're only chatting. You can chat on the Sabbath. You can chat on the Sabbath. That's not work. Uh, if you could make a sandwich out of any food, what bread, meat, cheese, veggie would you pick? Fictional ingredients on the table. Um, hmm. so a sandwich of any kind, honestly, I'd go for a, a nice pastrami sandwich. Um, nothing too fancy, just nice toasted rye bread or pumpernickel if you 
you know, have that around. They're they're similar. It's a funny word. Uh, both. It is a funny word. Um, a lot of the times when I worked in the restaurant and we didn't have any rye bread, we would substitute pumpernickel. And a lot of people, most people, would never say anything because they do taste very similar. They look very different, though. Pumpernickel is very, very dark bread. It's very dark bread. Um, whereas rye is, is, is sort of a, a moderate brown color. Uh, but uh, some pastrami. Maybe so. Oh, we used to have a killer sandwich that had like pastrami and some cheese on there and it would have like this blueberry sort of spread on it that was delicious um yeah so just something like that you know i'm not huge into sandwiches uh more of a burger guy but i really really dug uh some of those what um out of curiosity what was the question right it was if we could make a sandwich based on any ingredients what would it be mm -hmm. and they could be fictional too yeah and that was your answer I feel like I'm just going to cheat immediately and say, well, if we were including all the fiction, then I'm probably going to choose an ingredient that's been described in-universe by the characters as being, like, the most tasty thing ever. I just don't know Same off the top of my head what it's going to be. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know many... I don't... I don't, I don't Rather, know a I'm lot of certainly those. not going with our universe ingredients. This is my one chance to have fictional ingredients, right? <laughs> well, I, I guess in that case... Um... What would an example be? I, I just couldn't think of an example. Like oh, a, there's got to be loads, right? I just... Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's loads. I just... I'm not too familiar. Plumbus? A plumbus? <laughs> need a plumbus. Plumbus? <laughs> plumbus? Lead? <laughs> <laughs> Krabby Patty. So someone said... Someone said probably a sandwich made from that blue stuff in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's doing it. It's got to be worth something. Um, someone That'd mentioned Krabby thing. Patties, I guess. I don't know. It's just... They seem fairly standard. I guess they're just really good. I guess they have a secret formula that's supposed to make them very delicious. Well, surely one would want to try that before... If they had one chance to do so. Yeah, something. like if... Yeah, yeah, if I, if I could, yeah, something like that, and I could know this is what it actually is. Yeah, sure, I'd go with that. Um, let me see. Um, what other fake foods are there? I'm sure MMOs have plenty of them, but... Oh, mm, the, the, uh, the, the meat platter they do in Monster Hunter. Yeah, the stuff they make in Monster Hunter. That looks fucking delicious. <laughs> Krusty Burger, yeah, I'd, that'd be a... Yeah, I'd go with that again before a real burger. Krusty <laughs> Burger? Try it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Every we time Krusty it. spits it out. Yeah, but let's, in it. fairness, Homer fucking adores them, and I feel like I'm gonna line up with Homer more than Krusty. I guess that's true. Like Maybe I tried the Krusty just... rib witch. I think I'd like to try that rib witch. Yeah. I mean, Homer certainly liked the rib witch. <laughs> Wall chicken yeah, from Castlevania. <laughs> <laughs> I would indeed agree to try the wall chicken. <laughs> Nuka Cola, yeah. You know. Oh yeah, that's right. Nuka Colas. Ooh, I'd Scooby love to try. Snacks. No, I'd want to. I'd want to like the quantum ones that are that that glow. I want to try some of that or some sunset sarsaparilla. That could be really good. Bigot sandwich, yeah, that'd be really cool. I'd love me a bigot sandwich. <laughs> me being a bigot and all, I feel like it was made just for me. It tastes just extra for you. good. Nice. Yum. Um. Spider milk steak? Is that like EFAP fictional food? <laughs> spider, <laughs> a, a spider milk steak? I didn't even know a that was a thing steak? on our menu, but maybe it is. I, I, lemon yeah, bread. I don't know about. Oh, yeah, lemon bread. It's not so much the taste, but the effect that it gives you. You know, all the strength. It's supposed to like re reinvigorate you. Loud soup, yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We've got loud soup. Very um, true. Very true. So yeah, that's that's a fun thing to think about. I yeah, guess. we've gone some. We've gone through some. I think I'm going. I am going to go with an ice cold Nuka Cola Quantum. That's what I'm gonna do. I want to taste. I love Coca Cola. I love soft drinks. They are my vice. If anything. Um, and I would, some, one that glows and is in the, in the glass bottles. And, oh man, I'm going for it. Put that on your sandwich. Someone said, yeah. this, 
Someone said the spinach from Popeye. So here's the thing. I don't think the spinach is special. I think Popeye <laughs> is special. So I think it would just taste like spinach, which while healthy would not probably be a good use of that. I've got mine. Oh, yeah. Someone mentioned Stardew Valley. Ooh, there's probably some really good stuff in there. You know, no, I'm going to think too much on it. I'm going with the ice cold Nuka Cola Quantum. On your sandwich. I was going to say, this is a reference to making a sandwich, so. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. We've, we've gone so far from <laughs> the Nuka Cola sandwich. You just pour it onto the bread, um, squeeze the bread to drink the. <laughs> I can still win uh, this. Like uh, Nuka Cola juices. <laughs> um. Sandwich. Yeah, I just don't know enough about sandwiches from games. Someone uh, said, Rags, in episode 54, you said you didn't like soda. Really? Did I say that? I love soda. Uh, so many character rocks for Rags today. I. Maybe I. Maybe it was a specific kind. Um, <laughs> because I, I really like soda. I like it too much. That seems very specific. To... You're surely not making that up. I don't know. It might, it might be. I don't know. I, I, I refuse to believe that they just remember that off the top of their head. Like, oh yeah, that episode with Rags. Oh yeah, in episode so. 54, <laughs> you specifically said, I've been, I've been uh, holding on to that one for a long time because I'm, uh, I love me some soda. Rags is inconsistently written. It's not inconsistent if he's developed through time. Gotta collect all the quotes on soda. Maybe halfway between those two times he said, soda's okay. It is okay. Yeah, I really, really enjoy me some soda pop. Coki Coli. I love it. I love it. Um, I lost my cat this week. She was a part of my life for 20 years. Don't take things you love for granted. Uh, very sorry to hear about that. Sorry. Yeah, that sucks, dude. Um, didn't Rags and Fringy meet after Fringy made that video about the Steam survey way back when and Rags mentioned it in one of his videos? That it definitely it, could. Yeah. That might be it. Absolutely. That sounds like it could have uh, been the case. Eight episodes into Arcane, man, it's incredible. Oh, just add another recommendation. <laughs> They're everywhere. Uh, fuck, Mary, kill Peach, Daisy, Rosalina, or Rosalina. Um. <laughs> Rags in episode twenty-one. You said that you poop with the door open. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Marry Rosalina, fuck Daisy. Uh, no, fuck Peach, kill Daisy. Okay. I mean, Do, I'm just gonna defer to your choices, because I think people? you'd know better. I don't know the difference between them, really. I know what they look like, but I don't know the characters, you know? I feel like we've answered this, haven't we? Maybe. I don't think we have, but I don't know. So, Rosalina... I, I think we have answered this before. Um... I forget. This is going to be more in inconsistent character writing because I can't remember what uh, what my answer was last time. <laughs> is Daisy a princess? Yeah, she is. What's she the princess of? Uh, I think she's the princess of whatever Lies. kingdom Mara goes to in the second game. Sarah Saland. Or is it Sarah Sara Sarasa Land? Cerulean City. Cerulean City. I feel like you guys are just making stuff up. No, it's from the wiki. It says oh, Princess Daisy, okay. or casually Daisy, yeah, uh, is the princess of Sarasaland. Oh, it's Land. That's yeah, that was a lot of, yeah. Damn, she is schooled. a tomboy. Oh, Mary. It on the wiki it says that she is a tomboy, so we're marrying her. Um, so you don't that know anything that. about Rosalina. You haven't even. Jeez. That's okay. Uh, so let's see. Who am I gonna <laughs> kill and who am I gonna fuck? I think. Um, I think. Um, I think Bowser's probably done a number on Peach. So we're gonna kill Peach and fuck Rosalina. But I don't know anything about Rosalina. So who knows? It's tough to say. It's really tough to say. Rosalina is the daughter of Luigi and Peach. Wait, wait, what? What? Wait. This was in the this was in the people also ask section. Oh, that doesn't sound right to me at all. <laughs> let, let me. I feel like I've missed so a let, lot of development. I feel like so. Uh, 
the Mario Extended Universe. Oh, so this it just popped. A theory for Matt Pat. Because <laughs> 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 it just it said it on this thing that popped up on Google, and I'm like, I don't fucking know. You know, Jeez. Rosalina has Luigi's nose. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're we're definitely Mary and Daisy, and mm. we're we're gonna kill Peach, and we're gonna uh, fuck Rosalina, provided they are all of the appropriate ages. She resides in the Comet Observatory. We could so make... you you never played Super Mario Galaxy, did you? Nope, we could make sweet, sweet love underneath the stars in the observatory. That's romantic. Yeah, I get to do it every night, though. Not like you. <laughs> yeah, I do. You... I'm married to Daisy. She's a tomboy. She plays tennis. I think they all play tennis. Yeah. Do they? <laughs> do they? But are they tomboys? They all play tennis. They all play tennis and golf. She, she and goes karting. go karting. Like, Peach they all uses like a tennis karting. racket as a weapon. <laughs> she was in all kinds of stuff. It's great. She 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 plays soccer. They all play soccer. She. Oh wait, no, they don't. Rosalina doesn't play soccer because there hasn't been a soccer game. They should make another Mario Strikers game. Yeah, I love me they being really around should. a good. We can go, we can go hiking up and down the mountains. We can go kayaking, uh, and we can go camping, and we can go to go all sorts of cool places like the Grand Canyon and the Great Divide, Wolf Creek Pass, way up on the Great Divide. The whole thing, we it'll be great. Wait, next question, be please, but insane. Right. Someone said Google Paul. Rags. Now that's the true Mario Queen. Let's see. Pauline, Pauline is uh if Pauline was in the mix, I would have married Pauline, I think. Pauline. She she liked jazz. She's got a beautiful voice. She's a man. Yeah. She's 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 got her own things going on. She's uh she's uh she is top tier. Is a mayor she's better than a princess? I just think that in this case it's like man, she's working hard for the, the citizens of New Donk City. Uh, and, she, and despite even though she's working hard she's still you know she knows how to have fun i'm playing yeah doing jazz music and singing uh this one just says pump her nickel high rags oh my <laughs> goodness gracious hello oh, to goodness. you uh fuck marry kill boogie chris chan movie fat ass uh, i refuse oh I refuse. boy yeah, i'm not i'm not i'm not doing this well <laughs> We're so, hmm. we're killing Chris because of his crimes against nature. We are. I th I think we've done one with Boogie and Movie Bob. I think I settled on marrying Boogie because he seems to have like a stable life and a house and lives pretty normally, all things considered. Yeah. Um, like you could, I could see myself living with him, and like just having a life. You know, I, I don't, nothing insane would happen, um, but I think I might be, I might have to commit human intercourse with Movie Bob just as the price that I have to pay because there's really no good options here. But I think in the long run it'll come out all right. Stable life until he points a gun at you. Well, <laughs> hopefully he's learned his lesson and he's not allowed to have guns anymore. Maybe he'll just go to jail so, by that. So you can just have the house. Maybe he'll just be in jail so I can have his house. <laughs> And I could sell all of his nerd shit. <laughs> uh, but that, I think that's what I what I sell done. Uh, Bring you missed a few calls while on EFAP. Here are the messages. You have 30 minutes to move your car. You have 10 minutes. Your car has been impounded. Your car has oh, been crashed into a cube. Yeah. You have 30 minutes yeah. to move your cube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a... Uh... That was damn. I'm blanking on the full context for uh, for that whole. Uh, Isn't it F Homer's reading joke. it to Mr. Burns? <laughs> that's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Your car has been crushed into a cube. Now I'm just thinking about when Homer was in New York and his car got the tire got uh clamped. God, that was a great episode when he was in New York. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, someone said in chat, Rags doesn't like soda anymore because he's old, according to the not-so-great debate guy. <laughs> Damn, yeah, you've gone, gone on that arc, man. 
<laughs> Look, he's old, okay? He doesn't like or he doesn't like soda anymore. Or he does. Whatever he did, the opposite of it. <laughs> this is one of the best quotes of all time when Wolf is like, explain to us like how he became this way and don't say he's old. But he goes, Okay, so he's old. And then he's like, God damn it. <laughs> Uh, watched both Blade Runners and thought the first was just okay and the second was kind of meh. Am I stupid or big brain? Also, fuck, marry, kill, you, me, and Jim. Marry and Jim. Jim is. You fuck you, me, and Jim? Who are you and me in this context? Is it the reader? <laughs> I have to... F Can I marry myself? To be honest, Rags, I don't know. Um... As for finding the first Blade Runner okay and the second one meh, I mean, yeah, people usually have stronger opinions about those movies. Yeah. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, just don't end up like Chris Duckman where you keep watching it until you have the correct opinion. That was, that's, that's a good attitude to have for a movie reviewer. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just the reality we all understand, is that there's a fear as a critic to go against the understood grain of the audience. Instead we, of yeah. us, we're like, oh boy, what are we going to do today that'll fucking piss everybody off? Yep. <laughs> just another day of making people mad. Yeah, boy. To the whole cast, are you super straight? Super straight? No, I think I've heard that before, sure I don't know what it means. means. What is super straight? Super straight. Um, super straight. Does that just mean like very heterosexual as opposed to just normal <laughs> heterosexual? Oh, super straight meaning trolls started transphobic social. What? Look inside super straight. Straight men get called transphobic. Good. This trend. Okay, the trend sees users claim they're only attracted to real men or women as they call for their own super straight. Oh, so like. So Actually, it would men... basically be that it would be that you are attracted like, I'm... To, like if, you, if you're a man, you're attracted to women, but you're not attracted to trans women. Is that like... Oh, so well, biological... That's, just, I mean, that's so, probably well, most I mean, people, like, though. Preference for, preference for, like, the genitalia, I guess, right? Like, I don't... Well, that's don't, like just... I don't but understand. That's, <laughs> that sounds like it's the vast majority of all of the people on the planet. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess I wonder, right? Like, uh... Look, I... Whatever. Like, I don't... I think it, that just feels, like, more confusing... stuff. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I, I have not explored that part of myself at yeah, all. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know uh, what super straight is. Uh, here's something I never thought I'd say. I love the Hawkeye show. It definitely has lots of problems, but the two main characters are very likable. Oh my god, okay. likable protagonists? I mean, that's a good start. That, that'll be, that'll be nice. Wow. I, yeah. wow. Because I've not seen any of it yet. But, um... Yeah, maybe... maybe I, I, like, I was about to say, like, maybe it's better than the others. It's like, well, it's gotta be better than the others, right? Mm. But we said that no. about Black Widow and, like... <laughs> I don't know. I think Loki was rock bottom. I don't know you can get worse than Loki. It destroyed uh, everything. Loki was rock bottom for sure. Because you look at Shang-Chi, it's like, yeah, it's not good. But I mean, you know, like it's at least I can latch onto it a little bit. <laughs> like there is a to story do worse here. Than Loki, I think you need to like r r destroy the entire MCU again, and then like yeah. destroy more characters individually. And you just need to have a scene where like Captain America's dead body and you're just beating it with a bat <laughs> yeah. and pissing on him. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Already dead. Uh... Bring it. I heard you would fight in World War One. If two, sorry. If so, would you use your goo against the vicious enemy to save comrades and win the war? Is that worth it? Um. I mean, I guess. I guess it's. Uh, I haven't really thought about the applicability of my goo in warfare. Um. That's uh. When did I- did I say that I would have- oh, I think- sorry, that I would have said that I would have fought in World War II, like, if I was alive at the time? I guess so? I can't remember you saying um, it. I- oh, it, it might have been something along- I- yeah, like, I'm actually- I'm just- sorry, my brain is, like, trying to work back, just trying to figure out the, uh... 
I, I've just noticed, and also I'm a bit distracted because I'm seeing all of this crazy mirror stuff going on in Luigi's Mansion. It's like, oh my god, look at this game. It came out like 2001. Look at these reflections. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, which side? Obviously, our side. Well, after... Guys. Well, well, you see, you say the good guys, but I know about the deleted Third Reich video you made. So when you say good guys, which are you referring to? Which side? Oh, that's just so we're clear. That's just probably so just when you said when you said it when I referenced that Jay said which side, and you were like shocked and appalled that he asked. <laughs> but yeah, you probably did say that you would have fought uh, for the allies. Well, you clarified for the allies time. once we once we wanted to know to make sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> What about you, Metal? You know the answer. You would have fought for the Martians. <laughs> would have fought for the Kiwis. <laughs> oh, the Ki I can imagine an army of Kiwis coming towards you. You're like, oh, look at how cute. <laughs> As they like, overwhelm you and start like, tearing with you With Kiwi apart. knives. They're just made of kiwi, kiwi, and you're knife. like, oh my god. Well, I guess awesome. it's Kiwis, Kiwis are, they like little, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of like emus, but small down. I guess they'd small have like Smalled down? Uh, small down. Yeah, small like down. Um, All right. All right. Small down. Can, I'm with it. With, with little knives on their backs, just charging at you. Commissar Kiwi leading the, is in charge. Death by a thousand beak stabs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Damn. something like that. Uh, if you could make a Mario Kart game from any super serious franchise, which would you pick? I'd pick God of War. Huh. Hmm. God of War card. Um. I guess. Blood everywhere. I would have said Mortal Kombat, but they did it already in Armageddon. But like, it, you know, maybe a full fledged, like high budget one. Yeah. There's so much you could do with the abilities of the characters in a card game. I think for Mortal Kombat. Hmm. Absolutely. Uh, a. You know what? I like the idea of Grand Theft Auto Kart, where it's like, you got like, Nico Bellic and CJ and little mm. buggies <laughs> racing around each other, shooting each other with rocket launches. That could be fun. Maybe Mass Effect, because you have biotics, and you have all the tech powers, and you have right. all the space stuff. So a lot of the cool, like, characters who are, so you have like, Tali, right? She's, uh, she's biotic. So she could use like, oh, you're lifted up for a while, which means that you you can't collect power ups or something like that. Or maybe she slows you down for a moment, puts you in stasis um, or she knocks you into a direction. And you could have, uh, uh, sorry, I said Liara, Liara. Yeah, Liara. Sorry. And Tali, she is tech, so she could like mess around with your cart. She could hack it and maybe she reverses your controls for a little while or the brakes slam on every once in a while, things of that nature. So that'd be that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I'd like to go to war idea. I think there's a lot I can do with that. Yeah. All the different weapons and enemies. All the gods, yeah. All the gods. Like that one. Oh, the gods. Gods. Recently finished Halo Infinite. Loved the gameplay, but the story is a mixed bag. I really like the stuff with Master Chief and Weapon, but the villains are seriously underdeveloped. Mm. Right. Well, in a way, avoid telling us stuff a little bit, because none of us have actually completed that campaign yet. <laughs> we intend to. Yeah. So. Um, I did only like two main missions or something since I went into the open world. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was close to the end, so that means it's even worse for you if they spoil it. What? I'm nowhere near the end. See? Yeah. Got you. Guys, stop oh. giving Disney new ideas. Or more ideas. I, I mean... They're willing to take literally anything, so... It doesn't really matter anymore, you know, you just talk and it happens. Uh, Molly, you don't need to answer, we all know you're super gay. And proud. Super gay. Gay is uh, in my family. I saw it. It's terrifying. It's in me bum. Yeah. Uh, the Great Kiri Wars, Kiwi Wars, featuring Fringy and High Rags. Oh, hello. I don't know if that was them saying High Rags to you, or that you, the, the concept of High Rags will feature in this movie. 
I now I'm thinking about hmm. Hmm, like uh Rosalina. A, a, no, I'm thinking uh what you know how we did that whole like a grizzly bear versus like seven niches with knives? What if it was uh what if it was like one emu versus ten em uh ten ten uh uh kiwis with knives? Hmm. I wonder who would win that. How high can a kiwi jump? I don't know that they can jump. So the problem is that I might be imagining that kiwis are are bigger than they actually are. Let me look up kiwi bird size. Uh, kiwi birds are between fourteen to eighteen inches. Oh, okay, they're they're actually bigger than I thought. Yeah, uh, they're not. Yeah, here, let me. Here's a here's a picture of a of a kiwi. It looks pretty big. I mean, all they're about a ruler height tall. Yeah, that was the picture I saw. It's like, oh, you're actually way bigger than I thought. Yeah. Uh, With man. knives, like if their beak was a knife, or uh, no, like if they had knives strapped to their backs, to their backs, like where well, they have to, like, or, or maybe let's they have the beak in their mouth, so they hold it in their mouth and they gotta like slash it around. They have like, the beak in their mouth. The the beak <laughs> in the, the knife in their now <laughs> mouth, and they have to slash it around. What what if we give the kiwi fruit knives? What what about then? Oh boy. So this is uh, interesting. Apparently, kiwi birds lay the largest eggs relative to their body size of right. any bird in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Look. Yeah. There's the picture I was about to post. Damn. Look at that. Jesus <laughs> Christ! That kiwi is <laughs> wrecked. That's a. That's a... <laughs> wow. What a... I wonder how that happens. Oh, so, dude, kiwis Jeez. are adorable though. Look at him. Look at that bird. Um, kiwis are neat. I can imagine an army of kiwis attack Australia. Want to guess who would lead them? Um, should be friendly. Uh... No, it wouldn't be me. Why would I be leading Kiwis against Australia? Maybe Australia's become evil, or anti maybe it's an anti-Australia, a bizarro Australia. Oh, so the, the, the Kiwis need to come over to save the day. Yep. <laughs> they need a leader. I can see the trailer already. Oh, this is interesting. Apparently, um... Apparently, DNA studies recently have identified the closest relative of the kiwi is an extinct elephant bird of Madagascar. Uh, Which looks kind of cassowary-like. It does look cassowary-like. It looks, uh, god, this is what dinosaurs look like. <laughs> this is definitely what dinosaurs look like. Right, it died because of human activity. Cool, awesome. Sorry. Right. Um, thoughts on Dark Souls 1 Nightfall and Dark Souls 3 Bloodborne mods? I have not played either of those. Ask me in two I months when say. I played them both. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh there you go, I guess. you're gonna play those in two months? Uh, I'm gonna play the Nightfall one. I think that one releases in, in January, I think. If I'm not mixing them up, and then there's a... And I think the Bloodborne mod is the Hollow mod. What's the, what's the Nightfall one, then? Uh, this is another overhaul for Dark Souls 1. What does it do? Apparently, like, new bosses, new areas and everything. Seems to be a pretty big project. So I'm very interested to check that out for sure. Well, I love how it's just clear that Frobs off the like, we're gonna make other IPs. It's like, we want more Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> like, alright, jeez. Yeah, uh, I, I heard about those and they sound pretty, pretty interesting. Question for Fringled and Metal. Oh, that's me, hello. What are your top five bosses from Metroid Dread? Also, hi, Mags. Hello. Hello! Well, I think that's something um, business. I, uh, like the final boss battle a lot. Yeah, I would put that on, uh, on my first. Probably at the top of place. mine, yeah. That was a really satisfying um, fight to... to master. Uh, uh, I did like the Kraid one, but I think I would rank, uh... I'm blanking on the name. It was the uh, the one in the the one that's latched onto the machinery when uh when the the lower area is frozen. And then you yeah, I like that one it. a lot too. Yeah, um, that probably would be my second. 
I the other one, one is my least favorite. <clears throat> Which one? What? The Shocking. The underwater one is my least favorite. I still haven't heard you. <laughs> the underwater one was my least favorite. Oh, okay. I heard him every time. I just some battle. I did too. Yeah. Now, now, I'll go now. Uh, that's that's uh that's four out of five of them. Uh, I'm just blanking. Thinking about no. What is what about the first one? Oh, I guess one? if the Emmys count as like bosses. I don't know that I would count those as bosses. They're, they're robots. The Samus goes robots, after the you know. Emmys. <laughs> yeah. You guys go like after the Emmys. Bunch She's of Emmys. looking for a reward. The Emmys come to life and try to bash you over their head with, like, what? Do Emmys have wings or that little ball that they're holding onto? What if. Hold on. I need to know. Emmys? I'm blanking wings? what an Emmy looks like. Emmy this award. The robot ones, they have, like, the, the spike. <laughs> no, no, I, no, I. I, I Ah, so the Emmys oh, bash over the head with like a weird fun. atom ball thing. Or, or they grab their wing and rip it off and throw it at you to impale you on the wall. Sweet. Yeah. Mel's still That's probably doesn't realize what you're talking about. <laughs> Sounds like a, a no, no, I'm really theory. confused. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Emmys <laughs> are an awards show that gives people Emmys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know the best that. Television. Clearly, you didn't, because otherwise, you would have followed that conversation easily. I was hearing something <laughs> about impaling people on the wall. I was thinking, was, yeah, you know with the wings, because like? I don't the know how yeah, that looks like. I think I made a really cool joke, but I don't think anyone heard it. We gotta get Mel caught up before we can hear your joke, Rags. You know how it works. He's, he's, he's slouching no, behind. Now. It's gone because now the the organic what? yeah energy metal ruined slot. literally everything. <laughs> no, I, I refused. I will not know. So, you enemy said that this enemy rips off its wings to stick you to the wall? To impale right. you to the wall. Yeah. And so I said, talk about a Pyrrhic stickery. Bad. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, because it's a great cost for the stickery, because he sticks you to the wall. Mm -hmm. That's great. Is that a joke or is that a pun? And is there a difference between a pun and a joke? <laughs> the follow-up. Could we? Let me see. Um, a Could we really... What is the difference between a joke? So and I just a pun? checked how the Emmy looks like, and now everything makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So according to Ask Difference, oh, okay. So a. A, a pun is to beat, strike with force, to ram, to pound, as in water, reduce to powder, to pulverize, joke, mm. and amusing story. What? A pun is an amusing story? <laughs> that was a joke, joke and amusing is, story. What is, what is this? Yeah, I don't know what these definitions are. <laughs> or is, right. it saying a, is it saying a pun is an amusing story? So a pun may be... Re okay, Wikipedia, I should have gone to you first, I'm sorry. A pun, <laughs> also known as a paranomase... A paranomasia, a form of wordplay that exploits multiple meanings of a term or a similar sounding word for an intended humorous or rhetorical effect. That is a I've pun. been I've been called rhetorical many times. Or was it the other thing? <laughs> I what is a, what, I wonder what it's like to be a rhetorical person. <laughs> Your existence is rhetorical. Your exist I I don't know. Uh, uh, and, uh, a joke is a display of humor in which words are used within a specific and well-defined narrative structure to make people laugh and is usually not meant to be taken seriously. Expressed in terms intended to persuade or impress. So you could have a very rhetorical life. Um, it ends we, say, we say rhetoric, but rhetorical. We don't say rhetoric. Why do we call it rhetoric, though? Is it, you know? Rhetoric? Well, I mean, why don't we uh, call it that? Retor, yeah. like you have retor, rhetoric, oh, and then rhetoric. Oh, sorry, I, I don't know why I thought it's, yeah, it's rhetoric. I don't, I'm pretty sure I heard somebody say rhetoric once. And it was like, wait, is that with a TH? Like, rhetoric? That sounds like a Dark Souls boss. It does sound like, like, a, uh, print, like mm -hmm. Prince Rhetoric. Well, Lothric is one of them, so you're close. Lothric? Well, we see, we see, oh, we okay. In the, in the chat, somebody said Wikipedia Fringy, and somebody said Fringypedia. Or it's like, I feel ah, like you it. wanted them to say that so you can point out Wikipedia is a good source. Fring Fringy yeah, Media? I, I, That's just I like will, a little portmanteau. I don't know. I think the thing is, is I always get annoyed when people shit on Wikipedia because it's like, god damn, is it useful? It's just all of this information in a really easily accessible and digestible way. Um, 
I know in I, school we were not allowed to use Wikipedia, no, we we which is stupid because all the fucking, fucking old ass boomers who was in charge of the rules didn't understand what Wikipedia was. So they don't understand that there were footnotes and references. Exactly. On so I got everything I needed from Wikipedia, but my it's source wasn't Wikipedia. Actual. It was just the source that Wikipedia got it from, <laughs> and they didn't know the difference because they don't fucking know what Wikipedia is. Exactly. They think it's just internet lies. That's what yeah. he thought it was. I, I, they it thought it was like internetlies.com. It's just too easy. They want you to work harder. They want you to work harder. Yeah. Well, I want them to work harder and learn what the fuck they're talking about. Oh, well, you know how it goes. Don't work harder, work smarter. Smarter. Uh, so I did. Yeah, don't work harder, work smarter. Yeah. And then I had more time to enjoy my life <laughs> instead exactly. of not going to Wikipedia. But teachers want everything to be boring because they did it the boring way. <laughs> like, come on, everyone's gonna do it the boring way. Now you have, to go now to you have and read books. yeah, you have to go to the library. But first, you need to learn the Dewey Decimal System so that you can find what you need. No. <laughs> I, did you guys learn the Dewey Decimal System? I didn't know. No. The Dewey. Wait. The, what? Sorry. The Dewey Decimal the, System. What is that? So the do so just for a D E W E Y Dewey Decimal System or the Dewey Decimal yeah the, the DDC yeah everyone the DDC Dewey right so system. it's okay. the Dewey Decimal it's like a way to classify and organize books by their like subjects so okay. you would so there were it was like the, on the sides of books there would be a number between like. It, for every 100, like zero, so I guess, it wouldn't be zero, it'd be 001, I guess, to 99. That would be some kind of topic. And then from 100 to 199 would be a different topic, et cetera, et cetera. And so right. you would be able to more easily locate a book based off of that classification. And then you could narrow okay. it down from there. I but see, we, uh, we had to learn. Yeah. Uh, it's just, they've got all the classes organized here on Wikipedia, so 000, Computer Science Information, General Works, 100, Philosophy and Psychology, 200, Religion, 300, Social Sciences, 400, Language. Okay. Interesting. Goes all the way up to 900. Yeah, History okay. and Geography. Right. Uh, but I, yeah, that, we had to learn that. We learned, I learned it at a, in grade school, I learned it at a fairly young age. Uh, I learned about the Dewey Decimal System, and I think I used it one time, and it was for a project that it was for a project that never amounted to anything, not because of me or us or the class, but because the teacher who had that assignment done, she got fired for I can't remember what reason, but she got fired for doing something bad, and so that that whole thing didn't i that the, my project was going to be on the aztec religion and so i went to the library and i i got all these books about all the cool aztec shit and the blood sacrifices and their violent horrific gods and all the rituals they do and my kid brain was fascinated by this and then it never amounted to anything because the teacher <laughs> got fired so <laughs> Very anticlimactic. Let's yeah, just, it really you was. Know what? It's I the feel journey like the that matters, anecdote. right, Rags? Not the destination. Yeah, it is. What I now we know about the Dewey Decimal System. The more you know, I feel like I've never heard yeah. of it before. Yeah, I feel either. like it's learning how to. It's, it's like knowing how to work a slide rule. Is learning how to use the Dewey Decimal System or the system. overhead projector? We like or the overhead mm -hmm. projector. Oh yeah, where they would put the you'd have a you'd have a projector and it light up and then it yeah. would magnify it onto the wall and the teacher would have the the little clear plastic card she'd put yeah. on it and she'd draw them with a marker. Oh Suicide Squad. I was gonna say it kind of yeah. touched I enjoy the Suicide Squad <laughs> for James Gunn writing. I guess where it's just like why is there an overhead projector there? It's like. Are we using that? It's like, no. So why do you have one? Like, <laughs> next question. <laughs> like, <laughs> overhead projectors. So, yeah, people who don't know what they look like, it looks like a medical apparatus. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's like a glass, it's a box with a glass top that shines the light up, and the light is collected by this box above that box, and it it mag it, or it doesn't magnify it, it, pro it projects. Uh, it, it, is an, it projects it onto a wall. 
and you would draw on the first box down below and it would take all that and it'd put all your drawings and stuff on the, on the wall so everyone could see it. And it was all analog, baby. Lots of presentations well, I guess it was digital were done that was, way. Yeah. yeah. And there were all kinds of... So here's here's an example right here. So they would make... I don't, I don't know if this is for you or Chad or whoever, whoever fucking cares about my story. But <laughs> you would, you, they, they would make all kinds of different templates that were made in reverse and they were clear and see-through. So you could put it on the overhead projector yep. and it would put on the wall. Yeah. Rags, do you remember typewriters? I do. I'm not old, but I do remember typewriters. My grandparents had one. They had an old school one, and they had an electric typewriter. And every time you press the button, it would do the chick, 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 chick. Dude, half the people in our audience don't know what dial-up is, so. Oh, uh, dial-up is the weird noise people make fun of. That's when internet was slow. You guys have no idea. Internet, <laughs> the internet I guess it's relative, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah but... Like relative to now, because the you know, internet in was ten years from now, shockingly we slow. have slow internet. Now. Like if you also wanted to look at you. porn, you'd wake <laughs> up early, spend an hour finding the porn site you wanted and the image you wanted based on a thumbnail, and back and that this was back in the days when they used actual thumbnails, right? Um, it's very disgusting. But you would have to click the image that you wanted. And then it would start loading, and then you would go to work. And then by the time you got back from work later in the day, the image would almost be done loading, and hopefully her groin was in shot by then, and you could enjoy your pornography by the time you got home. That was the end of the internet. And watching a video? Ugh! I hope you have good foresight, because you'd have to pick out what video you think you'd enjoy next week to watch, and then you'd have to let it load. And God forbid if anybody wanted to call you, no uh, that's another thing for those who didn't ask. know if you were using dial-up internet you couldn't call someone because it was using your phone line so if someone yep. called your home phone they couldn't it, it would it would show as busy so you'd get no phone calls while you were using the internet yo that was that was the that was the day back in the day man that's what we grew from that's the history mm -hmm. Of AOL. the world that we live in. Good old AOL chat rooms. Like, damn. Rags, Rags also walked to school three miles. So I do love walks, <laughs> but... Three miles you know, through I got, I got bunch of snow. Up. Uphill both ways. And the driving snow. Yeah. Huh. Um, hey, Mauler, ever heard of Limit Breaker's channel? They do useless Souls data. For example, what, uh, which Souls game's main pro tag has the most HP? And then putting them in a swamp level to see which of them lasts the longest. And it just... It says, it's funny too, and then it just stops. Getting, it's funny T-O? Yeah. Or T-O-O? -O? Oh. So it's funny I, to... I'm... Maybe oh, they did mean channel. to say it's funny too. Maybe. Maybe they just ran out of space and it really cut it off. Mm -hmm. I, I was having a conversation with somebody yesterday wow. online on the internet and I was typing my words out. And I like to type gra grammatically correctly with the exception of I'll speak in you know, colloquial phrases and such. Um, so I will not necessarily adhere to proper sentence structure in terms of like subject object you know verb kind You're of like thing. everybody yeah. um yeah like i'm kind of like every well no, no no a lot of people just type whatever they don't capitalize things or put the little air comma on their contractions i know it's not what they're called that's a that's a that's a little grammar joke for those of us in the know uh and, and like to punctuate they use common things of that nature and like four because he his name was like name comma the like i i forget exactly it, it was like a title name the thing Right. And he had correctly not capitalized the. However, he had put the name, comma. So, so it'd be like Bob the tall, right? But it was Bob, comma, the tall. And I said, you don't need that comma. So, like, oh, okay. But in like four different messages that I sent to him back to back to back, it cut off at exactly the point for length for the for the sentence size that the that the message could be. It cut off precisely where the punctuation would have been, so there was no period there. And it happened like four times in a row. And I was concerned: is he going to call that out? Is he going to see that I care about grammar? And then he's going to say, "How come you're not punctuating?" When it literally was just an insane coincidence that 
the limit cut off the pe- where the period would have been. What a story, Mark. But uh, that's, <laughs> it's 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 fine. <laughs> so it's, I know about fine. the channel limit it's break. Fine. That's pretty funny, yeah. Uh, I have no idea who Limit Breakers is, um, but I don't think I, I, I like I, th- those videos. Sound like they could be fun. I I, uh, I I don't know. Maybe I'll check them out at some point. Yeah, but basically they. I think what they do is just basically doing data thingies, and then uh, I want to look. They're searching for different data things in the Souls games. It's like, oh, how many knives do you need to throw at X enemy until they actually get poisoned, even though they have like a a million poison resistance or something. Mm-hmm. Things along those lines. Or how how high can we cap this certain ability and make it one shot stuff? Th- that kind of stuff. Um, in- infinite was meh IMO. Oh my god. All these spoilers. Which I'll have to see when we play it. Um, did you guys ever play Pursuit Force on the PSP? It was so much fun just from memory. No, I, I never played have. that. I, I might don't have. recognize that at all, no. Did, did he say Pursuit? Or I guess you. Did you say Pursuit Force or Pursuit that, 4? Yeah, it's Force. Pursuit okay. 4. Right. Right. It's a game Force. where you okay. play as a cop and you like drive around, you jump between cars, uh, and then, like, oh. while you're chasing criminals, jump between cars, hijack them, and then, uh, chase okay. them, like, that car. I, I might have played it. I haven't. Definitely heard of it. Watch the debate with Major Lee. Holy crap, that guy should be a politician. Cheers all, Don be with you all. Um. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. I wonder how much of that he still follows through with and really believes after, you know, with all of the stuff that's come after. Yeah, we should catch up with maybe him Maybe he's changed. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't have to. We can just make something up. We could, yeah. He still believes all of it. Uh, thoughts on the Star Wars Eclipse trailer? Most potential I've seen in a Star Wars property in a long time. Cautiously optimistic, Why? very cautious. Why do you say that? Feels to me like we say that with every visuals? single Star Wars trailer for anything. Is, is it because there was, just, was there just weird visuals and you're like, oh, yeah, I well, filled it in my in my head that, yeah. in the head cannon that I made up on the spot. This is really good, and it's well, going to be great. I got nothing because it's a CGI trailer. Like, you know, I, I don't know what I'm meant to do with that. But it has the most potential in anything they've seen to do with Star Wars. It's Quantic and... Dream as well, so... Yeah. 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 We'll see. I've heard, those, I've heard those games fall the fuck apart if you don't play along with them. Um, or, like, stay on the rails. Yeah, they're, they're very... Kind of. Cinematic, walky, yeah. Those types of experiences. Now, and I've never, I've never seen it as bad as Resident Evil Village when it comes to you. You need to stay. You need to do what you're fucking told, or else this game will just refuse to function, practically. Um, mm. But it's, it's still. I've heard it's pretty bad. People don't remember how bad Village was, and we're on our little island when we say that stuff's bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got in some trouble when we said bad. it was bad. Oh no. Anyway. That's okay though. Yeah. Shame about it being bad. Oh. Uh, my face went EFAP are talking about Kiwis, and they've got... You know the thing people do where they put the two pointing fingers to the center? Uh-huh. And then they've got a Kiwi instead of a face. <laughs> there you go. Uh, weird animal to look up. Mexican mole lizard. Locals have an urban legend I can't type due to censorship. Mexican mole lizard. That is a really odd critter. A mole lizard. Mm-hmm. So let me post a. Let me post. Hole? Let Let me post a picture here. This is yeah, this is an interesting boy. Let me get a good oh. good picture to show you. <clears throat> Copy and paste. <laughs> oh my! 
What that's, a that's cool. That's that cool. Looks wild. That's one of them ones that would end up in fiction, and you'd be like, "Oh, it's a nice mashup of different animals." It's like you <laughs> had like, no, no, it's real creation software, and you just hit random. Yeah. It has um. So. It said da 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 da. Yeah, uh, down in Baja, California, there crawls a beast so bizarre, so cruel, so foul that the mm. mere mention of it sends locals scurrying. It's an opportunist said to attack humans at their most vulnerable moment. Potty Pooping? time. Yeah. Oh. Should should you be foolish enough to drop trow and answer the call of nature in the wilderness, you'll find the beast will quote unquote. Enter your body by the most unspeakable means, said Carl Franklin, a herpetologist at the University of Texas at Arlington. <laughs> and it'll rip your guts and shred them to pieces. Oh, no. The death is slow, not to mention embarrassing. <laughs> That's but the part I can send about. But it, it, it isn't true. It's just a myth. It has a very bad oh, reputation okay. because of it. Um so, but they are, they are, uh, they are, in fact, it says here, totally adorable and completely harmless. But that is a reputation that it has gained. Except for the, the butt sure. stuff. Well, it, I, all of that was the butt stuff, pretty much. Except for that. They have no reputation other than being just. You just an said odd... that they were nice and friendly and stuff. Well, I guess, I guess that part's true. But the butt stuff was also there. So remember, you can you can if you really need to poop near a Mexican mole lizard, um, you don't have to worry about it crawling up your butt and shredding your insides, All right. which would be a horrific. It would be a horrific fate. Right up the pooper. Poop. Um, what an interesting critter. <laughs> Will y'all be having on Sean Fitzgerald, actual Justice Warrior? He has a great and some he has some great and some weird takes, and Duma is afraid to debate him. <gasps> oh know, my it's goodness! Probably a meme, but that sounds interesting. Yeah, we find the right topic. We can bring pretty much anybody on. You know, I'm up for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Why not? I'm down for it. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on, read mm. my name, Black Kiwi. All right. I did it. Good job. Hope it was everything you wanted. I hope it was everything and, and more. more. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it went all the way past what you thought it might be. Have you tried Death Loop from Dishonored One and Two Devs? I've not yet. I've not I, yet. It's on my to-do list. It's on my to playlist. I've heard good things though. Give like a couple of more hours in the days, and then I can play all these games eventually. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up, Mel. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. And I heard Add more it, hours to the day medal personally. Yeah, I'll do it. And it won awards at the Game Awards, so hopefully that'll be good for the company and company and everything. Because I don't want Arcane to go away because they make banger after banger, and it just it. No, it seems I had not enough people well. play them. Yeah. They make these very interesting worlds with very wonderful art styles, and the gameplay is fun and interesting. And it really encourages exploration, and I really, really want Arcane to stick around for a long time. Um, Fringy, you can do it. Lead the Kiwi army to free the people locked in the Aussie Koof camps, then march them to Texas to help keep the immigrants the hell out. Nice. March them across the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> feel like they'll all die. <laughs> Why to wonder? <laughs> Wait, some uh, James says Halo is always a soap opera, though. Even Bungie said it was. Nah. Halo is not a soap opera. Nah, it ain't. They are. If they said that, I disagree with them. They're wrong. Halo ain't no soap opera. It's a fun shooty game with a neat bit of story mixed into it. All right, <laughs> like it's not a soap opera. Calm the fuck down, Bungie. <laughs> yeah, but. Bungie, but they not. said it was. I don't care. I don't know. Yeah, why? Why are we appealing to what they said? Is that how that works for genre? Have you been to EFAP before? <laughs> someone said that was. In, someone said that was in response to a future super chat, which is fine. Oh, okay. But if if you're if he's if you're saying that Bungie said that Halo was a soap opera, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know about that one. I just don't agree. 
I, yeah, I do not. I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe someone could make a long and extensive video essay on why Halo Combat Evolved is actually a soap opera. Everyone's saying they said space opera. Did you say space opera? Well, I don't know. I didn't even see what I, I mean, I... Maybe, maybe, maybe they accidentally said... That would be more apt, but even then... Because even sure then, I don't think it's an opera anything. Let's those, yeah, unless like it's one of those Star operas Wars where there's no opera, singing right. and there's a lot of shooting and gunfights and aliens. Yeah. Like the, the Fifth Element opera. That was like a, that was a space opera. <laughs> that was one hell, she had one hell of a, she had one fucking hell of a kidney stone, I'll tell you that. Been trying to squeeze that thing out for decades. Usually, please say play Sekiro. Best combat from software has ever had in a game. I will try not to bug you too much about it, but I'm sure you'll like it. One day. Not sure when that day will be, but one day. Just another one day, one day. Hey, Metal, how big is uh. Bathlon in Germany? Biathlon, probably. Uh, what, what, that's it. Is it like B I A T H? Yeah, what's that? Uh, if I remember, if I'm not mixing those up, it's like it's a winter sport where they ski a certain a certain way, and then there's like targets where they shoot at, and they have to shoot like five targets, and if they miss, they get like a penalty, like a time penalty, I think. Hmm. And then they have to go ahead. It's basically like a snow track where they have to ski on. Uh, Do they and shoot? while they're skiing no they they there's like stations where they have to stop and then either lie down or standing they have to hit targets i think it's shockingly five on less each interested station. in this now sorry the amount of interest that i had dropped sharply after that answer doesn't... i mean would we i would probably watch like if they have to do it while they ski <laughs> like... they do it they do that during the olympics and the winter olympics it's like a you you do a bunch of skiing and then you have this rifle with you, and they use like yeah. little pellet rifles or whatever. And then you ski, 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 and then you go to a shooting station and you shoot. And then I guess you ski more. Yeah, that's so what I I'm guess that's... Yeah, that's what I, what yeah. I was talking about. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so that's that's the name of it. Yeah. Wait, what's the name again? Is it some biathlon? Biathlon. What... Yeah. Okay. Wait, I can type it out. I think that's the correct. Oh, biathlon. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, uh, it's pretty. I think it's pretty popular in Germany. I think it's uh, broadcasted on all the official stations. Uh, they're just practice. They're just training all the citizens to be ready for another Russian invasion. <laughs> exactly. Low key. That's all this is. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my turn to start skiing. All and... this practice skiing and shooting. I have no idea what this <laughs> is for. What a strange combination of skills that has such, such low practical value. What yeah, could it possibly uh, be? Well, what a fun idea we had. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it's, it's quite popular uh, here. I think Germans are actually pretty good at it most of the time. At least at some point they were. I, I'm not following it at all. I know that my grandma watches it all the time. <laughs> Um, who's everyone's favorite and least favorite MCU character? My favorite? Oh, it's tough. Probably, I think uh, I might go with Tim Captain Stark. America. Well, if we're going with but living, there's... I guess oh, he's still living. Oh. Would be, uh... it's, yeah, I guess I have to take Endgame and all this other shit into consideration when I pick favorite character. Right. Ugh, I don't. Ugh. I don't know. Least favorite is hard to choose. I like Rocket a lot. I don't know. I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Least favorite is probably like Captain Rocket. Marvel, I guess. Whenever she shows up, I'm going to be like, ugh. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I. Th oh, I hate so many. That's the thing. <laughs> um, I like. I like Spidey. Yeah. Uh, I like well, the Guardians. Yeah, that's probably a safer bet. Favorite living for me is probably going to be Spider Man. I'm just happy to see him. He's a good lad. Uh, favorite oh, yeah, living, taking them yeah. all in is probably Tony. Uh, least yeah. favorite of all is probably Captain Marvel for both answers. 
I th- I th- I'm I'm happy settling on her being my least favorite. While there are many that I hate, yeah. many of them new characters or the new versions of old characters. Um, I am. Uh, oof. Okay, I, I just Marvel's distinctly like remember Marvel. while I was okay. watching Endgame, so in, no, Captain I, Marvel came along, and I was like, oh, fuck that. So I don't think and Captain win the day yeah. every time. I don't think she's a nothing burger. I think she's just actively bad. She's Shit just a burger. spiteful, <laughs> well, I guess what I mean is, I got snarky. nothing to latch on to, you know? Like, yeah, nothing there's... positive. Mm. Well, the movie said that she was intelligent, um, funny. You're smart, you are funny. Which you know, is not just none wrong, of those things. Good. I feel like you can just refer to that, can't you, for characteristics? Or I was, I've, <laughs> I, I was. That's what I was told. So if that's what the author I'll intended. Always look back on that moment where she's like, like, like uh, Jude Law is like, okay, let's let's fight on fair grounds uh, instead of using yeah. your powers. And then she's like, well, no. Why, what is? What are you? What are you supposed to think as an audience? Like, yeah. I think you're meant to think, isn't that funny? Look at how he went flying. Isn't that funny? I just have way Look more respect how... for him in that moment than I do here. Yeah, he didn't get the... He didn't inexplicably get fucking god powers, so... He didn't shoot an engine. So and you know what? Just... He's fighting a, a battle he cannot fucking win, and he's like, let's at least just go fist to fist, which she'll beat him on anyway. Um, yeah, but... but she just uses her super... Remember, he just goes fucking flying. He does. He's Surprises uh, alive. across... I don't know, I guess they're super strong. It's it's doubly weird because they clearly set up that they would fight again and she would win. That's based the, off that's of the subversion. Yeah. yeah, that's the sub- yeah, but, but they're not even gonna just, fight. Uh, but the subversion does nothing for us as an audience, we're just like, okay. You know what? Men are brave. Yeah, fuck yeah. The, the, if, the, if you set up, <clears throat> she always beats him with her powers, but without them, uh, he seems to control her. You're like so, in the finale, she can finally prove no, no, no she'll just. Her powers well. don't define who she is. It's like, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> she's, just, <laughs> she's just powers. That's you could all have done she it is. that way. She's... That he makes it seem like he might win uh, with these things, and they go to start the fight, but she wins straight away with her not powers, and you're just like, oh, yeah, like she always had it in her, and she punch. was just maybe she exactly. could even smugly say I was always holding back because I was embarrassed for you. Well, Just it, because why not? It, That's what she would say. Well, make, yeah, make the theme. It's like, I don't, you know, like I... Because if, if there is, like, a theme you want to try and pull from that movie, it's like, oh, you know, you're not defined by limitations or whatever or something like that. So if you beat somebody with severe limitations on you, it's like, yeah, see? Like, even even without my powers, you know, I, I got capacity here. Yeah. But no, Wasn't there we don't want to do that. Superman comic who did that, where Superman Maybe didn't was. have his powers and he had to fight someone in the ring or something. They probably did do that. Then when Superman, you know, a mono. Overhead projector look like a Star Wars extra droid. Prove me wrong. Kinda? It sure. does look. You could you could dress that up to be a Star Wars droid. Absolutely, you could. I could see it. Mm -hmm. I could see it. It's like one of these devices. If you don't know what it is and you look at it, it's like, what the fuck is what this? What does this do? What does this yeah. do? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what this does. And you're like, and then you turn it I, on. I... Then just the lights go on. It's like, what, what now? <laughs> what so it lights doing? up a wall. What do you mean? Why? So why not just use a flashlight? <laughs> you yeah, know, they're like, weirdo. And then you put the you draw on it. And you're like, oh. Um. Someone a little earlier said Mauler, by that logic, Star Wars isn't a space opera. If you're referring to my logic of George Lucas said it was a space opera, therefore it must be, it's like, yeah, that doesn't make it a space opera either. People it's creating space opera it, because it, saying it's a particular genre doesn't make it that genre, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. If genre is supposed to be a broad appeal to, like, what is in it, then we usually do that after we've seen it, not before. I mean, oh, sorry, it's just that's how it works on the cases for these things, right? Be like, this is horror. It's like, how do they know that? Or we watched it. Apparently, Superman fought Muhammad Ali in the ring and lost at some point. I think that's what I was thinking of. No, he's not oh. that good. Calm down. Yeah. <laughs> it's calm you mean, you down. Superman, right? He's not that good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. Um, I pl I used to play Tribes 2 Aerial Assault on the PS2 online with a modern adapter. Imagine that. Don't think I ever hit anything. Also, high rags. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, 
I have a, I had a 70 year old tell me I listened to music his dad listened to. I am old at the ripe age of 24. Rip me. Huh. You're not old because you listen to old music. I don't know. They say boomer is a mindset. <laughs> it just it so happens that a lot of boomers have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you had to be stuck in an elevator with an MCU cast member for 24 hours, who would you choose and why? Chris Hemsworth, probably. Uh, in interviews, he seems like one of the most chill, fun people ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I reckon Robert Downey Jr. would be a little bit I awkward. I think I'd want to... Because he'd be trapped uh, in the elevator with you, while I think Chris Hemsworth would probably try and make it chill, because he knows how awkward it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually, yeah. I I mean, maybe there's there's a part of my mind that that thinks if, like, so if we had Scarlett Johansson right, with all the stuff that's been happening uh. with, like, Disney stuff and with all the Black Widow this and that and the stuff, there's, there's a part of me that's like, if she was willing to in this closed elevator with nobody around and she knows that she could tell me anything in confidence, I'd love to pick her brain on just all of the the inner working like, of the career and everything, you know. Because she's what doing Disney she... stuff again now, right? They've they've she is. solved yeah. that. So maybe she would just be like, "That's fine. I'm not going to talk about it. Let's talk about something else." <laughs> Show me your boobs. Yeah, see, that would make I'd it say, real awkward. I would no. That's that. She's got a thing for. She's got a thing for incredibly awkward nerdish characters. And I'll tell her that I hacked her emails in order to discover that. But it turns out that she has a fetish for having her emails hacked. Alright. Uh, Y'all remember walking into a classroom and knowing you were going to be watching a movie because the TV was humming, even if the screen was black? Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. I wouldn't call it a hum, though. Uh, do you guys know the sound I'm referring to or referring to here? I'm trying to think. I I had plenty. I was around plenty of TVs in the 90s that, you know, were old. I'm just trying to think of what hum you're talking about. So, yeah, hum might not be the best word for it, but there would be a very high frequency sort of, um, I don't want to say a screech, but it starts, it's sort of like a, like a eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
that like a really heavy on button and you press that in that goes like and then yeah. you could hear the other a crackling like, oh. sound on tvs as well yeah yeah i know that it's it, it does remind me of malignant where they wanted the, the they wanted the the traditional spooky imagery so they'd have the static on the tv when that's just tvs don't do that anymore mm. you don't you, it's just not a thing um so but man, this is turning into this is turning into blast from the past. EFAP, we're reminiscing yeah. about old technology. It's kind of yeah, interesting. We're talking like we about you just dial stopped up. after technology. It sounded yeah, like yeah. you had space to make a whole bunch there, but you just ended. Oh, that, yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I was saying where we talked about dial up and overhead projectors and the 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 the, the, the static noise of the uh, of the old TVs and that library man. thing. That's right, the Dewey Decimal System. That's We're right. really taking it back. We're really taking it back. Or the, that's right, or the, that's that right, the Halo or, or the well. random radio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Remember when games released and they would just be full of things? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the content was just there. It's like, well, I... John is the same kind of dinosaur that we are. Yeah. We're not really dinosaurs, but <laughs> like times were different. Well, Fringy's a bird. His people used to be dinosaurs. That's... I'm not a bird. <laughs> I'm not a bird. <laughs> Rags, we, could, we need to talk about your racism. Jeez. <laughs> you just ease up a bit? My, my phylogeny identification skills. You can call it that if you my, want. My uh, whatever the kids call it these days. My <laughs> taxonomic classification awareness. Uh, Morley, oh, use Yumfar as an idea farm for DS races. Oh. Was our YouTube it, channel? It, yeah, Yumfar, Wimfar, I still don't really know how to pronounce it. You aware of that channel at all, or? Um, Y-M-F-A-R? F-A-H. I've probably Fah. seen it around, but he, he, I'm not he, that familiar. He now. does like the uh, item only Bloodborne playthroughs or Dark Souls only with items. I think the, the, one of the recent ones was th uh, playing Dark Souls 2 without talking to any of the NPCs. I mean, we, we me and Mel races usually come up with stuff that we know we can do, not things that have... You know, like, the first one to kill Capra with club is like something we know we can do at least. Yeah. If you were like, do the whole game with club, it's like, no. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. We want to have fun, not hate ourselves. I mean, you could probably pull it off with the club when you upgrade it, probably. No, I... I isn't that... Wasn't that rule no upgrades with the Capra? Well, I, I mean, after. I mean, if you want to do the whole game. Well, we club. did do that. Um, yeah. But yeah, I meant no upgrades. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can do any of the fucking weapon if you were allowed to upgrade it. Uh, when you were saying kiwis with knives, I was imagining a fruit with a knife taped to its side. Yeah. Yeah, you could throw it at people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Or it could roll around and just slice and dice. You like do a, have options here, definitely. Absolutely. Options. Be one of those, um, it, it, like a, like one of those umbrella traps from Resident Evil that just make no sense and are totally outlandish and crazy and somebody was just trying to get a bigger budget next year so they came up with these convoluted nonsense traps. Oh, I'm gonna need more money next quarter because we used up our whole trap budget. I mean, I just, I need, yeah, someone let Wesker know that the, the trap department, we need, oh, the trap, we need, the, we need more, we need more money or else we're not gonna have any traps. So we gotta have traps. We're Umbrella. It's what we do. Anything nefarious or, you know, maniacal. And then his food got smooshed. Like, what an ending to that. Yeah. Oh, I just don't see how that killed him. Uh, well, I guess it didn't kill him, right? He got exploded. He was just sort of lying there. He just couldn't move. He could... I feel like he should have been able to move if his food got smooshed. Well, you know? he could move, but he couldn't move beyond the the crushed ankle foot, you know? That was his anchor to the ground because for some reason it, he's he's not allowed to have his ending. The biggest insult Paul W S Anderson has done in his entire career. The smooshing of the foot. There's documentaries being made about that, starring 
Christopher Eccleston, Christopher Nolan, Christopher Lee, Christopher, Christopher Walken. Christopher. <laughs> no, Christopher Chris is not a real actor. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was being serious and you just made fun of it. So fuck Yeah, me. because it was stupid. Oh, okay. Look You're a meanoid. Meanoid? Yeah, I said it. Come at me. Okay, go. I did, the fucking noises didn't come through this code, ruin everything. Yeah. Just go, go ahead. <laughs> uh, look up the David Cage bingo card. Someone recently made one for the upcoming Eclipse game. The cards are great. I'm afraid I know very little about David Cage to find it funny. I think mm. Fringy knows stuff about David Cage. Um, like what specifically? Stuff that would go on a bingo card, I guess. Um... I don't know, actually. Like, if you if there was a Quantic Dream bingo card, like or David Cage, bad I don't know. Bad dialogue is that like uh. bad dialogue would probably be on there. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else I'd say. Though. That's like the main thing I think when I think of like bad games, just bad writing. Um, I just got an eighty-two on my car final. I am quite happy. So here, take my funny green paper. Wow, excellent. Oh, congrats. Uh, car final? I guess... Just driving Some test? sort of exam, I guess, or... Yeah. And, uh... When, well, 82 out of 100, I guess a passing grade, I don't know what it would be, but I'm assuming it's something like... 70-ish? You're at 70. I think it... Well, actually, in public schools, it might be 60. I went to private schools where it was 70. As long as you don't kill it, too many people, right? You can get through? Had literally higher standards, but... Um, I, I don't... Yeah, I'm not sure. 70 was passing. Uh, Infinite has gone full soap opera. Thanks, 343, I hate it. At least I have a Warhammer Space Marine 2 to play soonish. So the, oh, the complaint no. is it's too much like a soap opera, and some people, I guess, were saying it is a space opera. Oh, okay. So it's all the starting confusion. to make sense a little bit. It all comes down to this. Uh, fuck, Mary, kill Scarlet Witch, Wasp, and Sharon Carter. Well, we got to kill uh, Scarlet Witch before she kills everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so the characters yeah. in universe. Okay. Um, Mary Wasp, I guess, because she's not crazy or evil right now. She's just a hero. Right. Where Sharon Carter? I guess is we fuck Sharon. Here. Easy. Yeah. Yay! We did it. We did it. Um, anyone see Jared's hello and goodbye vid he posted on YouTube? Blacklight Mike, a few months ago. He's going to Odyssey, apparently. Future coverage, please. Uh, I feel like if he just wants to be comfy on Odyssey, let him be comfy on Odyssey. Uh, as for, I, I'd be curious to see what his goodbye video was. Um, yeah, who knows what he's up to. I'm gonna grow this thing so beautifully. Look at that. No, not on stream. Oh my god. It's done. Everyone can see. Oh no. Everyone no. Can see. And oh no. Everybody can see it mutely. Why so would beautiful. you do it? I think it's pretty. I guess you guys don't. That's fine. Um, I love how I make a half joke about keeping immigrants out and the German one is the only one who laughs. Hi rags, play automata already. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, hey EFAP, watch Robotech. Is that no. an anime? Sounds like an anime. Robotech does sound like an anime. Let's say Robotech. A video game that's called Robotech? Robotech, a space opera anime epic of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's from the eighties. Never mind, there might be hope. Um it is let's see, the space opera anime epic of humans defending their home world against alien domination. Okay. It was made forty years ago, so it might be good anime. Might be some of the best. Because people say Cowboy Bebop's one of the best, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they say I that. that. I really like Cowboy Bebop. Um, I rags. Hello. Mm, 
did you know that in Dune, they don't have computers because there was a Jared Genesis-like event? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, wow. That sounds bad. Um, also, they don't use guns because their shields would make an artificial barrier of blockage. Uh, oh, nice. Starting to make sense. All of it. It's all coming together. Um... True, it may have to do may have to do something with the reminder to the SWOTOR trailers and the recent trash Star Wars hotel trailers desperate for good content. Oh yeah, I, I, I understand that. It's just that um whenever someone tells us, hey, whoa, 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 this new thing's gonna be great, potentially, it's like they're all like that. Except for Rise of Skywalker, everyone knew that was gonna be shit. <laughs> yeah. Um Man, 2015 to 2017, Fringy Twitter was a crazy time. With a little licky face. Hope it was raunchy. Just want to lick up those tweets. Do you have a lot of not safe for uh, work tweets, uh, Fringy? You like that side of, uh... You like that side um, of Twitter? I, mean, I don't use Twitter that much anymore. Oh, me neither. I don't, well, I I don't do the prongs. <laughs> I don't. I don't do the. I don't even like prawns on on the Twitter. Even I don't think I. Prawns. Like where do you, prawns where do you are jumping out of the prawns. Twitter screen. Um, I've never ever ever considered Twitter as a source of porn. I don't. Have, have you guys? Oh I yeah, you Twitter's a about great prawns. place for it. Sorry, that's what? The, I that's. It's, I it's, like it's, it's a little. It's a little internet thing where you say prawn instead of. Prawn. No, I I know, but I. But now I'm just wondering if there is, like, a Twitter place that is specifically just about getting prawn shipped to you as quickly as possible. Like, probably you know. a, there's probably a company who does that, and they have a Twitter page. Because like, a lot of companies now have Twitter pages. Twitter, for some right. reason, has an excellent prawn delivery service, like, compared to everywhere else. <laughs> it's just that specific. Like, Twitter specifically, it's, like, in their little underground dungeon, you know, they've got, like, their big open space headquarters, and then you put basement, like, Ted... Sub level ten, it opens up and it's just everybody. It's like Squid Game, except they're putting prawns into the caskets, and instead of burning them, they're shipping them across the world. So really, it's nothing like Squid Game when you think about it. Yeah, I, I like using Twitter for uh, porn. You can get some good, really good artists on there, um, and some good people who put out stuff. Um, I don't pay for anything. Fuck that. Market's too big to you know worry about that, but um. Uh, yeah, sometimes I'll scroll through some people if, uh, like, in my server and stuff, someone posts something, or I see someone's name, and maybe I click on it and see what they do, and I just scroll down the media that they put out. Sometimes it's good. It's always odd for me because I'm like looking at movie opinion or vaguely political opinion, overtly political opinion, overtly political opinion, giant penis. I'm like, wait, wait, wait oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was not ready for that. Yeah. <laughs> There oh, were similar. some accounts that I was willing to follow, and then they post pictures of themselves naked, and I was like, no, I'm not, uh, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, thank you, bye. I can teach you the bare truth about movies. Uh, <laughs> fuck this movie. And also fuck me if you subscribe on no. OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 it was worth hearing my name, oh. and they've got the... I guess the exhausted face with all the water droplets. Uh, yeah, bl oh, black yes, kiwi. They just like hearing me say black kiwi. I don't know why. Black I kiwi. Yeah. Ugh, black kiwi. <laughs> so you guys can't see it, but there's a emote of it's called Rags Huff. Rags huffing. With I'm so tired, man. I'm this, tired. This has got to be I'm Discord users. Bad, yeah. It's, it's, I'm just tired, man. Sometimes you've just been working and working, and you get to the end, and it's done, and you just go, ah. Oh. Well, we're yeah. doing pretty well. Oh. We're, at, uh, we're coming up to three hours, and we've almost caught up with today's. Oh, really? <laughs> Fuck me. Christ. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whoop, whoop. Uh, high frequency noise sounds like some subliminal tisms to me. That's how they get you. Get their messages in there. Yeah. You will watch so stop the them. television. As opposed to Super Liminal, where they just yell at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> Beep! Yeah. Join, Beep. The Join the Navy! <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. Bye, okay. shrimp from Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
and then you just have the song backwards. It's just buy shrimp when you buy it backwards. <laughs> You're controlling this through the shrimp. Buy shrimp. Wow, prawns. Which which one is the correct one? Are they the same? Or, I don't wait, fucking know. I need to know. Prawns versus shrimp. The yeah, truth. see, there it is. I really it's, hope you get like a sick video of a prawn versus a shrimp. Like the fighting. main difference. Well, apparently they are different. Uh, the main difference between pr so pr shrimps are mostly found in salt water. They're smaller. They're part of the suborder uh, Pleo suborder Somata Pleo Somata plate like gills and a curled body. Prawns are mostly found in fresh water. They're bigger. They're part of a different suborder. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. They have bra branching gills and a straight body. So here I was thinking they're like identical and they're literally different species. Neat. The more you know. Though, admittedly, I'm looking at a picture and it says it's a shrimp, but to me that looks like what we would call a prawn. <laughs> so I, I, I now wonder if we've just been saying it wrong this whole time. Guys, yeah, look how raunchy I, this game's getting. I don't blame people yeah. for using them interchangeably. You know? I, neither do I. They look very similar. It's like, oh I no, you they understand? Taste. They have plate I bet they taste rags. very similar, too. <clears throat> yeah, right, probably. got the stream up. Um, I do, yes. It's oh, time. No. We're gonna have an, oh my goodness. We're, we're gonna no. have an intervention, oh, okay? No. So we're gonna be, uh, making oh, a point God. here. Oh, Give me the shrimp, oh. you actually. Give me you, the shrimp. You, oh, sir, you, sir, have a problem with alcohol, and where you see this, in reality, it is this. <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, that's even better. Oh, God. <laughs> No more beer, Rex. <laughs> no, no more beer. No, but we, it, uh, my little doggy body, it only needs three beers. <laughs> Mola, what the fuck? Hey, look, it's the game. I didn't do nothing. He's trying to get away and you won't let him. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> him. Oh. <laughs> Is it? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, the, the, we gotta get them ghosts back in the portraits. They're happier there. They're <laughs> happier in prison, all right? <laughs> They're happier entombed in, uh, in, uh, in acrylic and pastels and stuff. We will make friendly. you beautiful forever. Oh, forever. God. Like Dorian Groy. <laughs> hmm. All right. Did you guys ever put a magnet on the screen of a TV, a tube TV, and make rainbows? I did, I until the rainbows have. didn't go away at my grandma's grounded. <laughs> Aww. Well, yeah, no, I, I don't think I ever did that. I have like, not I... done that, nor have I shown a laser pointer into a camera. Well, no, I was going to say, the, the right. rainbow thing, I was like... Immediately thinking like that sounds like it damages it. I don't think I'd want to do that. I really like TVs. I didn't want to damage them <laughs> I'm thinking I might have done that, but maybe not much because obviously I wouldn't want to destroy the TV either It was my Simpsons player, you know, I needed it <laughs> That's what it was. It was the Simpsons box But for um for those who don't know uh, and I, th I don't know if they still do it this way, but I know in older video games in order to simulate the appearance of a mirror, it wasn't actually a mirror of a reflected image. It was a clone version of yourself in a copy of the room that was adjacent to your room that you were seeing through like a window, and it would just copy everything that you did in reverse and show you that. It wasn't actually a reflected image. Okay. Thought that was interesting. Now you'll never look at it the same way. You'll know that there's another Luigi in there. Luigi, yeah. oh my god, am I the Lugie. real? Oh, oh my god, am I the real Lugie or is he the real Lugie? Which one of this is real? Oh my goodness. And now you have an existential crisis in your horror game. Um, I am able to hear lamps and battery charges. It's neat until it isn't when your family <laughs> thinks you're crazy because you can hear, they can't hear it. Huh. It's neat until it's not, which sounds like all the time. <laughs> like, it's it's neat for maybe a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm living in a different plane of existence. I can hear the lamps. 
Silence of the lamps, please. Um, all I'm saying is, Fringy has a very phallic beak on his face, and Birdo has a suspiciously placed hole extending out of her face. Coincidence? Hey. I think not. Don't... no. Hey man, they're just asking questions, is that so wrong? Okay. Yeah. Stop hating on the pursuit of knowledge. No. Science <laughs> is cool. Science um, is pretty cool. Please cover Jared's goodbye video. He says we are not the enemy, the government is, and he tried to warn us, but we wouldn't listen. We didn't listen. Wow, I, I don't know if that's a joke or not, but I believe it. Jared tried to save the universe, okay? And we didn't we just didn't engage with him enough to, to, to get that savior. Jared denied for our sins. He would have been like on PewDiePie's level if only people had you know, he was just ahead of his time, I guess. See all the, the karate he knew? Like, he would fuck you up. Got a day. I don't know how I feel about Rag saying my name like that. Down, boy, down. I'm already taken. Oh. What? Whose name? The uh, Black Kiwi guy. Black Kiwi guy? Mm-hmm. Well. Say your name however the fuck I want. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah. Babe. And you gotta deal with it. All right, Cora. I want to see Alex Jones yelling about Twitter's secret prawn empire. Do it. <laughs> I'd pay for that, yeah. So I'll be right back. Dude, imagine he, like, veered off career-wise into that. It's like Fiverr where you pay $5 and he'll do a rant about any particular word you give him. Like, that's behind it all. That'll be fun. I want to do one with Palpatine. Worst breakup slash rejection y'all have endured. Feel like that's probably not going to be gone through with any people here. <laughs> Since... I haven't really, I haven't had any bad ones, so yeah, I'm, I'm I okay. I, I, none for me. I, 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 I don't have a, don't have a story to put in contention. So. What about you, Metal? All right. He's disappeared underneath the desk, looking for the shrimp, seeing if there's like a passageway to that of underground course, course distribution crumb. network. For me, my answer would be. Of course, be, you don't want to move those shrimp above ground. Wouldn't you like to know? In terms of something like that, I don't know. What would your answer be, Fringy? Uh, probably the same thing. Uh, my dog died a couple months ago. My nana this Damn. week had a long-term relationship and rough, Damn. and I'm swallowed up with work and school. You guys help out lots. Uh. No, I'm Damn, really glad that we can that, help dude. you out, man. We are. We yeah, sorry to hear it. It's uh, doing some good for you. We will reliably be here for a long time. Talking about this, that, and the other thing. Plenty of fun stuff to happen. Hopefully that. In any way can help you out. Um, Lawless, no joke, Rags. He said the government is evil. That doesn't surprise me at all that Jared would say that. What did he say that was wrong? <laughs> I just, I feel like there's more than just Satan working in the government, you know? I don't know. About I'm sure that. he's a high rank, but. Hi. Hi. Fringy, are the henchmen in your comic meant to represent the different stages of male pattern boldness and hence the different Ooh. stages throughout life? Such themes. Also, art's pretty neat. Oh, thanks. Um, no, but... <laughs> 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 but if, if it was, I, I would not confirm that, right? That's that's not my job to explain how, how that ought to be interpreted. Okay, chatter. Death of the author. Go, 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 go. Oh god, don't reference Korea, please. What in the what? 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 Because of Squid Game? Shrimp Game? I don't know. Hmm. What's your most hated video game and movie, and why? Oh. These are huge questions, and technically there's 
two for each person here. Hmm. Most hated. Hmm, we'll most start with video game, I guess. Then most hated video game, everybody. Hmm. Most hated video game. I really did hate Amnesia Rebirth. That's up there. <laughs> that is definitely up there. I hated Bioshock Infinite quite a bit. Ah, uh, I hate. I was Destiny. thinking about that one as well. I I hate Destiny. I really do. Hate that game. Hmm. Mm. What other ones? Oh, Last of Us Two. Yeah, I hate that quite a bit. Battlefield 2042 is pretty high up there. It's really high up there. Yeah. Especially now that I'm very familiar with what came before it. Um, so I'm I'm going to go with, at the moment, I'm going to say Battlefield 2042. This one's at RE8. It's like, I don't really hate RE8. Nah, no, I, don't well, I certainly it. don't. I um, uh, had a fun time. Good. It's technically an improvement over 7, so... At yeah. least it's not that. At least it's, yeah. yeah. Back. But yeah, Hello. I'm gonna do with Battle uh, Royale 2042, and after that, probably Amnesia Rebirth. I remember I really hated Call of Duty Ghosts. That game sucked. I'm gonna say Amnesia Rebirth, and my reason is that it represents the complete destruction of a development team that previously held the title of like helping revitalize the horror genre to the point where they just crushed it completely in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. Similar. Pretty similar reason for Battlefield completely undid all the progress that they've done mm. and made absolute shit. You wanna just what your probable pick is and a, a little reason why um free and metal? Oh did you not hear me? Uh yes. Destiny might be the one. I really hated and partly because I got really excited for it and it was a massive letdown. And also okay. just what it represents of like Bungie just not being that good anymore. I only just came back. I was on a toilet timers. Most happened? hated game and why? Most hated game. Oh. Uh, oh. What comes to mind is either yeah Rebirth. That was fucking awful. Just because of what I expected it to be. I just probably the one. Because the other thing, the, the other one I, I was thinking about was probably one of the wrestling games I bought, which I talked about on a different stream. Because it was just riddled with microtransaction stuff and you couldn't do shit before you unlocked all the things. Uh, but that was more like a slow process. Whereas Amnesia Rebirth was just like, oh, you played Soma and you expected this. Here, do this and you get all the stuff you hate and you never played horror games for. Well, he, now you get all the things that made you never play horror games before Soma. Yeah. Because I was greatly turned off by horror games ever, because I always found it boring as shit. And just like, oh, fear, fear flash, <laughs> if you will. And then, like, uh, go to the next part, it's like, ah, boo, loud noises. And Zoma was more like the subtle one, as everybody knows, and then Rebirth, they just fucking... Oh, you not only they get jump scares, everywhere. you just get fear flashes wherever, because your sanity is low, it's like, fuck. When yeah, they just kept peeing, peed all over the place. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's the one that just immediately springs to mind. Well then, uh, most hated movie and why? Hmm. That's a real tough one for me. I'm trying to think. Yeah. There's probably a lot more answers, but there's nothing clear in my head right now. I might rely on chat for this one. Same, yeah. Mm. Well, because I guess some people would probably say TLJ, right? But My hatred for that. If you'd asked me when it first came out, it probably would have been really yeah. high. But right now, it's a lot more... Deflated. Yeah. Uh... This was 2016. I don't, I don't really you, hate you, it. You it's quite dumb. Black Widow, right? Um, I mean, I'm trying to literally just go off of, like, my own feelings when the thing is brought up. Because Amnesia Rebirth still pisses me off, you know what I mean? But, like, when you bring it with <laughs> yeah. Black Widow, I'm just, I'm more so just deflated. Right. What movie do I, like, legit hate? I don't think Loki's allowed to count. Nah, it's a TV show. Toy Story 4 makes me very angry. That's, that's, oh, that's, you know, a that's good definitely one. a contender. 
That's a good one. Yeah. Well, I had no connection to Toy Story, but I thought it was really bad for sure. What about our Terminator Dark Fate? Yeah, that's a contender as well. Is that the, the, the most recent one? Yeah, that's the most recent one. Genesis yeah. was the one before that. Yeah, that was fucking shit. Yes, it was. <laughs> Interstellar? Um, I think if I was to watch that again, I would start to re fuck it. It always ignites a passionate hatred for me. That movie. <laughs> See, I connected just, just, just hanging up with mutually IRL, and getting drunk and pissing on it for like seven hours. On what, what movie are you talking about? I was in the loo. Interstellar. Ah, uh, we're talking about. We're, we're now onto the, the movie movies side. Yeah. No. yeah. Um. Ooh, that's tough. Um. Uh, uh, I mean, Snyder Cut is mm. fucking awful. Well. <laughs> that's that's a good pick as well, actually. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I hate dead. that for whatever reason, <laughs> but I think, yeah, I was about to say, Ooh, Army, Army of the, the Dead, dead is up there. fucking hate that's that movie. Yeah. That's a good pick, I think. It's the only movie that has made me just look away from the screen to the rest <laughs> of the world. In disgust. No, no, <laughs> no. No, his, it's, it wasn't in disgust. It's even worse. I was checking just to see things were clear. On the real world? I was looking, yeah, like I, I was looking back into the real world <laughs> to just confirm that everything was, it had glorious definition <laughs> and sharp edges and lines and not everything was blurry randomly. I, and, and I had to just do that for a moment and just to stare at the real world to remind myself that this isn't really how things are before I looked back at the movie. I've never done that with anything before. Like, I felt mm. the need to escape that movie for a brief moment. Um, uh, uh, Army of the Dead is definitely up there. So is The Predator, by the way. A lot of people mentioned that. Oh, yeah. What, what was the movie called again with Adam Driver and uh, Murray? The Dead Don't Die. Yeah, that was fucking horse shit as well. Because that's just a, such a non-movie. I wonder if that's a contender if I would watch it again for I feel some like reason. If we made Fringe and Rags watch it, they'd have the exact same reaction as us. Yeah. Someone's mentioning I'm thinking of ending things. I'm mostly that was movie, I, don't I, it? I don't know if I hate it. it I was just mega bored through all yeah. of it, and I get it, and, and, and we, we got it. And we were just, we wanted it to end. But I, I don't think it reaches the level of hate that I have for, like, TLJ, you know, or, um, I'm Army of the Dead, something like that. A movie Cario that just two, ruins everything. Bit, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's a clear winner for any of these. It's different, yeah, different kinds of awful for sure. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I'm uh, I'm gonna go with Army of the Dead because it surpasses its movie ness <laughs> and it goes into like the physical realm of my eyes. It transcends its its medium. That keeps saying don't say John Wick 2. Like I, I think about that. I'm past <laughs> on John Wick 2 and 3 to the point where I just like I know John Wick's dead as a franchise, it's fine. Yeah. I was angry because they were destroying it, but it's destroyed now. Just had a just just had a sort of kept it at the first one. It was perfectly fine. I mean, I'm okay with making another one, just please don't make it shit, but they did, so well, yeah. That's probably a good selection. I'm just not sure what to pick. Uh, Molar, are there any podcasts slash shows you haven't been on yet that you'd love to be on? I feel like I'm seeing more and more of you. You're so prolific. Um, hmm. Not against being on anybody's show, really. I suppose it's just preferable that they have something I can talk about. If they were like, we're going to be checking out some marine biology in the outer depths of West Montana's puddles. I'd be like, that's really specific <laughs> and strange. I don't think I can answer really this. You really know what to say about that. <laughs> I guess I can go, ooh, that's neat. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I've enjoyed jumping around some podcasts and um, more than happy to jump on some more. More on Joe Rogan when. <laughs> I don't even know what we would talk about. Aliens. I totally talk about aliens with him. Like, Absolutely. I want to get his perspective. Yo, what do I do if an alien attacks? 
<laughs> Which of my many guns will I need? Yes. He holds uh, on his arms, flexes these guns. <laughs> nice. Any thoughts on Free Guy? To me, the plot is nonsensical. Either they sold the game engine or they didn't. I don't see the conflict. I I haven't seen it, so I have no idea. I'm watching. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Someone actually mentioned nope. yesterday while I was talking about Red Notice, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put that on my movie list to talk about things. Is that Netflix or Amazon? Any I chance? think it's a Netflix one. I think it's Disney Plus. Oh, okay. It's Fox, so. Yeah. Um, Johnny tests ultimate meatloaf. Quest praise when? Johnny uh, quests ultimate meatloaf? Yeah. That's Johnny test. Johnny test. Does that sound familiar to anybody here? Johnny, no. it's some show that I never watched. It's a... Ultimate Meatloaf Quest. Oh, it's what Johnny Test's Ultimate Meatloaf Quest. It's mm -hmm. an epic interactive quest. TV. It's a TV special. Uh, join Johnny and Dookie on <laughs> his name. He says his name's Dookie. <laughs> um, join Johnny and Dookie on an epic interactive quest to find the perfect meatloaf and save themselves from eating dad's gross garbage loaf for dinner. Man, dad's always getting shat on. Uh, Fringy and Rags, what do you think of comic artists Jay Naylor and In Case? I don't think I've heard of either of them. Who's the second word? Just I, so capital I and no space, capital C A S E, in case. Capital I, no space, N C A S E? Yeah, with a C capitalized as well. Maybe it's like ink um, case. In case, at, I think I know. Let me see here. There's an artist profile on Art State or on Pinterest that came up. Very talented artist. I don't know about their. I don't. I don't know. I'm just the first time I'm learning about them. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this artist. I'd have to. Here's the here's a Twitter. Let me click on him. Media. Yeah, I don't know anything about the these comics or whatnot. But Jay Naylor, though, I'm a big fan of. I really like Jay Naylor's stuff. But I just don't know anything about In Case. Oh, there we go. Here's the porn. It's pretty pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Also, I know I keep asking Fringy this, but has he seen Sassy Justice yet? As a fellow South Park mega fan, I think he'd love it. I have not. Let me look it up. Yeah, maybe he'll he, he, give it give it some time, maybe. Yeah, I'll get around to it. Same with us with everything, pretty much. Yeah. Um, thoughts on Shadman's art rags? Never been a fan of it. I just don't like the style. Never like the style. Or, quite frankly, the subject matter, as the case it may often be. Transformers 4. It's painfully bad. Not even funny bad. Everything from the acting to the CGI is dog shit. Also, Michael Bay wrote a scene to justify a 17-year-old and a 21-year-old dating. It's painful. I don't know if I've seen Transformers. Yeah, that was, uh, I remember a, a character had, like, a little card that was explaining the Romeo and Juliet lore or something to justify it. It was weird. Mm. Uh, do y'all believe in forced diversity? And if so, how do you achieve diversity in media without it seeming forced? Oh, that's, like, super easy. So, whatever scenario you need... Some some non-whitey people in it, assuming that's what we're referring to. You just create them from the ground up that way, and you'll be fine. 
Um, forced diversity is, I think, a little bit harder to detect sometimes. But you will get moments where it becomes like 100% obvious because they're happy to to announce it. Right, because sometimes um, people jump the gun and they're like, "Oh, that's you know," like, and it just ignores all context and it's kind of like missing the point. Yeah, as far as we're concerned, uh, we're waiting for quotes about it. Um, not quite enough. Just that there's a, like a black person, for example. We're well, I mean, I well, yeah. It's it's the standard thing, right, of, like, it, you know, if, if you're, like, it's the context, it's the location, the time period, you know, like, if you set a story in New York, it would be strange if, like, all of the characters were white. That would just be weird, because it wouldn't line up with the demographics of the region. The thing is, we, we do this uh, with literally it everything, it but this one is, is politicized, so it can get us in trouble. Um... And what I mean by we do this with literally everything is that whenever someone in the production process forces an element in because they want it rather than it fits, it can cause problems. Yeah, uh, like we don't refer itself. We don't refer to it as forced explosions or forced action scenes, <laughs> like as a umbrella topic. We just we just say that's what it is. Um, yeah. And so yeah, if we had a quote, and this goes both ways, by the way. I don't know what you call it, forced. Un for whatever the thing is when you you say no, we don't want a white guy. Forced homogeneity. <laughs> like or, uh, when they're like, we don't want a, we, yeah. we don't we don't want Doctor Strange turning up in oh. division because he's he's a uh, white yeah, guy. Yeah, I don't know what that should be called. That's forced just explosion. <laughs> something something like that. Yeah, um, um, and we uh, the same reasoning. You are damaging the fucking story because of something you want rather than something that would be in the story. Mm -hmm. And on the basis of race, which is real awkward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a moral element to a, this one more so than a couple of them, because, like, you know, forcing in an explosion where there shouldn't be, I wouldn't exactly give a moral element to that, but literally, like, preventing someone from having a job because of their race, like, oh boy, when did we get here? Yeah. Hmm. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really come up a lot with us, but uh, we will still highlight it if we have quotes or reason to or something outlandish just like a particular era or setting and then a person that absolutely wouldn't exist in that era or setting mm -hmm. um i wish the it, it were an easier topic to broach but it, it like i said it has gotten politicized it's highly politicized so it just makes yeah. it a bit cringe um all right, Massives, I'm on my lunch break, and I've got a credit card with $500 limit. Time to send Tism. Oh, wow. Well, that's the last one for today's. <laughs> so, I mean, it could, he, it could just be like a dollar. Up. Well, I mean, what I will do now is we'll read a few from our backlog. Oh. Yay! Yeah. Only three oh, hours boy. later. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Now, the backlog currently... I got this right. Yeah, so the first thing I'll be reading is what remained of our last catch-up stream. Okay. As you can tell, we're making huge, fast progress yeah. today. <laughs> we're doing it. Uh, how come there are no people saying that the other MCU heroes are not as faithful to their... Co oh, wait, we did read that one. That was the last one we read. Oh, my goodness gracious. No, no, wait. We, only, we didn't read that I one. I only know that applies, that applies only to uh, Spider-Man. We didn't read that one. I thought we'd read that one because I read it before uh, it was after the stream <laughs> ended. I, I'm familiar. So, yeah. Are how you come studying? No, it was just the, it was on course. the one that I was going to read, but then we decided to stop. Uh, ah. So, how come there are no people saying that the other MCU heroes are not as faithful as their comics as much as Spidey? Why Spidey specifically? The reasoning they would give you is the other characters are accurate to the spirit of their characters, when the reality is they are very much invested in Spider-Man to the point if everything isn't the way they think Spider-Man should be, they will get very upset. Mm -hmm. uh, this would go for Iron Man, he's just not as popular. Like, it, you know, I don't know what the nature of um, Iron Man's drinking problems or relationships are fully in all the comics, but I guarantee you, if someone was like, lived and breathed Iron Man's stories from the comics, they'd probably take a lot of issue with MCU Iron Man. And they wouldn't necessarily be wrong, depending on how kind of, how they make the argument in terms of faith. Well, I mean, if it's an adaptation argument, sure. If they literally like, this is not accurate to the source material, and that's all they're saying, you'd be like, all right. Because I doubt it is. Uh, they've changed shitloads in the MCU. 
Uh, me though, I I've come to understand Spider-Man to have a couple of important traits, and I feel like all three iterations in the movies have those traits. I don't feel like any of them aren't Spider-Man. But but I think I think the issue with that is that there was a scene in Spider-Man: um, Homecoming where uh, Iron Man was in it. Oh, you mean the the Iron Man film? Yeah, the the Iron Man. It should have really. It should have just been called Iron Man Four, if we're being honest. <laughs> How about this? I think we should just start calling him Iron Boy. How about that? <laughs> oh, 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 that'll. That's so funny that we should say that a lot. Because 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 he's basically Iron Man's kid. He's not he really basically his own character. Is, yeah. yeah. He doesn't do anything of his own. Oh, oh, of his own onus. Oh, See? Oh, we're, br oh, we're bringing it back. I was oh, paying oh, attention. Oh, 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 oh nice. Oh, ho, oh, onus. Oh, You're a oh, ho. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that answers that question. If Alex Jones was on EFAP movies, what movie would it be? We've answered this before. It would be the prequels. If it was only one, it'd be Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> and I would ask that he share every fucking thought and feeling he has. Every thought. Interrupt no everyone. Filter. No filter. <laughs> there and needs if... to be a steady supply, just a steady stream of consciousness from Mr. Jones. And if ever no, no, he no, stopped or paused, I would simply ask, but why do you think that is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we always... You think so? Oh, what do you mean? Why do you think that? Huh, go on. <laughs> we just and it would be this. amazing. <laughs> it really would. It would be incredible. Could you imagine we finish it, that he's like, I got time for another. And we're like, <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> do you have time for two more? <laughs> we could do the whole trilogy, Alex, please. <laughs> Turning to Jedi gay. Uh, oh, that reminds me. Why did you get rid of the old highlights playlist? Metal and I were going to pull a clip up and point and realized it's gone. Uh, you can still get it from Water's Junkyard, can you not? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't mean to pull a clip up. I think someone else, we talked about it probably on stream, and someone mentioned the, the, they're unlisted or something? I haven't checked, to be honest. Well, they're definitely not listed, because my channel's not really that anymore. Yeah, yeah. I've also started to unlist the audio commentaries. I think I'm going to do something else with them now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never now. But, uh, yeah, I think you can still but find yeah, probably, them. Yeah, probably check just Jota's Wonk wonk Yard. <laughs> Jota's that? Wank Yard. Let's just go with that. Mm. Jota's Wank Yard. Jato. Jato's Wank Yard? Yeah. <laughs> Jato sounds no more and no less like a Star Wars name than Watto. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, you see all the shit Bob's been given written house on Twitter? Go back to your Mountain Dew chicken, you miserable, hyper-obese horse anus. Kyle's a hero. Man. Kyle is a hero, but if anything confirms that Kyle did nothing wrong, it's that movie Bob is bitching about him. <laughs> There's an interesting comparison, right? Because movie Bob wants 75% of the world to die. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like... I feel like one is coming out on top, um, but yeah, we, we, we rarely agree with Bob's takes. It's only here and there. Sometimes he says a thing, we're like, oh. Uh, one of these days, you should play Super Smash Bros. Brawl during a Super Chat catch-up or an EFAB gaming episode. The adventure mode is pretty great. I think I can do that on Dolphin, actually. That would be cool. Yeah, you should. Well, I will see about that. Maybe that'll be the next Subspace one. Subspace Emissary was an interesting experiment, yeah. Good argument, Rags. Could have come from the prosecution. hey -o. <laughs> Got my plushies, Moodle and Frongoid when? Uh, who knows? Uh, I was honestly going to just then send the word poo, but would that would be a wasteful tism. Instead, I shall ask what issues y'all might have with the... First Matrix movie. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to watch I've it again. It's been a while. Yeah. You use yeah. bigger boobies. Nah. But, um, I don't know. I haven't seen it in ages. Same. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't think I can reference anything right now. 
I mean, I think it's a cool movie. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. my take. Whoa, chill with that hot take. <laughs> that's a giga <laughs> spicy take right there. Hey, Matrix is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I feel kind of the same. I only remember liking it. We'll have to watch it again probably soon-ish. Um, All right, that's because right. Of Matrix 4. Hmm. I'll have to see about that. That's out soon. Tis. There's a lot of stuff out. Oh, wait, Book of Boba Tism's out soon, too. Oh, that's out. Uh, yeah, the end of the month. I'm not... I need us on pause again, please. Mm-hmm. got too much stuff to do. All very racist. Very. Um, have you met or spoken to any celebrities? I've personally spoken to Nancy Cartwright briefly and got Charles Martinet to autograph my copy of Skyrim. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I don't know who Nancy Cartwright, Cartwright uh, is. Uh, but she plays Bart and a lot of other people oh, on the Simpsons. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I've hmm. talked with some uh, Colin Farrell. Um, right. Uh, I can't, can't say it's much of a talk, but I valid the car for... Uh, Who's the little wimpy actor guy? Um, Michael Cera? The awkward <laughs> Michael Cera. Michael Cera. Is it bad um, that we could just jump to that immediately for your description? <laughs> uh, one time before one of their concerts, I chatted with Ario Speedwagon. No, no, it was... Oh, f I forgot it was a long time. It was... I can't remember. It was uh, so long ago. It was one of those bands that I don't know anything about, and they were just waiting for some stuff out front in the hotel, and we were just chatting. Um, the bus driver for Journey, I know he's not a celebrity, but he is like a super cool dude. Um, uh, let's see. I don't, I think that's it. Um, I, I don't really, yeah, you just meet some people here and there coming in and out of the hotel that I worked at, but it was just, yeah, nothing really, nothing really meaningful, I suppose you could say. <clears throat> spoke to James Masters about Smallville and Buffy, and I spoke to Anthony Stewart Head about Buffy and Merlin. Very fun. They're both legends and uh, a treasure to meet. And definitely don't disappoint the whole never meet the blah 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 thing. <laughs> uh, Metal Fring, you got any fame no. people? I'm not a to anymore. I've only seen people on panels and heard them talk, but not really a direct talking to anyone. I've seen a panel with Christopher Judge, it was pretty funny. What's funny to me is that when you go into these queues to get like an autograph and that is it, they even say like, just get the autograph, don't be asking questions or whatever. Yeah. You, you like, you when you head in there, you're like, I gotta come up with the most interesting fucking question. <laughs> so that yeah. they want to continue the conversation. Seize the opportunity. Yeah, you only get one shot. One shot. James Mars says, though, he's been doing uh, Comic Cons and stuff for so long, I think no matter what you would ask him, he would make you feel like what you said was interesting. <laughs> right. Uh, Someone fav... said, I thought you were going to say you chatted with Jeff Lynn. Oh, dude, what I'd fucking give to have a chat with Jeff Lynn. Um, so, someone had said, um... I met the guys from LMFAO. Anyone remember them? Oh, yeah. So didn't they have that one song? They had like two or three. The one that everybody that played. Party like, Rock? The Party Rock. Right? Yeah, that's the one. That's okay. the one. Everyone banger. played that fucking goddamn song. Everyone loves that shit for whatever reason. <laughs> and they played it nonstop, and then it's just done. I can't even remember what it sounds like anymore. Party Rock is in the house Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like a zombie. Burned into my fucking skull. Now I remember it, yeah. That was overplayed for sure. <laughs> like, that got played all the time. I heard it in the uh, grocery store not too long ago. It was one of the songs that plays softly in the ether. Right. Well, it's usually Christmas stuff now. Yep. All right, I Perry. want for Christmas yep. is bread on sale, please. <laughs> please I'd like I'm to hungry. buy some of the nice stuff that, you know. 
Bread is one of those things that gets really freaking expensive. Not normal normal bread that is just like a buck a loaf. It's it's dirt cheap and it's fine. But like the nice artisanal, the nice bread, the butter bread that's thick and wonderful and delicious. That stuff's expensive. The reason I ask is because a friend of mine dislikes the first Matrix movie and using Doug Walker's review as a way to explain that. Uh, Wait, Doug Walker's reviewed idea. The Matrix negatively? Really? That sounds like it would be interesting for all of oh, the no. wrong reasons. <laughs> oh, no. But, uh, alright. We'll have to maybe check that out at some point. Also, EFAP X Flash Gets slash Cream Crew crossover. I'm on board. <laughs> That'd be cool. Fuck yeah. Dude, they're like... One of the lost edgy channels. It's really cool. Yeah. I'm surprised they get away with That's a lot of stuff. I say this every time because I just, I just don't, I don't get it. <laughs> you don't have many European delis down there. That no, we have great bread. We do have great bread. We have a wide variety. We're just of not on bread. sale. <laughs> but it's it's like, <laughs> like I guess I don't like some of the. Well, when it's typically the bread that I get is a dollar for a loaf and it's fine it's fine bread it's a dollar for a loaf yeah, it's fine yeah and yeah and but some of the bread is we're talking three four dollars for a, a even a smaller loaf than that and it's just i mean it's really really good and there's many styles and varieties and it's packaged in that that like thicker plasticky kind of stuff it's not like super thin uh, it's slightly opaque plastic, and it's really, really good. Sometimes when it's on sale, I can nab that awesome thick butter bread that toasts just perfectly. But oh, I just wish it'd be on sale more. You know, I, I really like that stuff. Uh, favorite non-study group character on Community? Huh. Uh, I really like the, the Day probably. guy. Probably the yeah. Dean. Unless yeah, he counts. I don't know if he counts because he's right because he's a rec big recurring character. So maybe it's got to be someone who's less. Uh, hmm, that's tough. There's so many choices. I found the season the day guy really really fucking funny. Uh, when he's talking about obviously seizing the day and stuff and how he just doesn't believe Jeff's actually doing it. And then I yeah, that I think, was is cool it guy. like I don't know if it's halfway through the episode or the end or something, but he's like espousing that that's his belief or whatever. Finally walks off. Very like. You know, uh, very much a professory type, like with the way he talks, but then he just walks off, starts climbing a tree in the background. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I like bread make rags, sourdough. I like sourdough bread's good. I really, I like all, all kinds of bread. I love bread. Bread's great. I like the chemistry mm. teacher. Yeah, I uh, I like the biology teacher. Uh, I like bread. Yes. Oh, sorry, biology. That's what I meant, <laughs> not chemistry. Right. I was, yeah, the biology teacher. Yeah, he felt um, like he just randomly left the show. I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but um, he also died recently. That actor. He passed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did. I think who else there is. Uh, I, mean, I really liked Betty White on that, uh... That yeah, she was funny she was, as fuck. Yeah. Um, now I'm gonna use this, and I want you to use respect to defend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and start stroking him. I admire you. That's why you fail. <laughs> She's choking him to death. She gets, like, arrested or whatever, right? She gets... She yeah, that's job. right, yeah. I remember the uh, the pottery teacher was funny. How <laughs> he really yeah, he like references well, to the, ghosts. The drama teacher as well, Professor Professor. Uh, yeah, Professor Professor. That was, that was a good one. I like Duncan. <laughs> when everyone betrays each other over yeah. and over again. Man, I might rewatch Community. It's been long yeah. enough. <laughs> the uh, the Glee Never seen it. teacher was funny too. It is funny as fuck. That show impressed me yeah. very quickly. <laughs> but I've heard. It's great. <laughs> in episode fucking one, one of their main characters is called Abed, and Chevy chases it. He just goes, this is Abed, Abed the Arab. Uh, is that inappropriate? <laughs> 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 it's like, it's just, what the fuck? But every, every character, like, because he's just the old one. Gets away. He's probably, like, everyone's favorite, uh... 
for the he most was really part, funny like, yeah he's funny as fuck <laughs> it's really funny in that show like the fat neil pod <laughs> cash shape change on duquesne what shape do you choose for him fat <laughs> <laughs> the delivery is perfect. Did that it's episode perfect. that episode's been banned or at least blacklisted, right? Because Has of it? The, yeah, because of the opening with Chang what was in it? blackface. Oh, that's right. It was funny <laughs> as hell. Up. Uh and it's amazing <laughs> that that one got banned. Well, so yeah, that's how the joke works is we see him and it's silent and everyone is shocked, right? The audience included. <laughs> And then the black character points at him and says, are we going to ignore that hate crime? And then it just cuts to him and he just, yeah. he goes, I'm a dark elf. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny yes. as hell. Have you heard of Ahab the Arab? The song from, from Ray no. Stevens? I don't nope. think so. No, it's, it's pretty sounds familiar. Sorry, I'm just thinking about more jokes from that e that episode because, like, the part where the part when when uh when Chang tries to attack him, and then Shemmy's like, "Attack him! Attack Blackface! Attack Blackface!" <laughs> 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 he just killed him. He's, all this sad music is him in total black makeup <laughs> and flames. Dude, Chang was, was amazing like, as well. Chang was really funny, <laughs> like. Was that was, uh, uh, one thing where they say like, "Oh, I'll bet he can't go for five minutes without saying something racist," and then he says something like after like two it's, minutes. Yeah, after like two or three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's um, it's someone mentions uh, uh, Troy's mum, and then he goes, "I thought Shirley was Troy's mum." <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> 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 I remember, uh, do you remember the, the the one where they were telling s scary stories about each other, like the the uh when the, when they were trying to figure out who in the group was a psychopath, and like a <laughs> Shirley story where they're just sitting around like, oh man, my drugs are wearing off. Who's got more? Yeah, <laughs> and then fucking devil. Uh, oh no, fuck! I'm mixing up because like yeah, the dean was the devil, and then Shirley blows him away. <laughs> And he's like, oh no, a righteous wind. <laughs> like, <laughs> thanks, Shirley. Uh, uh, oh, what was it? It's like, thanks, Shirley. Wait a minute, not Shirley. This is a story about random people. Anywho, can you take us to heaven now, please? Oh, I cannot. <laughs> it's like, That's like a. Bye, I forgive you. <laughs> it was just a great collection of completely different people. Yeah, uh, yeah. it was really well. It, it was a great dynamic. And. I think one of the cool things about it was that there were dynamics that you never expected to work so well. Like, Jeff and Shirley had a lot of great episodes together. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, that was a really good pairing. Um, we having a look at this, this little bit of artwork here? Oh, boy. Oh, Black Odin was talking Odin. about that today. On it's, it's, a no, it's a naughty list. No. It does say naughty, but... That way, that is clever. Oh, I thought it said no T. Oh no, that is uh no. The the O is this the circley one. That's a pointy one. That's an A. This is a, this I is a pointy I boy. I disagree with I disagree with the characterization, but uh, I like the costume. <laughs> I like the costume too. His green <laughs> his green legs. <laughs> yeah, the little <laughs> green legs at the bottom. Rags poking his head out of the snow. <laughs> oh, it gives me strength. Man, forcing the poor. Metals to work in the peppermint mine. <laughs> like the idea of all these little meadows dressed up as elves working in a mine. <laughs> they have their own little musical number. I'm crying all the time life. as well. In the gingerbread mines or whatever they're called. Peppermint mines of gingerbread hell. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> gingerbread <laughs> hell. <laughs> hell. Hell on earth. <laughs> We make out any names on that naughty list? Oh, Metal um, is the first name. Oh, God damn it. Oh, he's, oh, there's Metal right there. <laughs> well, it's not me. There's a space between Metal and Commander, so it's the it's the imposter one. There's not oh. a space there. It's, oh. it's, it's pretty tight. Is that a, I think that's a space, or is it an underscore? I think, I think it's, it's the just, L. It's the L. It's the bottom bit. Oh, of the L, yeah. Huh. Oh, it's just it's yeah, all yeah, in yeah, capitals. Okay. That's damn right. It. Yes, I was naughty. <laughs> No Oh yeah, I just saw you zooming in. Yeah, okay. I think the Fine. next line has Das, J, and someone else. I think you're right, yeah. Can't make up the first word, though. 
yeah, I like stuff. It. Good stuff. Yeah, it's great. Look at Rags poking his head out of the snow. <laughs> Love it. Sorry. He's there to save know. Natalie. My... He's, he's scouting the area. No, fuck Metal. Oh. <laughs> no, that's why Metal's why? crying. I, yeah. I might not even know that Metal's there. I'm just in my own little world. I don't know how <laughs> I'm here. Woo, snow. This is great. Like, one of the best feelings in the world for me is being able to go outside and still be warm when it's cold. So if it's really <laughs> cold and you... Like, like it's cold outside, but you got your coat and all that sort of thing, and you're just all fluffed the up. The sheeps and... have a thick coat. Yeah, in the winter, yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty fluffy. We're uh, right. We're we're. Well, a I mean, sort. I knew that much. Yeah, we're outdoorsy. I just wondered how good it was as insulation, you know. Insulation. Because you know, polar bears they have fur that's like different in terms of uh, the way that it is made. Essentially, that makes it better for uh, keeping them nice and warm. Oh no, that's right. Now I'm remembering. It's that polar bears, their fur is kind of um, it's almost kind of transparent, and because they're they they have a uh, black skin, it's just better for um absorbing the heat to keep them warm. Plus all of their flubber. Mm, flubber. flubber. What, so so I, I, I can't remember. Bringing, first it was what? the Hitler thing. Now you're saying that black skin is superior, <laughs> and I'm just I don't know I don't know where you are on our spot. I just you're you're just an enigma to me. I, I don't know well, where you fall uh, on. I don't them. know. I don't know how the dynamics work for bears in terms of racial things. I figure that to bears, they've transcended race. They are. They don't even think about it, which I feel like is the way that we should try to to approach it. You know, move past it. it doesn't define who you are. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do that defines my race. Wow, I feel like that's. <laughs> I feel like if, if you got that, it's like I feel like you're really close. Then all of a sudden, you just stumble back down the stairs. We're, we're almost just agreeing with them. They were like, "Wait, Batman!" What, wait, what, no, what no, 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 wait, wait, wait! <laughs> Tumble down the stairs. <laughs> if the staircase is ascending to a, a wonderful little place, and then you tripped on your shoelaces and fell back down. Um, remember all the fun conversations we've had about would slash did Batman kill? Can we do that again, but with Alec Baldwin? Also, hi, Rags, I come in peace. Oh, hello. I guess that's still all ongoing. We'll have to see how uh, that investigation pans out. Yeah, I haven't followed anything to do with it. No, not, not since the initial thing, so I'm not too sure what's happening. Uh, also, random tism. I've been entering your name into a random art generator and results have been interesting. I shall post in Discord meme channel. Ah. <laughs> I see. Um, oh, sorry. There was a few further back than that. Do, 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 do. I don't remember when all these came in. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. The celebrities one. Matrix one. Also, oh, yeah. The Flash gets... Can a Halo lore expert explain how Chief can be bitch slapped by a grunt or hit by a vehicle and die? However, massive falls do nothing at all. Hi, Rags. Hello. Uh, the general, from what I understand, the logic is that the suit locks up um, in those instances, specifically to protect him from fall damage. Like, so when he when he uh, like crashes in Halo Three, the suit goes into lockdown to save his life. <coughs> That's how I understand it, anyway. And I guess it's just ludonarrative dissonance, right? Like, Chief never gets killed by grunts. That's not happening in this world. That's a gameplay thing. I don't know if that's ludonarrative dissonance, is it? Like, it's just that's just something that doesn't well, occur the in the cutscenes, that... but it happens to randoms, uh, I assume. Well, I guess it's... Well, I think it's the idea of when you play the game, Chief is quite... You know, he can die pretty quick. Like, the shields go down pretty quick, and then he can get hurt. And I think it's just like, well, that's gameplay challenge, right? Uh, maybe I'm not, because Luna Narrative Distance more refers to like the Tomb Raider thing where she's really sad that she kills somebody. Yeah, I see there's direct like, contradictions. The the Master Chief one isn't because he usually is it's, just, it's not, he's just MVP yeah, in the cutscenes. Yeah. It's the idea that our gameplay is like, the canon is that he plows through it and is not in danger yeah. at all. And I guess it's that Halo tends to avoid that more so because it's pretty rare. It's it's become more so a problem with the new Halo games, but it didn't used to be. Like in cutscenes, the characters never really do anything. That They're you just couldn't like do, Chief yeah. is observing. He's usually just standing there observing what's happening. And then as soon as it comes into gameplay, he starts doing things. 
Um, so you never have the issue of, like, because Uncharted has this, right, where you plow through, like, a hundred enemies, and then you got a bunch of enemies like, oh, drop your weapons. It's like, if this was gameplay, I could win this encounter, but it's not, so I lost. <laughs> and now I have to watch this cutscene of my heroes being uh, held captive. Yeah, that can I happen in a lot of games. Around. Well, yeah, it just seems to be a thing that happens when uh, Call of Duty's got, like, annoying cinematic. Call of uh, Right, where, like, they take control away from you and then you die. Yeah. Yeah, like, one bullet will take you down. You're like, wait. No, like, that's when not Shepard true. shoots that's you, fine. you're like, uh, excuse me, <laughs> I have plenty more um, health. <laughs> well, I guess, but but the, the blood markers on the screen indicate that you have, like, no health. So I guess we have to assume that did the trick. Well, how does that work? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I guess we have to assume that in gameplay, Roach never got hit by a bullet. He always, uh, he but played perfectly. They were just flesh wounds. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Um, that, I mean, I feel like Modern Warfare, because Modern Warfare 3 really started amping up in terms of ludonarrative dissonance. Like, uh, all this crazy shit happening. Modern Warfare 3 is really stupid. Like, I'm pretty sure the plot of that game makes anti-sense. Like, it's just totally contradictory. That's like your opinion, bro. Yeah, well. I guess I'm curious, like, Modern Warfare... Because I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare 1 has the strongest narrative of all three. But 2 is really fun. Um, it's like a globetrotting adventure. Lots of high-octane action. And, of course, like, a lot of powerful moments, too. Right? Like, people remember the Roach and Ghost death scene. Even though Roach doesn't talk. Which I think it says something about how effective that must have been. Um, absolutely required viewing is the lyrics of Party Rock by LMFAO with the instrumental of Time by Hans Zimmer from Inception. <laughs> like, a, like, a, like a remix? <laughs> that would be a weird fusion. Maybe it's very funny. Yes, Doug has reviewed it like six years ago, though by the time you massives get to it, it'll be like ten years. But he only brought up one validish question. Question being, uh, why did the machines make the Matrix? But then I wondered if that was like asking why the movie setting was chosen. Why did the mo machines make the Matrix? We know why they made the Matrix, don't we? It's the wasn't it because they, they found simulate... Jesus batteries. Well, so, so from what I remember of question. Agent Smith is that they just want to keep us happy. They put us in a perfect simulation, and we didn't believe it and rejected it, and so they created one that was, like, imperfect and simulates kind of like real life, because that's what humans need to feel as though, like, they're immersed. Yeah. And then we, they just suck the battery out of us, yeah. Um, I've heard criticisms that it makes no sense to use humans as a source of electricity as opposed to all the other things the machines could do. Right. That's probably valid. I don't know enough about it. <laughs> probably. The amount of effort to go into harvesting us as, you know, batteries is as probably insane. As opposed to just putting a bunch of, I don't know, like, solar panels Tear around the place. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nuclear power, I think you'd have to... they're robots and they're not susceptible to nuclear radiation or radiation poisoning. I don't know how they justify it in the movie or what words they use, but you'd have to get to the point of sci-fi with that. You'd have to, like, they cracked it yeah. so that they could harvest us know. really efficiently. Humans got the super duper juice. Yeah. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Um, thoughts on Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3 if played? I have not played them. I played a bit of 3. I like it. It's cool. It's got a great art style. Well, there you go. Um. Do, do, do. The only reason my friend hasn't seen Community is because he doesn't like Chevy Chase. He's, like, probably the best part of a very good pie. Best best slice of a good pie of season one, two, and three. He is quite funny in that show. It's, uh, it's, it's a shame that it seems like behind the scenes there was a lot of conflict. Yeah. I've heard he's a dick. He's an absolute uh, dick. That's, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what you hear a lot about in terms of uh, the stuff with Community. That he and Dan Harmon definitely didn't get along. Yeah. Into a point where he almost got in serious trouble, right? Because he left like an answer. You can get this on YouTube. He left him like a answer machine message that was really harsh. Uh, yeah, I think that. Yeah, I think I might listen to that. I think it might be around. Yeah. Is it like the um? 
Christian the Bale. The angry, one. yeah. <laughs> that was my thought too immediately, the Christian Bale thing. I think it's kind of like that because I think he's drunk as well. Right. Well, Christian Bell wasn't drunk. He was just upset that he kept walking around on the set like that, 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 like that. No, he in the wasn't background. drunk. But he was angry. I don't know. <laughs> no. Chevy Chase was. What I'm saying is just like a variable that makes them say some yeah. stuff that uh, mm -hmm. they will immediately regret. Hey, that's what emotions no, no, that do. That Christian Bell thing is is just that. That is endlessly amusing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, the, you know, if you don't like Chevy Chase as an actor, I guess that's fair enough. But if you don't like him as a person, I should be like, well... Yeah, I guess there's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Because mm. you can't separate them out. Well, I guess you can watch season five. He has a cameo in season Ad five, so that's out. Oh, right. Season six. There you go. Season seven? That season's not that great. There is no season seven. There's meant to be a movie, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Seems unlikely. The only thing that would power that is the meme at this point. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, they did answer it. Well, maybe the question is different from that. It would be weird if someone didn't realize that in The Matrix they mentioned they want to use humans as batteries. That's like the main thing. So I feel like the question is probably different. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Have any of you massive seen Invader Zim? I finished it for the first time recently. It's become one of my favorite series. I... No, I haven't. I know I of it, but I've never it. watched it. I also know of it. I've seen bits of it, but I've never seen it itself. The whole thing. Hope it's good. Oh, it's shit. In Warhammer 40k, instead of computers and AI, they use servitors, lobotomized human brains for autopilot. They just think it's the machine spirit. Does Dune not have this? I heard it with 40k was what based do you mean on Dune. I think it's the machine spirit. It is the machine spirit. Show some goddamn respect. Okay, um, so some people have been mentioning men tats are apparently like that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know men enough about are... Dune. I know men tats are. They're, they're also like a, a chem you could take in Fallout, so I wonder if the where that that sort of term came from. Obviously, mint, like the mental, something like that, because mintats make you smart in Fallout, so... What is mint... Let Latin? Translator. Let's see what menta is in Latin. I, maybe... Menta. Let's, let's look. Let's look the word mental. With the etymology of mental might take us back to some root translation definition from ah oh, from latin mens mens being mind in a late latin mentalis all right that makes sense um interest i i figured it had to be something yeah i don't know anything about dune so i can't help you there well i don't know anything about warhammer 40k either so <laughs> um Change my mind. Halo Infinite was beta only in name. Oh, I mean, of course. That was the game ready to go. That was the final multiplayer. It didn't have any content that wasn't in the, the launch two days ago, three days ago. Um, thoughts on funny Arnold Schwarzenegger movies arc excluding T1 and T2, so Kindergarten Cop Jr., etc.? I enjoy him as a... Like, like Jingle All The Way would count with that as well. Yeah. I always liked the idea that this fucking bodybuilding, <laughs> like, crazy Austrian man is, like, also just... He's getting involved in silly hijinks in his day-to-day. -day. He's yeah. just like, that's just... That's funny. It's amusing, isn't it? And he's, uh... He's a great sport with all of it. And he, like, tries his best to just get involved. So you kind of just like, oh, <laughs> look at you go. Uh, funny, uh, you funny man. <laughs> you know, a lot of people hate him in Batman and Robin, but I uh, feel like he saved that movie from being mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> Who killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! The Ice Age! Ice Age. <laughs> what were some of the other ones he had? <clears throat> the other lines? Um, Stay cool, bird boy. When he froze him. <laughs> wow, I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger one line has let off some steam, Bennett. It's like, man. 
<laughs> Stick around. <clears throat> Consider that a divorce. I love See the fact the that you just, I'll be back made it into several yeah. films just because it's just I don't know it's, how he just made it. It's really badass. punchy. <laughs> like, uh, I'll right, so you know I'll be back. I will be back. Stella Vista, baby. No. Yeah, I mean Which I don't. Got a I'm, I don't know. If there's a like film it. he's in that I didn't enjoy his performance in. Because he's, uh, he's such a yeah. lad. We well, gotta see that new like... movie with him and... Jackie Chan? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's on our list. We'll, we'll do something. It's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, change my mind. Halo Infinite... Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, Hall sure? L No. The closer epic look. Hall L No. Hall L No. <laughs> no. Uh, Boogie2988 versus Alec Baldwin shootout, who wins? Oh no. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's 50-50 on sensitive to make a joke here. I don't know. I I'm debating it in my head, I'm like, hmm, mm, might just leave it. You know what? Ringing can do it, he has a history of nah. unsavory behavior. Nah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, it's been a few months since I've seen The Matrix. Brain is a tism right now. Oh, I thought you meant you just quoted Nostalgia Critic's criticism, but I would be surprised if it were Nostalgia Critic's criticism, that's all. <clears throat> I, I'm surprised that he would sh shit on The Matrix. <laughs> that's, uh, if he did. Well, see, does that not prove that he has more balls than Chris Stuckman? Yeah, you know what? It, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's he definitely me, does. The fact that he would take a perspective that is unpopular. It's like, oh, so you, you probably like mean a lot of this, whether or not you articulate it well, or uh, mm. I agree with it. It's like, well, at least you're uh, expressing a perspective that you hold. That's worth something. Yeah, maybe we'll check that out at some point. Um... Oh, th see, these are new, but I feel like we maybe they sent this twice. You got, I really liked Arcane, but I really tried not to. Remember that one? I feel like I do remember I feel that, like one, yes. that one. Yeah. Uh, doing Hassan stream catch up soon. I just want you all to read all the funny things I called that paint dragging knuckle huffing moron. Yes, we'll get to those. Uh, they're in one. They're, I don't even know what EFAP that is, but we're, that's the one that we get to every time we catch up with anything new. <laughs> uh, Three steps forward, two steps back. That's still progress. With well, we were, we're catching up. Right now, we are. You know, so it's yeah. yeah, we're doing the job. It's working out. It's going great. Uh, thoughts on Centralia Minefire? Uh, I don't. I don't know is that, that is. something that happened? Like a fire in a mine? I have no clue. Yeah, no idea. I mean, if it's sorry, I had to guys. check something. What, what's that? I, was, I had to step off for just a second. What's that? Centralia Minefire. Never heard of it. Neither have I. Alright. Uh, pick one. Good TV, good movies, good EFAPs. TBLS. What's TBLS? I don't know. The don't know. best lizard... Side story. Oh. Uh, I'd pick good EFAPs out of the three. Yeah, same. Well, so they wait, good movies, good TV it. shows, and good EFAPs. Like, which do you prefer? Well, they said, which do you pick? I pick good EFAPs. Yeah, I mean. It would be weird if, if like, he did and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't understand the question. Is it like, do you, what do you get more value out of, like a good movie or a good episode of EFAP? I suppose it's on you to decide if it says pick one. Um, I guess because a good EFAP, you can get a lot of fun conversations and interesting conversations. All I think maybe is a possible answer to this is not EFAP would be if there were loads of good movies, is that not more beneficial to everybody overall? Oh. Uh,. What, like the world where EFAP is unnecessary? Well, it wouldn't be unnecessary because we just talk about the stuff. Shitty that we TV, like shitty games. Like, 
Yeah. Well, we, I get right. I guess. Yeah. And you can make and those also videos just on the stuff we like. You know that sort of thing, and we could talk about all the sort of stuff that we've been up to. Mm -hmm. We'd always, you know us, we'd talk about something, we'd find something, yeah. we'd make something up to yeah. talk about. Hell, you know we what, we could talk about things that we like. Yeah, what? that would be no. a crazy thought. No, mm. no. <laughs> no. I'm doing no! it, do it right now. That's ridiculous, that's do ridiculous, it. calm down. Um, Mola, can you name and do any impressions of accents originating from Wales, if there are any? It's for a character I'm writing, thanks. Well, just, they're way better sources than that on YouTube than than, than me. Yeah, that would be so a channel. Do you say whale seen. songs? Welsh accents. Oh, I thought you said whale songs. Can you do some good whale some songs? <laughs> I, for whatever reason, my brain just absorbed that as whale songs. You haven't had I thought you were giving recommendations. Tonight, have you? No, actually, I haven't. I this mm. is everything that you've heard tonight is me completely lucid. And whatever you make of that, you know that's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's this great sources for like accents, and they'll give you the names and specific locations. Well, I can't even come close to doing that. I get confused oftentimes with trying to figure out where exactly a voice I'm doing is from. And I can get it wrong too. I find uh, yeah. trying to f yeah. trying to get the nuances of Australian accents can be difficult because um, there are ver there is variation, but it's like nowhere near as pronounced as in the United Kingdom or even in America. Right, the difference between like a New Yorker, I fucked that one up. That was more like Boston. You know, you got Boston accents, you got your New Yorker accents, you got your Southern California accent, Southern. Um, here, it's more just. You, you got posh Australian, which is what you see people say, like, when they're on the ABC. Uh, and then you got normal Australian, and then you got, like, very bogan Australian. Which is, uh... Did you say Vogon Australian? Bogan. B-O-G-A-N. Okay. Bogan right. Australian. Because that would have been really boring. <laughs> mm. Posh Australian doesn't sound too bad, actually, though. Uh, that's kind of like Sean McAuliffe is a little bit like that. He's got a great voice. Australian? Um, I wouldn't say it's like that. It's more just, it kind of, it feels like a little bit closer to like Oxford British. A little bit. Oh, what's it called? Westminster? Fuck, I've mixed them up. It's just a little bit more uh, tight, I guess, would be would be the way to describe it. Not as loose. What about Bobby Australian? I'd probably be like, yeah, I guess it is kind of like you lose. I'm, I'm struggling right now, though, to think about what it would sound like <laughs> in my head. Coffee deficient. Uh, finished Arcane? Man, I need a second season badly. So that is just the same one <laughs> again. <laughs> <clears throat> or is it? No, that's a different one, isn't it? I'm like, just... fuck, I'm getting confused. Just when people just say Arcane is really good all the time, so I don't yeah, blame you for it's so. the same. I think it's something <laughs> we should see, maybe. Uh, yeah, eventually. we still got to finish Season 2 of Kingdom. We do. And I want to watch other shows, too. I want to watch The Wire. Well, I'm, I'm off work soon, Liar. so I'll probably have a lot of time to watch a bunch of stuff, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Does the EFAP like... I think it's the EFAB. Does the EFAB like The Office US? I'm rewatching it and it holds up really well. It's one of the greats, of course, could have been done, couldn't have been done today though. Yeah, I really liked it. Uh, managed to go through the whole thing pretty comfortably. Uh, lots of very funny episodes, lots of fun cameos too. Um, but the show tanks as soon as Steve Carell leaves. When did Does he leave? It? What? When did he leave? I think there's only one like, season, season made without him. Think. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And that it's one hard really to... sucked. I haven't seen all of it, but I've seen a couple seasons, and man, it is it is really difficult to imagine that show without him. I haven't um, watched the British Office. I imagine it's the same thing that would happen if you remove Homer from The Simpsons, where there's just this component that's gone that was binding a lot of stuff. Yeah. That was two yeah, seasons. Yeah, I, I, I got you. Yeah. He's like the main character, so. Yeah, when, when he leaves, this probably is, like, a huge hole. 
he comes back in the last episode and it's very uh right. surprisingly moving oh boy it's just one of those things where um it's been a long time of a show that's very popular everyone enjoyed making and so you get that all with it um to compare when they announced like this is the final shot of uh, Return of the King or whatever, or like I think the last shot was when Frodo was writing something in the book I remember seeing that in the thing and like everyone was super emotional because of the project as a whole and the amount of love and craft went into it Compare that to This is the last shot of the sequel trilogy, The Rise of Skywalker everyone and, Like most people have left, someone's like, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, it's fine It's on a green screen, we'll sort it out Uh and to me, it's like, it's just evident that it's not even necessarily time passed, it's just what that time was. The journey. The journey. What happened to, it's like what happened with the 70s show when Topher left? Yes, and it's what happened when Scrubs had a significant set of cast members oh, leave. Oh, season 9, yeah. It's just, it, they just fall apart because the writers had a format and the format's been broken and so now they're struggling. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Community kind of had a bit of that struggle as well, uh, when people started dropping off, but they managed pretty well. And, ex until Season 6, and that I don't point even, I felt Yeah, like, like, I wouldn't even have blamed- because a lot of people would say, like, oh, it's because they lost this character and this character. It's like, I don't know, I feel like it's more so to do with, uh, they had no fucking clue what they were doing writing-wise. I think so. In general. Season 6 is rudderless, kind of yeah. directionless. Because 5 felt purposeful, even though they had lost a couple of people. Mm-hmm. They survived losing uh, Chevy Chase, so I feel like they could and survive. They kind of survived losing Troy. Yeah, at least for a little bit. Yeah. Um. All right, massives. Finally done with work. Time to go home and use my seven t i seven three thirty fifty ti laptop to roll for a new waifu. Let's go. <laughs> nice. Someone, someone linked that, and I just had to giggle. Like, it just keeps getting worse and worse. So breast milk was repeatedly stolen? What the fuck? What? Yeah, I've heard about <laughs> who that knows, one. Who knows what? if it's oh, true, man. but like, damn. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what can you even say? So, chat, for reference, uh, Blizzard, Activision Blizzard employees detail abuse say breast milk was re repeatedly stolen. I saw someone tweeting about that yesterday. I, Fucking hell. Jeez. It's the kind of shit that you're just like, no. <laughs> no. no. What is That's... going no. on over there? <laughs> I just like the idea that you catch them all in a room and they're all like, I can explain. Seriously, this can be explained. You're like, uh-huh. Man, I just feel... Just fold your arms. Okay. Just like, yeah, okay. Explain it. Then they go, actually, I'd like a lawyer. <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. Imagine you just recently, you're like an upcoming game developer, and you finally got your dream job at Blizzard, like a year ago, mm. and now all of this that happens, you're be, like, oh, fuck. That does seem to be like the nightmare scenario that you often hear about. I was really excited to work at this company, then I started mm -hmm. working there and it wasn't good. It yep. just seems to be a recurring thing that you hear. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know, we'll have to see what comes of all of this stuff, because it seems like Activision Blizzard is, like, in, in real trouble, like, serious trouble. They're actually, it's like, you know, lots of, yeah, it's uh, serious. lawsuits it's not like, and, like, State of California and stuff are involved. It's not, yeah. like, one weird, wonky allegation from some random person. It's, like, no, it's, a it's, lot of stuff. It seems to be quite stuff. pervasive, yeah. Weird, yeah. wonky alligator. We'll have to see how it all pans out. <laughs> Whenever Blizzard's name pops up in the news, it's never a good thing. You no, know. no, I mean, their reputation's really shit right now. I mean, it was so bad that, like, people noticed that uh, the new Call of Duty was not presented as, like, Activision Presents, like, Call of Duty. It was presented as Call of Duty Presents. The game presents yeah. Call itself. of Duty <laughs> Presents Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but really, they th that was what they did, and it's like, dude, is this just because you don't want them to know that it was made by you? Like, is that, is that actually why you're doing that? To try and put some distance between the game and the company? Activision's like, listen, I'm ashamed of me, okay? Yeah. I don't want people to find out I exist. At least no hurt <laughs> um, But yeah, good luck with that waifu hunting. Uh, I just <laughs> tried to get some vanilla mocha from the coffee machine at my job. 
No joke, just gave me hot water. Day's looking sad. Oh. Man, so <laughs> Blame. Like, like, no, that's just the cost of your great day. It starts that way because you're about to get loads of good stuff happen, and they want to balance it out mm. a little bit. Yeah, you're going to fall into a hot vanilla mocha pit. No way, that's bad. That as sounds well. like, yeah, it could uh, be bad. Yeah. But there's loads of naked ladies right. in there that are really, really into you. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, you're horribly burned, but... No, it's like a now. good good warm. It's not It's not like boiling hot or anything. Oh, well, that's fine, I guess. Also, you find a treasure chest down there filled with, with gold doubloons. Damn. And you sniff them. <laughs> um, I bought my box set of The Office for my brother a few years ago, and he's never bothered to unwrap seasons 8 and 9. He hates James Spader, too. Really? I enjoy Je James He hates Spader. James Spader. Why does he hate James Spader? <laughs> like, what? James... He's, uh... James Spader seems like a talented actor. Yeah, well... I mean, you can still be an asshole. And, I mean, he was squandered in as Ultron, but, I mean, even then, he, just, he tried. He tried. What a waste Ultron was. This Could have been a really man. cool manipulative character in the background so, you know what who yeah. the the either the virus villain from scooby-doo in the cyber chase was <laughs> less squandered <laughs> yeah that's probably true um because james spader i'm pretty sure when it was announced he was the voice of ultron i was like oh yeah that sounds like it would be perfect considering what ultron is and like yeah and then it's like he's just like a clown you're like oh yeah he's he's a goofster and a gaffster I'm like Patty as well, which is really annoying. Well, yeah, he he just really didn't like Tony. Makes like a really good deal with the uh, claw, and then cuts off his arm because his he says, "Do you work said, for hey, Iron you Man?" Said... Yeah, like, like work with man. What's your problem? You know what's wrong with you? And then the only reason that happened well, was so that Claw could be like, "Hey, goons, go fight!" And then yeah. Black Widow and Hawkeye have someone to fight. <laughs> That's the only reason why that happened. And you got him being like, ooh, ooh, sorry, ooh, I didn't mean it, oh, yeah. no. And it's like, like no, you, you're don't. You're a robot. Yeah, don't do you're that. You're a robot. And then he kicks him in the face. And it's like, oh, that's probably Kill Claw, right? Like, yeah, vibranium kick to the face. Well, not vibranium, he's super, but it's still metal, you know? A giant robot. Oh, is he not vibranium at that point? He's not, no, remember, he steals the vibranium. He, that's why he went to Claw, to get the vibranium. Right. And then, for some reason... One of my favorite parts is just, man, it seems like the Avengers really struggle with the original, like, Prime Ultron. It's like, man, instead of making these shitty little droids, just make, like, ten of those really good ones, and you'll win. Um, because when he uses, like, the Vibranium to make Super Duper Ultron at the end, it's like, man, you still shouldn't destroy the other Ultron. Yeah. Like, he's still useful. Why would you destroy him? Why don't you make more of that one? Instead of making these little minions, because it's the thing that people forget. It's like, that's Ultron. They're all Ultron. They are all equally him. There's no reason to make super duper special ones. They should that's all be That's also why so he should have sent one to an island. Just sit there, just in yeah. case things went wrong. Just say a, yeah. a hundred of them. Split them no. up to all the corners of the He's world and hide. The internet. Bury yourself hide. in a chest for a few years and no. then bury yourself some, uh, someplace. No, he uh, he can't. He got burnt out of the... <laughs> not a thing. Uh, Can't do that vision. I know you just you've... remove him that's from not even... all the internet. That's an interesting idea in terms of like, well, it's sci-fi and they said they could. It's like, no, but that just doesn't that's make dumb. sense. I don't, I don't understand you. what that means to burn something out of the entire be... internet. Like, yeah. I don't know what that means. It would be like, I used my, I'm typing on my computer right now and I'm, I'm hacking all of you guys' phones and you should be like, is that through like Wi-Fi? And there's what about ones that don't even have batteries? And what about like, doing if my that? phone is off? Yeah, and I'm like yeah. still doing it, and it's like that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Like it's the signals, okay? I'm doing it with the signals. <laughs> it's like okay, so if I take my phone out of, if I take the SIM card with all the data in it and just sit it on my desk, are you hacking into that? Someone said, "Is Mauler actually playing this silly game?" Everyone, get him! Wow, what? A, why? Why so many hey. crazy takes? Hey. Look at those reflections for like a 2001 video game. That's crazy. Well, well, I don't, I don't know anybody who doesn't think Luigi's Mansion's awesome. It has a very good reputation. Yeah. That was a launch title. We got a lot of good launch titles for that generation. Halo, Luigi's Mansion, 
Uh, I'm pretty sure play. I think PlayStation was their first year was a really great year, like where you had Jack and Daxter, Grand Theft Auto Three, Metal Gear Solid Two, which I hear is really good. Um, You're playing this a lot more game. than Bounty Hunter. Do I, I detect know, some but, bias? I had a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and your excuses. You can't play the game because it broke. Huh. Did you moonwalk across the <laughs> You like spun. Oh my god. Not nope, man. Give me them hearts. Um, I went to the same high school as Frank Herbert. This means my high school is responsible for Star Wars existing since George Lucas took inspiration from Dune. I hear that. But yeah, that was sure. the case. I think we can see that influence right in Tatooine. Yeah, I went I went to his high school and there was just sand everywhere. It was all gritty. <laughs> yeah. There was these course, fat was floating rough, dudes all over the place. Everywhere. I think they were the teachers. I just I don't know. It's very strange. Some weird worms as well. No computers like... allowed. Yeah, there were worms hiding in the sand. They'd just jump at you and be like, nom 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 nom, and then <laughs> hide back. And you had to, when you had to go to the cafeteria, you had to run for your life. No, you had to do the crazy walk across the cafeteria <laughs> yeah. to make sure you don't get eaten. Uh, Kadikaris did a video on Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, and it's a video game adaptation, or rather, it's video game adaptation, which is like a slower Crash Bandicoot. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Didn't even know that existed. Me either. Uh, why metal? Why Mauler brought up my spirits and you drowned it in a bo boiling vanilla mocha coffee filled with dead women? I can't even look at the women. Oh. Yeah, Sorry. see, I was trying to make it all nice, but Mel was making it all horrible. Yeah. He, he, he admits to it. He admits to it. I won't apologize for it. It's just how it works. You said buddy. apologize, so too late. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I was trapped. Um, got member for four months, I think. Cosmic Chicken Worshipper says I have achieved a milestone. Nice. 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 Uh, me, me, me. Did that? Did that mouse just explode into money? Well, yeah. Do your mice not do that? I don't have mice. Oh. There, I have a rat. He lives in the walls. What's his name? It feels like a scary precedent to set that if you kill a rat by stepping on it or something that it's going to explode with money. Is it precedent? Not precedent? Precedent? Is it, is it precedent? Because I think I've said precedent. You just said precedent. Why would it be... Did I say... Oh, I precedent. I don't know why I said precedent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess both work, right? It depends on our... Because we have antecedent. Right. Well, I guess it's it's more just the pre, right? It, when usually that's as a prefix. You don't... Or do people call it a prefix? Because usually it's prefix. Yeah, we say prefix. Right. And, 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 no, one's, and no one says no one says precum. Huh. It's interesting to think about why we do this and make English so complicated sometimes. I'm sure someone's got the answers for all these, but we don't. I'm sure there is an answer, yeah. That's, uh, what is that? Etymology. No, etymology is how, like, well, I guess it would be etymology then. Where they Just come going from? in circles trying to figure out what is the study of language. What is the study of studies called? I don't Anthropology. know. Anthropology. <laughs> no. It's a study of humans, right? Yes. Uh, human society, specifically. Ology. So it'd be ologyology? Ology or ologyology? No, they're ologyology or ologyology? Those are just like wombo words. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all all <laughs> the wombo words. Uh, do you masses have any plans for the third best holiday, also known as Christmas? I've got no plans other than family-tisms. Normal plans, yeah. I don't have I'll probably stream on the 24th, because I don't have any family-tisms there this year, so I'm probably just going to chill out, I think. I don't All know. Right. 
Uh, my Rags, Christmas plans are good. Yeah. You stand accused of crimes against humanity. That's all it says. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fair enough. Well, if they want to get back to me on that, I, I guess I'm innocent until proven otherwise. Pretty much. Next one is most overrated actor. Gal Gadot, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might money. be she the case. She overrated though because people recognize that she sucks. She just gets a lot of work for some A lot reason. of people think she's great. Yeah, she's Maybe. really yeah, overrated. Really, there are way yeah. too many people. Free, we've uh, had to convince people she's a bad actress. Uh, Which you shouldn't right, have to do. It could be self-evident. You don't have to do that with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, Everyone seems to be on the same page. So <laughs> what's I guess going the on? thing is, is that but I mean, if if like within the industry there doesn't seem to be any like recognition right. She's never been nominated for like an Oscar or anything. Um, yeah, I guess that is a fair choice. I guess my mind immediately goes to, like, Meryl Streep is a great actress, but is she so great that it makes sense that she's won, like, what, like, seven or eight Oscars at this point? I mean, maybe. Like, I, she... I don't know that... Say, for example, someone said Robert Downey Jr. won, like, ten. I'd be like, well, it's possible. It depends on what those ten are. Yeah, yeah, true. I guess it's just that Meryl Streep tends to, like, every year she always gets nominated. Um... And so that would be an example of someone who's like actually quite talented. Right. I guess someone's... it's just the idea of are you disproportionately rewarded? Once said Brie Larson, this upsets me. Man, I still got to see Room. <laughs> Have you seen that, Rex? I can't remember. Uh, no, I have that'll, not. That'll be something that might oh, happen uh... sooner rather than later, then, because like it's something I've been meaning to show both of you for fucking ages. Well, here's here's one. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Because I, I kind of feel like she's overrated. I've never been impressed by her acting, but I haven't seen a lot of her, so... Right. But, like, everything in the X-Men movies, I was always well, just like, meh. I, I guess the thing is, I remember, because she won an Oscar for Silver Linings Playbook, I think it was called, uh, which I remember I liked, but I haven't seen that since it came out, so... Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. Well, I remember in that movie, because like, I've seen it as well, and I remember bits, but the main thing I remember is, uh... Bradley, what's his name? Yeah, Bradley Cooper. He's yeah, great. Bradley Cooper's reading the book. And he doesn't. He doesn't like it, and he just says, "What the fuck?" and throws it. And it just gets smashed out of a window. I thought it was funny as fuck. Uh, <laughs> it's like being so angry at a book. <laughs> I think Bradley Cooper is a pretty great actor. Yeah, um, I've always liked him. Uh, J.K. Simmons is not overrated. He is sufficiently rated. How is he over? Yeah, he's, he's, he's one of the great. He's 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 fantastic. Um. Hmm. Uh, I'm I feel like Scarlett Johansson is underrated. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people don't think she's that good, but she's she's demonstrated multiple times that she's quite capable. Um, what do you think about, because I, I, I know you've said it before, Mola, what do you think about Leonardo DiCaprio? He's 50-50. Because I, 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 I really like him in a lot of roles. Um, I agree with Red Letter Media, pretty much. That, um, what's their take? Sometimes he's, like, doing a really nuanced performance, sometimes he comes across as, like, a kid that was told to act, you need to seem like you're in pain as much as possible. Right, so yell and pull those types of faces, maybe. Right. Um, somebody, wait, sorry, I, I think I saw somebody say Adam Driver's underrated, and I agree. I think he's underrated. He's, I think uh, most people was... only know him. Marriage Story. I think, yeah. I think most yeah. people only know him from Star Wars. Yeah, yeah he's squandered, though. That's the thing, because in Marriage <laughs> Story, he's he is. I'm sure he hates that reality right now. <laughs> he's like, um, yeah, he maybe. to break away uh, from it. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like, um, I really like, uh, oh my god, Tom Hardy. I, uh, I yeah. like him a lot, in a lot of roles. Brad Pitt's one who I feel is just often underutilized. Like, he often just gets cast as Brad Pitt. When, when he actually is allowed to play a character, he's quite great. Um. Yeah, Metal, he's quite underrated. Yeah. Um, I'm yeah, some I've never, I've never really got cast for anything. Other hit miss actors. Uh, so well, what? Uh, Will Smith. Will Smith, off. Will Smith is is really entertaining as Will Smith, but I don't know how much. Uh, I don't know how much range he has. 
I really um, liked him in the Pursuit of Happiness. I haven't. Well, well, I was going to say, I, say right? I haven't seen that, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I would just have the different take of no. I think he's got plenty of range, and I've been impressed with a lot of his stuff. If anything, he might actually be underrated because he's just waiting for the right project. But always right. been good at convincing me of the character that he is, and. Uh, I was saying, I'm Legend is a good little example of him. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, he's. True, true, true. I can't yeah. imagine anyone else being able to play Cypher Rage. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just Will Smith might be in the category of underutilized. Like, he's one of those. Yeah, he's, he he's having a. Cast the hero man. He's having a Sean Connery career right now where he keeps picking shit. Uh, yeah. Hopefully ends up in this, something this good. Might be, this might be a controversial one. Seth Rogen was really good in Steve Jobs. Uh, <laughs> he, he was quite good in that. Um, but he doesn't he doesn't do like serious acting roles very often uh, at all. And I'm not as big a fan of him as a comedy actor. If I could see him do more like, serious stuff, um, that'll be that'll right. Be maybe that asked, was but... just like a fluke, right direction, right material. It is definitely annoying though with the the stuff that he said. Yeah, like, uh, just yeah. just like. Eh. Uh -huh. Um, of course, someone in chat, Christoph Waltz. It's like, yeah, he's uh, <laughs> <Just top notch. laughs> he is, uh he's excellent. Yeah, he's yeah. He uh, had, John like, Cena is better than I expected. Yep. Yes, yeah, John Cena was fantastic as Peacemaker. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's quite good. Um, because that's not I even think, just the emotional acting, which he nailed. It's the comedic timing. He was really good. He's really funny. Um, and also like The Rock, I like him. I like he's, The Rock uh, a lot. I don't know what I have to say about him as an actor. I, I, yeah. I guess it's just that he almost. I feel like he often is the same problem as a lot of actors that are really great. Sometimes where it's like they just keep getting cast as hero man. Sam Rockwell is great. Yeah, he's great. He's he's great in a lot of things. I think Seven Psychopaths um, is my favorite Sam Rockwell performance, probably. He is uh he's in um uh F is for Family, uh which I would like to watch from beginning F to end. I watched the first few seasons. It's for family too. Bill Burr's yeah. show. Yeah, F um, can be like for a whole bunch of things. Hmm. Uh, uh Rock has man character syndrome. Yeah, and I think a lot of people I think Chris Pratt has man character syndrome as well. He often Ew. now is just the yeah, hero the, man character. The Rock's character is summed up by the character he plays in the other guys. That character. Yeah, is... he was funny in that. <laughs> <laughs> the other guys I actually quite like that movie. Oh, that film's uh, awesome. The other guys, yeah, I, re I remember when I watched it, I laughed my ass off. It's really funny. Well, oh, you know what? That's one. Mark Wahlberg. What do we think of him? I'm trying to think of his best performances. Um... Uh, he definitely uh, doesn't right. annoy me. I, I just no, he yeah. doesn't. But I find him hard to uh, to pin down whether or not I. Uh, I think he can be really funny. In uh, that's, like, okay. head. Mel, you've seen Depied, right? Did I? I feel like I must have shown you that back in like uh... when we first met and stuff. But uh, I know Fringy and Rags haven't seen it yet. But he played. He, he that's probably my favorite Mark Wahlberg role. He's just a dick. That's his whole what character. About, uh, he's a complete dick. And um, someone mentioned the fighter, which he a scene. Well, there's a couple of scenes where he like conflicts with Alec Baldwin, and they have like right. back and forth. They're pretty funny. And one of them Does is just shot? like, um, they they keep uh, fucking like having quick comebacks to each other. And I think that um, at one point Alec just says. Uh, Oh yeah, how's your mother? And then she go, he goes tired from fucking my father. But this is like this, is, this is just stunted him in terms of um, really bizarre responses. Um, I I look forward to showing you guys that movie. You'll like it, I think. I yeah, I need to watch it. Um, I saw a couple of people saying Matt Damon is better than uh Leonardo DiCaprio, better than uh Mark Wahlberg. Um, I think Matt Damon is really good, and I think the reason why I think that is because of Goodwill Hunting. Uh, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think of, we're talking about actors with range, I I really like Mr. Rogers. Um, he he was in the World War II movie, and he was in the, the <laughs> Apollo movie as well. That is some fucking and range, man, to be playing. I, that it is does a, feel a like, uh, we, we often, because, you know, Mr. Rogers, he is, he is just a fantastic actor a lot of the time, and it's almost because he's so consistently great that you kind of, like, mm -hmm. don't think about how, how great he really is. Yeah. Well, yeah, he wasn't the problem with Toy Story 4. No, he was not. He was not. He he played the role as he was told to, and there you have to admire that, 
and it. I mean, I mean, man, what, he, what else can he say? Mister Rogers is emotive as fuck. Like in that voice, I think if you go back to a lot of the older animated stuff, you realize how much the actors are carrying it. Um, and Toy Story, like. I can't separate a lot Toy of the characters. Toy Story is carried by the uh, is is definitely carried by the voice acting. Um, Tim Allen's really great as Buzz Lightyear. Everybody's really fun. Oh, one uh, Gary Oldman. It's like yeah, he's he's uh, he's excellent. I feel like that's one of those ones where everyone's already agreed. You know, like like if it was yeah. like Gary Oldman's not very good, but like no, 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 sit down. Really, right. I think, I think <laughs> Gary Oldman opinion just started to sit down. Gary Oldman definitely slots into the camp if he really sinks into the role of, like, each character. Often, you don't even recognize him. Yeah, um, I, guess, the, the, I guess he went on the good way of that, because, like, a lot of people say, like, Johnny Depp. You... It's hard to say specifically what the problem is, but a lot of people found that to be detrimental to Johnny Depp, um, eventually. What did he... Well, it's funny you say that, because when I was a kid, I often actually had difficulty recognizing Johnny Depp. Uh... I, th oh, I think there was you... a grace period where we were all very appreciative of the range he had, but then I think it started to get a little bit like, oh, here he goes again, playing some crazy fucking thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because well, he, he's the he's Jack Sparrow, he's Sweeney He's Jack Todd. Sparrow, he was Willy Wonka, he was Edward Scissorhands, he's, uh, yeah, he was a lot of crazy. Thing. I, I he mean, was, was a lot Willy of Tim Wonka. Burton stuff, right? Yeah. 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 There's a lot of Tim Burton He was the thing from um, um, Alice in Wonderland as well, right? Mad Hatter. Ah, uh, he was the Mad, Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, oh, and also, like, someone mentioning, yeah, uh, I think Gary Oldman is, like, Winston Churchill. It's like, dude, <laughs> he's really good. Like, it's like Winston Churchill. Um, and also, as been pointed out, Andrew Garfield, yeah, I think he's, I think he's quite good. Um, he was really good in the social network. How many Who's the guy, who's, um, who, he plays Baron Harkonnen. Uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Skarsgård? Ellen. He would make. He would probably play a good Churchill. He, uh, well, Stellan Scars. He's another one of those like fucking awesome actors. Yep. He was really great in Chernobyl. Um, he's good in parts. I, of the I had here. one. There was a name, and now it it eludes me again. Uh, damn. Uh. All right. Well, people mentioning Reznov. It's like, yeah, Gary, <laughs> Gary Oldman is Reznov. Um. Denzel Washington's good. Yeah, I think he's good. You guys seen Man on Fire? No, I haven't. That is the Denzel Washington movie, I think, by a lot of people's standards. Right. I need to watch that. Um, Robin Williams had good range. He definitely had range, yeah. Yeah, he did. He's thoroughly uh, impressive. It's a big loss. I think... Yeah, because when I think about when I think about roles, it's like I feel like again, Dead Poet Society feels like the immediate one you go to. But he was fucking great as the genie. In oh yeah, yeah, and he, Good he Will Hunting. That role. Uh... Yeah, Good Will Hunting as well. He was really great in that. It's not your fault. It's like man. Uh oh, there's a good one, Ben Affleck. Because I think it used to just be accepted that he wasn't very good, but he is. So <laughs> he he is quite good. Um. He but tried like so hard to make BVS work. He did. He really tried. He really, really did. Um. Yeah, I, I think, I think, uh, I think Ben Affleck's good. Imagine knowing so as I, an actor, if only they didn't hire the fucking idiot to make this movie. Why? Well, I, I guess he, he, he probably likes Snyder, right? He came back to do the reshoots, just as a favor. Yeah, I don't know if that. <laughs> there's no chance of him thinking, you know. If I would leave, this, dude, there is a chance that Ben Affleck has fucking watched like breakdowns of BVS on YouTube, been like, uh. and agreed. <laughs> like that's a good point. <laughs> Ed Harris is always good too. I yeah. I really yeah. enjoy Ed Harris whenever he shows up. It's fucking great he in Westworld up. season one until his plotline went nowhere. Um, Hugh Laurie is another great one. Yeah, Hugh Laurie's awesome. We're just naming all the good actors. It's gonna take us a while. At this point, we've just, yeah, descended into that, uh, that, uh, that rabbit hole. But what about actresses? We've been talking about a bunch of actors. What about the actresses? No, there aren't any. Gal Gadot? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, 
Let me see. I mean, I was saying it, but like Meryl Streep, she is she's she's good. She's a good actress. She's great, even. I like it's Audrey just, Hepburn. Hepburn. Uh Judy Dench is great. Yeah, I agree with that. Um What about uh, um what about Lucille Ball? Oh man, I, I remember watching uh like I Love Lucy back in the uh but I can't remember much of that show. Um I, I oh so what was uh Barbara Eden, right? <laughs> she, as uh in I Drew Magini. She was funny. She's really funny. A lot of them were. Um... And also they are really good at, because a lot of the time, like in those shows, they had to play dual roles and they, they sunk into those really well. Um, Olivia Coleman's excellent, yeah. She's uh, consistently impressive. Like... And Kate Blanchett, I really like her too. Yeah. Olivia Coleman went from like, very, a whole bunch of British sort of annal shows and just uh, sketch shows. That's how I always knew her, and like also now she's an Oscar winner for incredible performances. You're like, oh yeah. my god, nice, good job. Mm -hmm. Uh, Emily Blunt. I like her in a lot of movies. Uh, I was like seeing her. She's, I think she's got a lot of range too. Um, I Rebecca Ferguson. Yeah, I, I, uh, oh. it, she came out of nowhere. Really, it was Open like Mission more and Impossible, more, yeah. and now she's in a lot of things. Sigourney so Weaver. We, yeah, that's an um, easy one, though. That's an easy choice. She's, this uh, will be a little topical, but we were talking about actresses. Uh, we're talking actresses here, and because we just watched it, we have, of course, um, uh, Natalie Portman. Right. Right. We just watched her in Star Trek. She's she's very talented, but you can see how much she's incredibly squandered in, like, really all the she's, prequels. She's had some really good performances. Um, Absolutely. There are just a lot of instances where she isn't utilized very well. That's like in Thor and, and Star Wars. She doesn't really get much to do. I mean, especially by like episode three of Star Wars, it feels like she had very little to do, which is a waste. Should have had her doing more of her politics stuff. No, politics is boring. Well, there's one that I think... Yeah, Deborah Ann Wool. She's uh, a wall. She's a... Uh, I think she's pretty fucking great and she doesn't get a lot of roles so i hope they bring if they're gonna bring daredevil back they should bring that whole group back they should bring her back they should bring vincent d'onofrio uh, put out a tweet praising her and how uh yeah like, yeah she should uh, he did not be forgotten she, as part of daredevil no she she definitely shouldn't she was a big part of that vincent d'onofrio though he's uh oh mwah! he's a great actor he's uh he's really good in a lot of things like, even in Jurassic World, when he doesn't have much of a character, I enjoyed seeing him on screen. So, of course, if we're talking about incredibly talented actresses, we have to talk about Ruby Rose, who, her, her mm. skill, it, it's so, so wide-ranging. She could play frustrated Batwoman, uh, <laughs> blank Batwoman. Concerned uh, Batwoman? Come concerned on, Concerned Batwoman. <laughs> uh, exasperated Batwoman. So, very, very, very talented. She was in Resident Evil, of course. A highlight. Very, very say. good. Uh, who played Jessica Jones? That's Kristen Ritter. And yeah, I like her too. Uh, she was in Breaking Bad. She was. Molly, you've been rewatching Breaking Bad. I finished it. You did. And El Camino. Mm-hmm. Are these shy guy ghosts? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Look at him! Leaving hmm. them be! What are you doing? I'm saving them. You want them are to you suffer? Oh, you're saving them. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. They've been possessed horrifically by horrible monster ghosts, and I'm getting them out of there. So, this might seem weird, but... What do you... What, do, what are our opinions on Whoopi Goldberg? Um, I... I'm pretty sure that she's... I, I, dude, it's been so long since I've seen anything with her in it. Yeah, same, I was about to say. I don't, I don't remember. Isn't she in? Her <laughs> best is pretty... Isn't she charismatic? That's what I remember. Well, she was in Sister Act, and I remember that I thought she was funny in that, but this is a long time ago. Um, well, her in Lion King, I remember being pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she played one of the hyenas. 
Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was yeah. Shenzi. Yeah. Uh, no, I remember, because I remember I liked Sister Act as a kid, but I don't remember anything about it, so. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't judging anything from The View, because it's just a show <laughs> well, where she talks forever. <laughs> that's not her acting, is it? Right. Yeah. Oh, apparently she was good on Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah, yeah she, she was going. And... I, I didn't know that she was on that, but I don't know a whole lot about Star Trek. I would like to watch TNG. Um, I appreciate that joke. They missed rags. I missed it. I'm, clearly. I'm, I, I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Retroactive uh, sort of you know, vindication for my incredible sense of humor. Jake Gyllenhaal is underrated. He's uh, consistently impressed me. Adam Driver is in The Last Duel, and the movie is great. I'd highly recommend it. It's definitely the best movie of 2021, or at least best that I saw. Hi. Maybe we should throw that one on, but nobody saw it. I mean... Uh, Our yeah, list I've is never staggeringly large at this point. Yeah, yeah. Y'all forgot nice about Jesse you. Smollett being overrated. Um, I haven't seen Empire. <laughs> what? I have not either. Well, he was in Empire, actor, right? That's yeah. what he was in. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if uh, he's. A good I've guy definitely guy. not it's seen not... Empire, so yeah, I can't say. Is that? Wait, sorry, I'm mixing up. It's not Cuba Gooding Jr. It's uh, Terrence Howard. Is he? He's an Empire. Or am I mixing them up? Um, which, which show? Which of those guys were? I think because I think they were both on shows that are considered really good. Um, I mean, Donald Glover. Now I'm thinking as well because now I'm thinking about At uh, Atlanta. I always hear good things about that show. Yeah, Terrence Howard. All right. Vanilla Mocha. Pff, acquired taste buds, please. Damn. Vanilla Mocha. Isn't he an act? Isn't he a rapper? Is he? Or am I getting that mixed up with something else? I think so. I think so. That's probably that's probably safe. Have you massive bundles of sticks seen Oz or The Wire yet? Just. Simmons will never be the same to me. Uh, I want to. I want to watch The Wire. I've only watched the first half of the first season. Yeah, I've not seen that. Uh, when they say, "Have you seen Oz?" Are they talking about the movie with James Oz Franco? Oz the Great and Powerful by uh, Sam Raimi. I've definitely not seen that. I haven't seen it either. Yeah. I think that was the last movie that Sam Raimi directed up until Multiverse of Madness. It's like, t it's nearly 10 years between directing. Damn. Well, because, uh, uh, no, but then again, I think there was an Ash, like, there was an Evil Dead TV show, so that might have been what he was involved in. Yeah, maybe. What, what was the super chat that this one was about? Oz and the Wire? Oz oh, the Wire. apparently Oz is a HBO prison drama with, uh, J.K. Simmons. Oh. Oz? Oh, that oh. sounds cool. Uh, that's... <laughs> Let me look that up. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of, course, of it either. Of course, when you say Oz, you know, we, we all know where mine goes to, so I, I didn't know. Did not know. I, yeah, you mind does go to Oz immediately. Uh, oh, it ran for six seasons. Wow. It was the first one-hour dramatic television series to be produced by HBO. Holy shit. Wait, how old That's is this thing? Uh, 1997 to 2003. Oh, okay. So that was before The Wire, because The Wire was 2000, I think. That is interesting to think about, because, uh, you know, when we think about, like, TV now with long serialized arcs, like, that, that's recent as a thing. TV used to be <laughs> hyper not serialized. <laughs> yeah, Buffy's a part of the age that it was converting over. Buffy, well, yeah, because Buffy slots into the semi-serialized kind of format, where it's like, it does have its monster of the week, but there is a broader story. But even that was before, like, I think The Wire and The Sopranos were, like, the first. You need Either to watch a, every episode, otherwise you're going to be left out. That era, people will cite a lot of those shows as their inspiration, where they came from for writing and stuff. 
Yeah, things start um, to change. which doesn't surprise me because you start to see it right now. Breaking Bad is like the influence for a lot of the stuff that's happening now. I feel like Breaking Bad is the um, flashpoint, like the big line in the yeah, sand. I think so. Because uh, even before The Wire, like, you still had, your common thing was, like, your Law and Orders and NCIS, CSI, House, you know, much more one and done. I remember that was a thing that uh, I was kind of, when I went to rewatch House, it's like, oh, House is, like, non, that House is each episode. Yeah. There was, like, a, I, I totally forgot. And uh, so then I watched a few episodes and by... I think by the time I hit like episode five or six, I was like, "Oh no, I'm getting bored." Yeah, man, I, oh, I, no. the rewatchability of a house for me is tough because I know uh, when I He's see one episode that I'm, for a couple of I'm season be, finales. yeah, I'm rewatching the first episode just with variations now until season like yeah. four or something. Until the finale where the, he doesn't figure it out. Yeah. Um, because it's it's just the standard format, right? Someone comes in, they've got like some crazy illness, they think they figured it out, but they haven't, and things go wrong, and then they figure it out. Meanwhile, House has to deal with dumbasses in uh in the, the, the daily the clinic. thing, yeah, yeah. And his relationships and that's, like that's get point. strained. Yeah, that's that's basically it. It's the characters that are carrying that, not the plot. Yeah. I, I guess it's just the idea of man. I maybe what I thought House was was not what it was when I rewatched it. I think that was all that happened, uh, and I didn't fully remember it that well. Uh, don't forget every single actor and actress from Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, you got a big old cast of great actors in McKellen, Christopher Lee, Elijah Wood. Vigo, Mortensen, oh, I messed that one up, didn't I? Uh, you got Hugo four. Weaving. There's five. I always forget, it plays Sam. I always mix up his name. He, he was really good in 24. I remember he was in that for a brief time. Go on, Ash. Talking about five. him, Sean Ash. Best season, yeah. Wasn't he in uh, that new show, uh, The Tremblers or the whatever? What's it called? Stranger Things. The Tremblers. <laughs> <laughs> the Tremblers. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I want to see Rags' new show, The Tremblers. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a bio. That's it's a, a bio TV show. The Tremblers. Um. Yeah. He's it's kind of funny. The character he plays in Stranger Things season two is the most likable best person ever, who does everything great and is super lovable, and then he gets a horrific death. That is his whole thing. That sucks. Um. I feel like I'll do a video on Stranger Things season two, and maybe when I'm like forty eight or something. <laughs> hey guys, here's this twenty year old show that I hate. I, I would like to go over why it really pissed me off. Lots of things piss me off. I think people have gathered this. Mm hmm. Rumblo. Rumblo? Mm hmm. What about Rumblo? No, you're a Grumblo because things piss you off. I am a Grumblo, that's true. Um, Trembler. Yeah, uh, a critique of the Tramblers coming soon. Someone DM. put out CWs of the Tremblers. It's like, yeah, for some reason that feels like a CW show. <laughs> Tremblers, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm being attacked by Nero. Protect your sugar daddy, you massives. Also, Rags, are you a dog or a man? Or were some weird I'm a hybrid dog. of both? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a dog. Dogs Clearly. Don't speak, Rags. You see this picture? Yeah, they can. Nope. I can. Nope. Well, then how am I making sounds come out of my mouth hole? Because you're no, I'm not. That's pretty racist of you. That is actually really. Yeah. I mean, I thought I thought misgendering. Sometimes was bad, the truth is racist. What can I say? <laughs> oh, no. Sometimes. Uh, I'm more disappointed in Fringy than Mola for never hearing of Oz. It's weird. The intro will probably remind you of a certain South Park episode. Uh. Hold on. Let me Oz intro. Um. Yeah. Damn, no. It's not coming to me at the moment. Uh, 
I think uh, the new South Park episode is out this week. They're uh, they're pumping those out real quick. The is that a specials. movie or an episode? Uh, it's uh, another special. I think it's a follow up to the, to the well, most recent one. Where it's I actually the watched the um one that came out, so I'll watch this one with you, okay? Yeah, Funny let's. God, okay, we'll time it for the week. Yeah, we'll do that. Jesus, Mary, Joseph. I will say it was very amusing. The whole thing with Cartman in the. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not 100 percent sure. I feel like they'll know what we're predicting that right at the end yeah. he'll reveal. So I wonder if they're going to play with it or not. Well, that's why I think it's such a great idea. Is like we have the same thought as Kyle. You're lying. <laughs> like you're you not. created a 40 year <laughs> long lie just to annoy <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> well, it's just because we have examples of like. Yeah. I think I think it's the uh, Mitch Connors. That's the thing that makes me not put it past Carmen. Yeah. <laughs> that he created the whole Mitch Connor identity. <laughs> just to make fun of Kyle and then spiral out of control into this crazy plot with Ben because Affleck. Because they Michael want to go back in time and change things. Cartman is going to be their antagonist now, isn't it? Yes, he's definitely. Yeah, Someone's I'm looking forward to the next one. That'd be good. Door! This is I gotta take a phone doorbells call in them. the future. No worries. That's what I... ringtones are in the future. Someone's on the phone! They... <laughs> I wasn't sure about that. I feel like they used that joke a little bit too much. Uh, where the the joke uh, is, it's something stupid, and then the thing will say because it's the future. It's like yeah, they did that one a bit too much. I agree, but I like the doorbell one. <laughs> I just found that amusing. I'm not sure how I feel about him. Uh, because Kyle being frustrated that his doorbell is doing that, I'm like, can well, he, make can sense, he not right? change it? Like... <laughs> I guess not. That's how they work in the future. <laughs> Wherever the future no. kind of sucks in the South Park world. South Park world. But uh, definitely network. looking forward to what they're doing with that. I also need to watch well, I mean, it. I forgot that it came out, so it's nice you remind me of it's that. It's an now. interesting. Uh, it's an interesting new format. Uh, because the deal, from what I understand, is like fourteen specials and a few more seasons. Um, you should probably so um in... watch the pandemic special, by the way. I, guess I reference should. Quite a bit. Yeah, I should. Um. Because I, I missed that one and the, the other one as well, so I need to go back and watch those. Oops. Um... It, it, oh, and to the question of, like, which seasons I don't like, it's it's the earlier seasons I'm not a big fan of. Um, like, I, I, I feel like the show starts to become what I think of South Park as being around, like, season five. That's, uh, like, seasons 5 through 10 is usually the era that I'm like, that's what South Park is in my head. Mm-hmm. Dogs are good because we kill all the bad ones. Mm. I think that was when we were talking about dogs being friendly. I mean, why would you be mean to dogs? The funny thing about that is that there's a truth to it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we bred them to be, uh, cooperative. Yeah, we're not, we're not a fan of the mean ones, typically. Yeah. No, I mean, the main ones still exist, right? Well, like, they're good uh, for, uh, defense. Yeah, um... I do feel bad for some dogs, though, in terms of how they've, like, been bred. It's like, man, you've just been crippled, and it's not even your fault. It's because people wanted a cute dog. You're being crippled at a species level? Like, damn. Yeah, it's like, man, maybe, yeah, it's, you it, know, we played with fire. And we it's one thing to just make dogs, like, smaller or look a certain way, but, like, when it comes to, like, Health problems and horrific genetic stuff is like, ugh, I don't know, that just don't... Mm -hmm. Well, I think the big one that I saw was uh, over the last hundred years, the German Shepherd, their hind legs, like their yeah. back, just curves really far down and it, it didn't used to, and it makes it difficult for them in life. And of course, the, do the, the dogs with the short snouts where they have breathing problems, damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This sucks. Just keep, leave them normal. The closer wolves, the better. I don't know. I'm pretty great. Well, sheep, sheeps are cool. I, I do like sheeps a lot. Um, There's, yeah, I sheeps like... and Akitas and Labradors and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, which is like, oh, that's just, that's just a dog. That's just a, that's yeah. like a canine. That's you a know? dog's it, dog. Yeah, that's a, that's a dog. And even, like, I guess when it comes to stuff, now, I don't know about, like any genetic or health problems related to like Pomeranians and Chihuahuas and stuff. But as, as long as there's no, like none of those issues, like even those are just like, you know, it's, I mean, you know I'm fine what, with though, them. I really like Tanukis. They're really Tanukis. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. dogs. Technically. Um, they're a species of canid. 
Um, they have huge testicles. Do they? Yeah, that's some that's something about them that like whenever you like if you look up Tanuki statue and stuff like that, they're they're generally depicted with just huge nuts. I wonder why the they thing don't about put that in, like when Mario picks up the Tanuki suit. Hmm. He doesn't Strange. Hey man, you've gotta um, have you've gotta have some big balls to jump in a furry outfit and fly around. But that's what I'm saying, right? He flies around, so clearly they're not heavy. Well, we don't know what they're full of. I guess well, Maybe I helium. guess what I'm saying. Someone said no. Rags, of yeah, course Rags would know about that. We've talked about this on EFAP before. We that's talked how about I know. Tanukis, I remember. Someone, yeah, someone mentioned Tanuki, and then I looked them up, and then I noticed that in all of these like depictions and statues of them, they just had huge nuts. And I was like, what the hell's up with this? And then it's like, that's that's part of the animal, and so they've just it's just become part of the popular imagery. They got big nuts. I think the big surprise for me was I'd always assumed that... Uh... I'd always assume that, like, the Tanuki suit, the Tanuki was just a different name for raccoon, not that there was a I specific... I thought so, too. Raccoon, yeah, that's what I thought. like, dog from Japan, but that's way cooler. Because <laughs> I like raccoons a lot. They're, uh, they're cool animals. Yeah, raccoons are um, great. They got think, little hands, think, and they hold their food, and they scamper around, and they're really I fluffy. Think, well, I think my favorite thing about raccoons is that they have really great memory. Um, I... I'm not. Sh I'm pretty sure this is true, and I could be wrong, but I remember reading or watching a video that talked about how raccoons, you can introduce them to a lock, uh, might take them three or four tries to figure it out, and then you introduce them to that same lock a year later and they'll get it first try. Um, oh. it, it doesn't surprise me at all that Sly Cooper, that they went with a raccoon, that is perfect for like a thief, uh, an anthropomorphic yeah. thief character. Because there was a perfect. time when I, when I was young and it, it was either my job or my brother's or whatever to go out like the siblings. You'd get alternating duty on taking trash out. And duty. And so once when I took the trash out one day at night, there was this big old coon in the in the in the trash bin just sitting there. I was like, nope. And I just left it where I was. And I was like, oh, I'll just deal with it later. Those things are fearless. They will stare at you. <laughs> some of some at least around here, some of them are fearless. They'll stare. They will just. They will stare you down. They're like what, motherfucker? I'm in your trash. You threw it away. That means you don't it's want it. It's mine now. Yeah, you clearly don't want it. That's why you threw it away. Who enters my domain? Uh, uh, the trash the... pile. Uh, man, if I if I could make friends with a raccoon, I'd totally have one as a roommate. Yeah, I think I would too. You told me an animal that could be my friend, like raccoon. A big, a big old what in the trash bin rags? A coon. A coon was in the trash because coon is a raccoon. That's what they're called. That's what we call them. It's a fine name for an animal. That's what, like, like I even had when I was growing up, I had a coon skin hat and it had a little tail going down the back and everything. Like Jebediah Springfield. Exactly. Um, but, uh,. I mean, there was because, but you don't want to mistake him for Cartman's persona, superhero persona, the coon. The coon. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's only one of them. There are many coons, Dude, but there is, there's there's like, only one the coon. The South Park superhero thing that they did has always been really fun to me, especially in the video game. When I, I remember there was a joke where um because they're playing because of course they're playing pretend and then it becomes very real. And uh, I think Super Craig, he's down on the ground, and, and then um. And then I think Cartman's like, hold on, I'm going to stabilize him. He pulls out a needle and jabs it into Craig's chest. <laughs> and Craig's like, ow, what did you just do to me, asshole? And he's like, I gave you like a, an injection and you know, I, I had to stabilize you. He's like, are you fucking serious? You could have killed me. It's just really funny. Cartman just stabbed, stabbed him in the chest. Like playing pretend. <laughs> but it was a real syringe. Someone said, don't forget that Tanukis are thieves and swindlers, according to the people who play Animal Crossing. Yeah, we've no, been down that not. road. We've, we've been no. down that road. We've... Tom Nook I... is an industrious pillar of the community who offers interest-free loans. Tom Nook uh, is... We, we have sung the praises of Tom Nook many times. Yeah. Tom Nook is an amazing individual. Um, he is a and, pillar of And I always community. thought he was a raccoon when I played it earlier. I, would, I didn't well, know I think, uh, I think in, in the West, he is a raccoon. I think oh, okay. uh, in the All West right. he is a raccoon, and in Japan he is a tanuki. You should hang out with us. Are they modeled different, or are they just modeled uh, the no, same? No, it's the same model. I think it's just because. Oh, okay, it's so similar more, there. It's more 
familiar to the West, like raccoons yeah, rather raccoons than tanukis. Because are... I only know tanukis because of Mario. I I heard tanuki suit before I ever heard of the tanuki. Exactly. So I'm like, oh, yeah. that must be the animal he's dressing up as. It looks like a raccoon. Must be a I raccoon. guess that's their word yeah. for raccoon. You know. Exactly. Yeah. And then it's like, oh my god, it's this whole new world that I was unfamiliar with. Raccoon dogs. Because you, because they're so similar in design that if you cartoonify both of them, they kind of end up being the same. Uh, yeah. No, I, I guess it's just the interesting thing of like, because raccoons are not dogs, but tanukis are dogs. Um, yeah, I just, I just, just happenstance. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is localization though, in terms of the the tanuki uh, Tom Nook thing. They are. But enough about how Tom Nook is a great guy who offers interest free loans with flexible repayment plans. So flexible then, they might as well not exist. It's so flexible they're optional. And then reinvests all of the money that he makes into creating a bigger business so he can employ more people and build resources and services for the town. I said you should come out with it, hang out with us. I would love yeah. to have uh, Tom Nook on EFAP. I want to learn to some about videos. his. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. got kids too. You know, he's th there's a there's well, a there's a lucky. Uh, I think, oh, I think there was uh, nephews. Nephews, yeah. Oh, okay. I was about to say there's a there's a lucky Miss uh, he's Miss like Uncle Nook ben. out there somewhere. He's dead. He's like Uncle Ben. <laughs> no, he's he's take you know he's 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 taken on a almost parental role for these these <laughs> these kids. That's the key attribute of Uncle Ben, is that he's dead. That he is dead. You're making me think about oh. how there is a serious amount of people in the world who are desperate to see that old man be fucking <laughs> killed. <Ben>. Like, <laughs> I, just, I just gotta see Uncle Ben take two to the no, chest. He's gotta to fucking a, die, okay? You gotta have a, a Flashpoint type, right, where Uncle Ben is Spider-Man. And in an alternate reality. I want him to be the villain, it'd be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Uncle Ben, and I'm gonna get ya! Nah. You know when he says, Peter, wait, Peter, when, when, when he's taking off the mask green goblet, if it was fucking Uncle Ben in that <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Ben, it was you, I faked me on death. To I had a, a dad, his name was Ben Parker, that he just sees as he skewers no. him, it's Uncle Ben. I am your father. <laughs> I, am uncle. I am your uncle, I am your I'm uncle. right. <laughs> No, that's not true. That's impossible. Peter, I'm wearing and, the suit. Look at me. <laughs> but instead of saying no, it's him going, ah! the scream it's Spider-Man 2. Toby Maguire is another one in terms of, you know, and acting. Then know. Says, what do we think? Yeah. At the end he says, don't tell Aunt May. I mean, I really like him as Spider-Man. Um, but yeah. I mean, I, uh, I like him in those movies. I don't know that I consider him a great actor. I don't know. I'm not sure either. Yeah. His crying was always a little awkward. Well, but he at least he is crying, you know. Like that seems to be like that, somewhat that gets, yeah, plus for active. sure. But like Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield, they're in a different tier as far as I'm concerned. Andrew Garfield is really great, and I think with Tom Holland, I really like him in the role of Spider Man. I think I need to see more of him in other stuff though, to fully form what I think about him overall. Uh, maybe he'll be really cool as Nathan Drake. I doubt it. <laughs> in the Uncharted movie with Mark Wahlberg as Sully, what a Man, <laughs> like that's a ch that's a choice that was made. That was a maybe I'll like it. Made. Who knows? Maybe maybe it'll be maybe it'll be something. I guess it'll be interesting though because I think that movie's gonna have uh, Chloe in it, and it's like, man, Claudia Black is like Chloe. It's very much defines how I see that character. I'm not sure how I see someone else taking on that role, but who knows? Who knows? Check out Alpha Alpaca Pack's video series on Stranger Things 2. Uh, yeah, maybe. ER knows him because of his series on Korra and is a fantastic film YouTuber. Fair enough, I've never heard of him. Near me either. Hi, Rags. He's gone. What do we do? Uh, hi. I'll, I'll substitute for rags, hey. They're gonna be upset, but alright. Um, oh. What is everyone's thoughts on VGAs? I think uh, we got over that a little bit, right? 
yeah, mainly just trailers, you know, that's mainly what people are there for. No. Um, I guess there were some cool reveals, but I mean, a lot of them were like CGI, like that Wonder Woman one. It's like, to me, that sounds like a great idea, but I would need to see it before I could say that, you know? Um, Forspoken looks kind of neat. I'm not sure how I feel about like the writing, but the, the action kind of looks cool. It reminds me a bit of Infamous. Um... What else was there? Uh, oh, uh... I'm not sure if Rags knew, but, like, Sinua's, uh... Sinua's Saga, I think, is the one? Oh. No, because that was the first one, so the sequel. Um, they showed some gameplay for that. It looked cool. Um... Uh, what else was there? Uh... Oh, Space Marine 2. But that was a CGI trailer. But, but that seemed cool. I remember... I remember when that... I think the first one came out like 10 years ago, and I remember people really liked it. It was like God of War. So that might be one to play. Maybe that'll be my opportunity to get a little bit more into Warhammer. It seems like a cool thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright, Telltale doing the expanse. Yeah, there was that too, but we'll see. Go ahead. J.K. Simmons plays the devil in Oz. His delivery and appearance gave young me nightmares in a good way. The guy who played oh Kareem Saeed was great too. Sounds interesting. Yeah. I like me some J.K. Simmons. Uh, my mum has pet raccoons. They're awesome. My senior picture was with a raccoon. They're super clean, like a cat slash dog slash two year old baby hybrid. Wow. Ooh. Are they? Wow. They're like like I don't I've never even considered raccoons as like house pets. Is that a thing? Um. I don't know that they... The problem is it gets... Like, I know that there are domesticated foxes, for instance, but a fox is not a pet. Uh, like, not not really. Not in the same way as, like, a dog or a hamster. Like, you uh, have to special conditions to keep them as a pet? Um, they are they are not fully domesticated yet, is the main thing. That, are, uh, that the vast majority are wild, and the ones that aren't were very specially bred to be, um, to be that way. Right. Um, and I'm guessing raccoons maybe fall into that camp too. Because, um, I mean, you know... Uh, but then again, it might be different for, like, animals from North America and Europe. I think raccoons are in Europe as well. As opposed to, like, in Australia where it's, like, domesticated dingo that doesn't exist. Or domesticated koala. These just do not exist. They're all wild. Um, all animals can be pets, not all pets are domesticated. I guess, but at that point it feels like the word pet... That feels too broad to me. Like, I don't see someone having a pet bear. That doesn't seem like they're your pet, you know? They're like an animal that you live with. Um, a pet? I, well, I guess because the problem is, I'm thinking, like, would I consider a cow a pet? It's like, well, cows are domesticated animals that live with humans, but I don't really know if that... Chattel, because you get uh, them right, for... But I guess that's what I'm saying, thing. right? Like, you could a have a pet cow, pet. but calling a pet it a goat. pet cow would imply that it's already different than a typical cow. Um... Uh, well, would it? Necessarily? Yeah, because because if people say that I have cows, right, then that generally means that they are some kind of a dairy farmer or a rancher, something of that nature, because that is their vastly, but by far, it's their primary purpose. But if you said I had a pet cow, a singular pet cow, then that would be very odd because they're typically not kept as like pets in a pet role. Right. Well, so, so the context that you're missing is somebody mentioned that they had a pet raccoon and Mauler had asked, yeah. it's like, can you have pet raccoons? Is that a thing? I think so. I think I've seen some pictures of every once in a while on the internet, they'll be like, I have a pet raccoon. Just because you right. they got it as a baby or they rescued it or whatever, and so it developed. That seems to be the general context yeah. in which an animal that isn't typically a pet, like I know that there's uh, the Save a Fox like foundation, they have a YouTube channel and it's basically yeah, just... Yeah. A reserve where they have like a bunch of foxes that just chill out and are clearly like <laughs> capable of interacting with humans and other foxes and i but i, I think it's like a rescue thing right they're not yeah um they're not, like, you get it with squirrels and stuff like that um right everyone's all a beaver maybe just a pet that isn't typically a pet but it's rescued or saved or it, yeah. it or it can't be or it injured and can't be put back into the wild so they just they stay with them. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember uh, because now I'm thinking about the Saber Fox thing. From what I understand, a lot of those foxes were specifically uh, cultivated for fur farming. Um, they just get their fur and then kill them. And it's like, god damn, why we gotta yeah. do this to animals? Can we not, please? Yeah. Like, I, it does make me feel like, man, the people who throw, like, the blood at the fur is murder, you know, that shit. It's like, well, if you just farm in foxes to kill them and strip them of their fur, it's like, man. Yeah, it's not like, after we killed this cow for its huge amounts of meat and organs and all of its stuff and, and this life that we gave it, we also, one of the things we get is we use the, you know, the skin for leather and stuff like that. But it just seems no so... No cow goes to waste, and I think, I, I feel like... Maybe this is there something I'll was... get moved on when it comes to like veganism and all that stuff as an argument. But um, like it bugs me when I when it, you see a racehorse and then it breaks its leg and dies and gets turned to glue. It's like man, that fucking sucks. Like that horse got hurt for something that it shouldn't have been doing, and then it just got turned into glue, as opposed to like a cow being farmed to be food. Um, but even then, there's things about the conditions that these animals are kept in that's really concerning as well. But I, I don't know what the solution is, right? It seems like the demand for meat is so high that it becomes untenable to... As, and then as there's the trade-off as long well, as right? Like, what's that? I think as long as it's ethical, as long as the critters are given a, a decent life and they aren't constricted or mistreated if they're kept healthy and responsible, and then, you know, we harvest them at a certain time, I think that's fine. Well, I know that the thing that is uh, difficult in terms of this issue is that... um that the condition if if you were to have like all cows and all domesticated animals that are cultivated for food if you were to put them in open fields and stuff their carbon footprint is much higher so yeah. like them having a good life is detrimental to the environment and so i, I don't know what the solution is there uh, yeah a yeah it's a weird we, it is a weird one yeah or if uh if i like, give the, it much thought well, uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I think that's the thing, right? We often think about cars and stuff, but it's it's definitely cows that are a big contributor to our to our, to all of the CO two emissions or methane. But uh, enough about that. I I have a pet. You know what? I I think we <laughs> I think we need to consider the uncomfortable solution to like the cow environment uh, methane problem is just. It's I no one wants to talk about it, but it's it's large corks. I feel like that would really solve a lot of issues that we have. And no one's prepared to talk about it. Let's move our meat farms to the moon. <laughs> Just put them in a little dome and put some grass on the moon. <laughs> have cows bouncing around in low gravity. <laughs> Mowing and eating. Eat. I, now that imagery. Mad. Um, you gotta wonder what that would do to them after a while, right? A couple generations. Uh, well, I mean, fuck up their, uh, their legs, that's for sure. <laughs> their bones. Like, that would not... And uh, they return into Earth. No, they're not, because they wouldn't be able to walk anymore. Wait, are you around. are you talking about the moon? Yeah, ex well, it's it's so apt, isn't it, Rags? Like send cows to the moon to just yeah. sit there and uh, uh, and munch on fake grass that we put there, or and hey, maybe that's how we uh, maybe that's how we terraform Mars with a bunch of cows, <laughs> and so we have a statue of a cow in like the capital city of the moon to honor their uh, to honor their contributions to humanity. Hell yeah. Uh, thoughts on the Star Wars Eclipse trailer? Hi, Rags. Hello. Haven't seen it. Don't really. I haven't shit. seen it. I don't. To be honest. Yeah, I just don't really care about trailers these <laughs> it, days. They're just... just always so disappointing, and they never turn out to be anything like what I was given. And they're just chock full of lies. I just, well, I just don't it's, care. It's, I want gameplay. Because cool, I've seen it. It's just cool CGI imagery devoid of context or gameplay. That's so I got nothing. Maybe it'll be cool. Uh, but, 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 uh, raccoons can live for 20 years domesticated. <coughs> they are very neat creatures. Yeah, yeah. they are neat. Speaking of <coughs> Spider-Man, in Spider-Man 1, the Green Goblin has a nice bottom. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. He does. He has a nice bottom. He, he keeps himself healthy. 
Also, thoughts on the Halo TV show trailer? Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't seen it, but I saw a friend of mine mention that there's some, some someone, a human getting raised by the Covenant or something, even though that seems kind of weird. Seems like bullshit uh, they'd make. Cause they, they, yeah. Aren't they like, like super against humans and like religious, religiously the against idea is that? Covenant, the Covenant are religious zealots who essentially believe yeah. that like that, that humans don't really have a right to exist in the galaxy. But the reason why they believe that is because the humans actually are like really significant to the Forerunners, which is the main foundation for the uh, Covenant like uh, religion. And so the, the Prophets basically spread this lie to try and wipe them out. So basically um, it's, a, it's, it's a weird thing to make i would say i guess like why, why would why what? would they raise a human what's that sorry why would they oh uh, why, why would they raise a human like it seems like raise a human no, oh nothing, like, no that doesn't that follow do. to me at all yeah uh but I mean, as I for the show i think <laughs> yeah. uh i think the show looked simultaneously expensive at parts but also cheap um I don't know. It's it's weird. It it looked kind of cheap at parts. Yeah, I'm just going from what my friendo said in a Discord channel. So I, I'm I'm not I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it, and I don't know any better. So yeah, it sounded we'll weird see. if that's true. We'll see. Maybe yeah. it'll be cool, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I haven't seen it. Um, the Star Wars Eclipse trailer, nor the Halo one. I'm sorry, I'm out of loop and I just don't really care that much. Unless one of you guys Me are like, neither. you gotta see it, you gotta see it. Then I'd be like, alright, alright. You don't gotta that, see it, that's okay. Because it's, if it's just <laughs> it's like okay. random space imagery, like, oh, that's Star that's Wars. Because I, I saw it's a bunch a of pictures and stuff, yeah. and I had a friend who told me, like, this... I don't get how many of these, like, I, I, I know it's a big universe, but... How are these things, like, ha Star Wars, you know, this is just stuff, and they say it's Star Wars. Which so, I guess I so, uh, take their word for it. But I'm not you know, sure how just much you know about it. But... Well, so this so game is set in the stuff, right? this this one is set in the High Republic era, which is the new era that they uh, they just made. Um, so I think oh it's set God. 200 years before the prequels. I think is when that era is. Sure. Um, so we haven't seen much of that because it's very much like a brand new thing. I mean, you can make any era of Star Wars look new anyway. You can, with the yeah. right imagery and the right and plus, locations. If it's a trailer for a game that's all just like it's just story stuff and it's quick time events, as I just I want a gameplay game. That's just that's what I like. Uh it take I think stuff like Soma for me, those are the exceptions generally to the rule. Um I'm generally a huge like it, like the the vermin tides and seven days to die, is where it's like no story essentially. It's all just gameplay and go in and get it. Um, games that rely very heavily on the story aspects that just don't have much to do. I'm just not really not not terribly keen on those. They are easily domesticated. They are social creatures. We uh, have got them from breeders or even rescued from a farm after the mother was killed oh. yeah it's just i haven't animals? seen it much raccoons yeah there are possums you can have a pet possum even pet skunks but oh possums oh possums they're great uh see the devil all the time for more tom holland range i've been meaning to see that i have not yet you should watch that yeah uh, Polish army had pet bear that carried mun yep. ammunition. Wojak, I think his name was, or no, not Wojak. That's the meme thing. <laughs> what say. was his name? The the bear. It was, it was Wojak or, or something. Help me out, chat. You you know. What Wo Wo Wojak? That's right. Yeah, Wojt. I mean that sounds it's pretty bad. Wojtek or Wojtek, the the bear. Yeah. Um. Voitech. That's how it's pre Yeah, there it is. That's about right. <laughs> and I think, uh, I'm pretty sure that that unit, like, they changed their coat of arms or something to, like, the bear. <laughs> I, I love how, like, because I remember Count Ankula did a video on it. It's like, yeah, the immediate thing you think is 
the idea of this bear running into battle and fighting Nazis. That's why you might immediately you can, go to. You, but you, it, you have the obligation to make a game out of that. <laughs> Wojtek the bear, yeah, where he goes on an mm. adventure. But I mean, he, you know, he's still... Because carrying... I, I just love the idea of him carrying ammo and drinking vodka. <laughs> just so amusing to me. Now, in my head, when I think about a, a Wojtek game, what I think about is a kind of a humor game where it's actually a stealth game. And the humor yeah. is that you are a bear, but you have to, like, humorously hide behind trees that are clearly not wide enough for you or get in corners <laughs> or hide behind furniture Dude, so that you, you can to... sneak up on the Nazis and pounce on them and rip them apart. And then you take their clothes, put a hat on, and you can actually get through security. This is this <laughs> obvious really bear impossible. with a Nazi hat. <laughs> I feel like, to me, this is just another example of, like, man, this animal... Like, is a hero, and he probably doesn't even realize it. Yeah. And he's got all these statues of him, and he's a bear. You know, he's got more statues than, like, the vast majority of us will ever have, and he's a bear. Like, look at him. Sitting there with his friends, oh, come on, play dude. wrestling. They're gonna make plenty of statues for EFAP once we're gone. I like... I just find this image incredibly amusing. <laughs> that uh, the set, the twenty second <laughs> artillery supply company. Yeah. This is their. This is their. <laughs> Comrade, I I hear you need comically sized pencil. I'm coming. <laughs> I, I mean, I doubt you guys know, but like, how did that come about? You know, like, what, where's yeah. that start? Did they just have a cub and they just? I bet um, they had a cub. I bet it was probably a cub that one of them had. And yes, just uh, they were probably sorry. drinking heavily, and one thing came to another, and it well, just so, became a mascot, and they gave it things. This to is do. the story. Uh, <gasps> um, it, there were uh, Polish soldiers were in Iran, and they encountered a, a young Iranian boy who had found a bear cub whose mother had been shot by hunters. Um, so the bear spent three months in a Polish refugee camp near Tehran. Um, and then the bear was donated to the second transport company, which later became the Tech 22nd uh, Artillery Supply Company. And then he was named Wojtek. Wojtek is uh, based on uh, a word that basically equates to happy warrior. <laughs> um, mm. oh. And uh, they fed him milk, but he, he got given fruit, marmalade, honey, and syrup, and was often rewarded with beer, which became his favorite jig. He later enjoyed oh, smoking, <laughs> smoking brackets or eating cigarettes, as well as drinking coffee in the morning. He would sleep Jeez. with the other soldiers if they were ever cold in the night. He enjoyed wrestling oh, the God. soldiers and was taught to salute when greeted. Um, and he became Jeez. the unofficial mascot. And then he, uh, yeah. The sound perfect bear. Sounds unreal, bear. but also amazing. It does, but it does. Well, so, yeah. And so, I, I know there was something that somebody mentioned. He was he was promoted to the rank of corporal. <laughs> yeah. he, he was a corporal. More of this bear, corporal. please. Because he helped never them carry artillery shells. Yeah, all those um, old bears. Because this is the big thing. It says, as an enlisted soldier, with his own paybook, rank, and serial number, he lived with the other men in tents uh, or in a special wooden crate, which was transported by truck. During the Battle of Monte Cassino, uh, Wojtek helped delivered. Uh, Wojtek helped his unit to convey ammunition by carrying a hundred pound crates of twenty five pound artillery cells, never dropping any of them. Um, Dang. The the bear mimicked the soldiers when he saw the men lifting crates. He copied them. He carried boxes that normally required four men, which he would stack onto the truck or other ammunition boxes. That's what you were about to and say. So, the bare minimum he would carry, and it'd be like free. <laughs> <laughs> like you kidding me? Um, and then he, uh, yeah, his service in that battle earned him a rank of corporal. Uh, and then afterwards, he was he uh, he lived in Scotland. I'm pretty sure I saw a statue in Edinburgh when I went there. Um, yeah. I mean, he's got a bunch of he's almost at the point Poland. where you'd be like maybe there is something to this <laughs> like, <laughs> i wonder how and much of it is embellished and soldier. how much is legit real um mm. well yeah so that's but the thing is and the, the happy ending is that he lived he lived for uh he, he died in 1963 so he lived until 21 which i don't know if that's a long time for that type of bear but uh well, as long as he wasn't like loaded, he, you know uh, let's see. He was a Syrian brown bear. That's what he Yeah, is. that's about, yeah, brown, brown bears are 20 to 30 years, so. So he did have a, he did have a bit of a long life in nice peace in, uh, in Scotland, chilling out. Um, 
Yeah, thank you. I made a video about him. You're gonna want to save that that DNA. You know, I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> save that hero bear DNA. Yeah. Um, rags, headaches are from CO2 buildups inside your house. Should be between 800 and 400 ppm. Buying a CO2 monitor will help ventilate as needed. All right. What was this for? I have, I do, were you having a headache? I don't know. Sometimes I get them, but it's, I mean, it's not a, not a huge deal. Um, our raccoon watches TV on the couch with us, goes outside with the dogs to go <laughs> to the bathroom, has an indoor cage for sleeping and an outdoor cage. That was pretty neat. Yeah, that nice. is all excellent. That's really coolio. <laughs> that would be great. Imagine raccoon, that'd be sitting a... there, sitting there, like, fucking with your, with your raccoon watching TV shows. Yeah, that would that would be a good character if you're gonna make like an animal avatar, right? I I, I feel like a coon would be a good choice. You know, the the ma little mask patterns and the little hands walking around like over the hedge or something <laughs> like that. Yep. Um, at the moment, I'm not impressed as the trailer only shows what will look like visually. What it will look like visually. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Chat. Watch the video. Free navies of World War Two from. Drakenife? Drakenifel? Drakenifel? I don't I'm not sure. Um, Drakenfell? Drakenfell, that's probably it actually, yeah. If and and it's and it's the what now from what? The free navies of World War Two. Free navies of World War Drachenfell. II. Uh if you thought the Polish were awesome before you'll cream your pantaloons. Oh my. Oh my goodness, I don't want to cream my pantaloons. Voitech is cool. Yeah. Mm hmm Cool there. Oh god, now I want to listen to Halo music now, BRB. Oh, that's fair. That's a fair <laughs> choice. You know, you can put it on a little low and just put it in the background, just saying. Ba -ba. While you listen to this stream. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, you don't need to see the Halo trailer except to be... Except for it to be like Mando. My rags. Hello. Oh, ex they said accept. I think they mean expect it to be like Mando. Yeah, maybe. Mando was successful. I could see them deciding on making this Halo series similar. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame. Hopefully it's like the, the, <clears throat> the, the version of Mando that actually could have been good. Hopefully it's more like that. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, bring uh, are cows a detriment to nature? Yes or no? Um, I d I don't understand what it what does it mean to be a detriment to nature in this. That's context? a good enough answer because I was confused by this next one. At Fringy, cows are absolutely not a detriment to nature. That is the first sentence, and I'm like, I don't okay. remember you saying. That definitively, did you? I think you just said they I fought a lot, which think... is true. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, what I said. Uh, look into the Taurus Foundation. It's a P object meant to reintroduce, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this, Orcos? Aurochs? Aurochs. Is that, Orox? Is that, is that how it is? A-U-R-C-O-H-S? Orcos? Uh, back into the European wild through selective breeding. Also, high rags. Hello. Oh, I mean, I, I, uh, I figure that like, I mean, like cows is like in existence in general. They were like detrimental because, of course, they were naturally existing. Um, I yeah, I don't, I don't know enough about that. That's just all I've heard anyway. Is that like meat production is just a big part of CO two emissions? Uh, yeah. Um, it's, a, it's an issue trying to figure out, I guess. Yeah. Opossums are cool too. They can't get rabies because their body temperature is too low. They also eat thousands of ticks really? per year. That's oh, they insane. eat ticks. All right. Uh, have y'all seen Hell of a Boss? IMO. It's quality. It's quality mirrors the Suicide Squad and Squid Game. Great character writing, but not so great plot and world building. 
I've uh, heard of it, but I've never seen it. I think I watched the first episode. Um, it's from Vivzy Pop, like the uh, Hasbun Hotel animation. Oh. I think I think that project is cool though, as like a independent, uh, you know, animation on YouTube. That's like, really yeah, I like what it certainly produced. represents for independent animators. Definitely yeah. being able to put that sort of thing out and having it get it get success. Yeah, Baruni. Seen a lot of porn of it. Watch Successor. Really great writing, good writing, and comedy. The showrunner slash writer. Hang on. Uh, did one of the best comedies for Lions terrorist parody, so quotable. Oh, yeah, I remember um, that one. I th think I've watched it, like, years and years ago. I don't remember it a lot, though. I know Freeman wants to see Successor, right? You mentioned it a few times. Succession, yeah. Oh. I want to I wanna watch that. When did, like, when did Four Lions come out? Four Lions. 2010. That's probably when I've seen it. Uh, I could think of a thousand ideas for a Halo show before having a human being raised by the Covenant, like Harvest, Spartan 1... Oh, so like Harvest, Spartan 1 program, uh, Sang Heli cartoon, etc. Yep. I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure we're still on the same page that, you know, the best writer in the be world good. could still end up making something incredible with that premise. Yeah. Like, I don't know, some rogue Covenant member... Or maybe that they're stuck in a situation by chance, like a like a pregnant lady human and a covenant person, and they have to work together to survive, and then she dies giving birth. You know that could happen. I just like I think we should be depressed for the right reasons, which is it's a new piece of media. Yeah, which is <laughs> that's, a, that's the sad. Part. A new piece of media based on an old piece of media that we like, yeah. which will inevitably ruin it and drive it into the ground even further. There is a Halo mod for Homeworld that plays Halo music during epic space combat. Very pleasing. Homeworld? It's a space RTS. I see. Have you played it? Or? Yeah. I have A long time ago. That's a couple of really fun mods for Battlestar Galactica and stuff like that. When was the next time you played playing Stellaris, huh? I don't know. I'll play it again. Oh. I'll play it again. <laughs> At some stage. Tringy's goo empire not allowed to expand. That's well not offline. what it's called. It's it's all wombus words. Well, Actually, yeah, that's the front. That's what you speak. Know. That's what your people speak with your your goo runes. Mm -hmm. I'll be having a bunch of free time in the next couple of weeks. We might want to set something up with Jay Bullheims. Well, yeah, that'd do be. It. Let's do, 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 see. do it. Do, 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 do it. Uh, P.S. That video I mentioned starts off with a very appropriate Lord of the Rings reference. Um, the. I'm not sure which one you reference. I'm afraid I have to look back up, but I'm currently hunting ghosts. But uh, I can't go wrong with any Lord of the Rings references. IMO. I think people like it, even, like, in videos, if ever it shows up in reference to media, because it's just like, ah. Uh, the comfy, the welcoming, the warm Lord of the Rings. Hell of a Boss is an okay show with characters I do enjoy, but I believe it's overhyped and has issues. Bom, bom, bom. Mm, Uh-oh. See, what are we to do with this? Some people in Super Chats will say something, and then someone else will say slightly different thing. It's it's an important like we can't have this. There has to be one unified opinion. Yeah, everyone Here's says a... this is an echo chamber. Fucking act like it, Jesus. Useless. Yeah. God. <laughs> I like the spits where you can barely be asked to do it. Yeah, it's like. Uh, <laughs> uh. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. Who knows? Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Bears yeah. beat Battlestar Galactica? No, beats like B E E T S. 
Now that you know that, Rags, can you answer? BBBG? <laughs> Bears? Beats? Bears, Battle Saga Beats. Life, I guess. BBB? There, put it. There you go, Mel's fully explained Bears, it to Beats, you now. Battle Saga <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it was. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. So what do you think? The three genders. Makes so much sense now. Hmm. An office reference, apparently. The office quote. US the office quote. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't I don't remember that one. Makes I've sense never to seen me. it, so I don't know. The same tech the Baron used to float around is the same in the chopper's wing blades, moving so fast that they work just like helicopters. There's no fucking way that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like he's a little dragonfly wings. You can't see him because they're moving so fast. He's just a, he's just a little fairy. <laughs> I want that to be so thing. beautiful. I am so beautiful and pretty and that's wonderful. Funny as fuck. I actually I just want, want to that fly to be around true. on my arachnid. Yeah, I do. They're adorable. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, whenever he's introduced to someone new, they're like, don't mention the dragonfly wings, okay? And they're like, aren't they fairy wings? to dragonfly wings. Dragonfly wings. <laughs> Never say fairy. <laughs> Never fucking say fairy. <laughs> Never. That's a big payoff at one of the ends of the books. When someone betrays him fully, they're like, you fairy-winged motherfucker. And he's like, what? What the fuck? I haven't been called that in a millennia, or however old he is in the Dune <laughs> lore, 6,000 years old so or something. Seven like Septa Bumblebill Dillion. Hi, Rags. Hello. Just moved to Arkansas. Where do mm -hmm. you go to have a good time around here? Um... I guess it depends on what you really want to do. I'm kind of outdoorsy, so I go around to trails and mountains and stuff. Lots of parks around here. Um, I don't, I don't go out too much lately. I just kind of been kind of keeping to myself for the most part, hanging out with family and uh, friends here and there. But there's plenty of stuff to do. I mean, people do live their whole lives here. I'm just not the best sort of guide for that kind of thing, I suppose. Fair enough. What is with these YouTubers having a penchant for mentioning Harry Potter? Like, I get it. You, me, and mostly everybody around the age of 25 plus grew up watching them, but they ain't the greatest movies. I think Jay's pretty convinced you that Harry Potter that will back. age badly. Oh. <coughs> it's a coon. Oh, it's a cute image of a raccoon and a doggo. He's got the little dog. <laughs> that is wonderful. And... That yeah, is goodness. wonderful. You gotta show Hanging him. Out. You gotta show him. Oh my him. goodness. Look at him. Come on, That's Sean. Great. Looks great. Fine, hang on, Fringy. It's awesome. <laughs> That's really neat. He looks right at home. He does. So nice. Having a great old time. <laughs> Look at him sitting there. Like, what do you want? I'm watching TV. <laughs> He's protecting him. Look. Look at him. <laughs> That's really great. This this picture just makes me happy. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's good stuff. Duh. Yeah. Uh, flash quote context. Barry is constantly trying to murder himself, even though he can he can save the day and live. So Oliver had to drill that lesson into Barry. I'm gonna try that again. Barry is constantly trying to murder himself, even though he can save the day and live. So Oliver has to drill that lesson into Barry. You talking about the uh, dying is easy? Oh. Mm hmm. I don't know. That's the problem, though. The quote doesn't work still. <laughs> like he's yeah. Dying ain't easy. Especially not all of it. Maybe, maybe if oh, it were. Sometimes yeah. Barry dying is the easy way out. Maybe if he said something like that. 
Hi, Rags. Hello. Are you a steak eater? I love steak. I am. Oh, man. Some days I some we Oh man. I'm practically a carnivore. I love it. Love mm. meat. Oh, it's never been an animal that I haven't liked. Do like meat, sir. Love it. It's it pretty cool. I, I'd hang out with him. Take a beer with meat, you know. Just seems like the guy you'd have a drink with. Uh, if yes, oh okay, I'd recommend Colot steak as a cut. Uh, can you spell that? C O U L O T T E. It's the first thing that pops up. Colot steak. Um. Easy for burning the grill. Steak cut from trying to shape muscle or catch a cut of the top. Of. Okay. Not sure if I've had one of these before. Okay. The butchers I know really recommend good. it, and it's now my favorite cut. It looks really good. Yeah, this looks really good. Oh man, I'm getting my mouth's watering just looking at it. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, the meme was that Mordor were the Nazis, Minas Tirith was England, and the Rohirrim are America coming to save the day, if a little late. I see. And we all still won! Metal didn't. Aww. <laughs> Thanks uh, for rubbing it in. Battlefield 5 is bad because it doesn't follow the three-act structure, also hail rags. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Hello, yeah, hello. Right. <laughs> Yeah, like everything it, no. is That's, measured by three act structured everything. Seriously, it's gonna happen at some point. Some movie comes out that's fucking great and clearly doesn't follow the three act structure, and then he'll be like, "Yes, but it did it properly," <laughs> and everyone's gonna fall asleep because mm. he'll be like, "Let me explain. When you have me... four act structure, what do you need?" Let to me. Do? This is unacceptable. <laughs> Let me fix the story for you. <laughs> Just make a complete Even though it's one. quite successful, I think it could be improved. Here's let how. Tell you, let me explain to you my fan fiction for how to fix the Lord of the Rings by introducing <laughs> a four act structure. It would have been perfect if at the end of the video he, like, unironically was like, here's my contact information if you wish to hire me for a screenplay, you know, creator or something like that. Um... Okay. Though, don't expect me to get right back to you. I shall be busy taking many calls. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now that's some um, the fox and the hound level of wholesomeness. Thanks for sharing the pick. That's Bug the raccoon and Midge the Frenchie. Oh, Midge. Wait, Bug, Bug the raccoon. Is that his name? Yeah. yeah. Bug. Yep. <laughs> Bug. Bug. Bug and, and Midge. Midge. Bug and Midge. I like that bug and midge. Didn't Mo always call Marge Midge? Uh, yeah. Hey, how you there, Midge? How you there, Midge? <laughs> yeah, I like the look of your hair. You caught me at a really bad time, Mo. <laughs> I hope you understand I'm too tense to pretend I like you. And how are the kids doing? I mean, really, how are they doing? Any any injuries that the gambling community might not yet know about? Come here, let me see those knees. <laughs> she grabs Flat's knees. Mo, I think you should leave. But Blanche, you gotta help me out. I'm 64 grand in the hole. They're gonna take my thumbs. Hmm. Blanche, yeah. Blanche, Midge, yeah. <laughs> uh, Secession has great acting and cinematography, but I do believe you will find the writing shite. Please, oh, Efa. No. Also, Rye Hags. Rye Hags. Don't tell me that. Re you say hi, because I, I can't do it because there's only one word in hello, so hello. <laughs> uh, there's oh, only yeah. one word in hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, don't know, I don't know what I can do. I don't know how yeah, I can don't worry, it up. Yeah, don't worry, If people tell you it's bad and then you watch it and it's good, that'll be better, right? Because you'll be like, ha I was expecting something maybe yeah. less. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it's the whole standard, uh, you know, if you come in disappointed, uh, if you come in with low expectation, you can't be disappointed. Finally home, Massive's gonna kill some split lips. Alright. Kill some split lips? I'm not sure what that means, but you go right ahead. I have no clue what that means. If like, maybe have... their, their lips are really chapped, and they need some chapstick? Maybe. I... 
I my I have I get dry lips. I have to use chapstick here and there, so I always keep some handy. That's, Good for using on your uh, fingers too if you need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got next to me. I've got some just normal chapstick. That's the brand chapstick. I've got some. What is this? This is Carmex Daily Care. Carmex is a bit strong. It's slightly grittier texture to it. Has a bit of an industrial sort of aftertaste. Some people like it, some people don't. I got a spare Carmex back there, and I got a Burt's Bees. I will say this. If you use chapstick often, do not get its lip balm. Whatever. So if you do get it, make sure that it's not red. So like cherry, strawberry, anything like that. It could be those flavors, but it can't be that red color. Because if you use it often and your chapstick is red, then it will make your lips redder. Makes sense. Yeah. If Eve were a video game, it'd be Star Fox, Rags is Fox, Fringy, Falco, Mola, Pappy, Metal Slippy. Come uh, on! <laughs> <laughs> uh, movie Bob would be Andros and Wolf O'Donnell, Mr. Biggles. Mr. Biggles. Mr. Biggles is still like. He still watches the real BBC episodes. He's still fucking frustrated that I exist. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> It's like uh, traitor, enemy of Snyder. <laughs> Army of the Dead was a masterpiece. How could you? Dude, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't even seen it. Because it's not Snyder's work, it's Snyder's DC work. That's it. It'd be easy. Look at him. Ouch. Oh, God, he's going to eat me. Oh, that didn't. Okay. It's fine that that just happened. <laughs> um, review Amazon's Wheel of Time, please. It's better than Batwoman and Wonder Woman 84 combined. No promise, no surpassing Captain Marvel's budget, though. What if I don't so it's want better it? than those things, so we should watch it, because it's better than Batwoman. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, uh, your persuasion skill could be better. Mm-hmm. Should we break it to him that we don't watch Batwoman because it's good? We what? I oh, do. Well, so Mahler doesn't necessarily speak for all of us, but some people on the EFAP panel, some people like to watch that show because they say, and I'm only reporting what they say, right? They say they only watch it because it's so bad they enjoy how bad it is. Now, I like the plots and the stories and the characters, and I love the themes, mm -hmm. and I definitely love the political message. I would message. never say anything bad about the themes. I do think those are excellent. Yeah, yeah. That show just has so much to say. Yeah. It, it has a lot to it say. It does have oh a lot God, to say. That is true. It, it, well, let's, well, it, it talks a lot. I don't know if it has much to say, but it <laughs> certainly talks a lot. Uh-huh. The talking is so beautiful. So. Talking is so beautiful. Who are you? God, you shot his head right off, Jesus. Yeah, it gets a bit even more gruesome soon when he puts <laughs> his head on backwards. Oh no! <laughs> that fool. Right now it's okay. He's gonna be fine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I'm moving into my new place and I wasn't able to catch all of this, but thank you for being a place to cool off. Hi, Rags. Oh, hello. Glad that you could cool off here. Yeah. Sometimes we like to sometimes sometimes we like to heat things up here on EFAP, get all steamy. But sometimes we like to cool down and chill and lounge about and just have a neat old time. I threw a bomb into his fucking mouth and it didn't do <clears throat> nothing. And I lost half my health. How is this fair, Bowser? Hmm? And you were on fire oh, at the end. Luigi's on fire. I don't like seeing my Lugie on fire. Lugie do Oh, it worked out to him. I can't see shit back here, game. Camera, help. <laughs> help. Alpy. Oh god, this is so awkward. I'm alive though. That's an important part. Dressful, you know? Uh, the Wheel of Time yeah, theme is sexism. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, right. nice. Now we gotta see it. If the theme is sexism, normally we have to wait until the theme's done before we get into the sexism. But if I don't even have to wait... I'll never skip an intro again. Do you see that? Bowser was yeah. so fucked and terrifying. Like, help! We're looking. 
Lou Gims. Lou Gims. Where are you? Where are you? Go and get that food. I'm getting him, Mom. Do, do more. Yes, yeah. This guy, he, he said, okay, the wedding ended. I'm Got back. <laughs> the wedding ended. <laughs> I'm glad you made it back so we can have some fun. I, look, I, I've been to... How many weddings have I been to? I've been to two weddings, okay? The ceremony is... It's such shit, right? But the after parties can be all right. One was definitely better than the other. When they but, say uh, the I do's, it's, it's adorable. It's just so... Just, ugh. I hate getting dressed up. I did for Christmas. I got this little vest for Christmas. But that's because Christmas is a happy time. It's special. And it's it's a little chilly sometimes, even for me, all fluffy and whatnot. And, you know, you want to look good. You want to be festive. But getting all dressed up in this suit and the, the stuff and having to sit there in a pew and stare and listen to people pew. i love you oh i love you now let's <coughs> get now we're married that's great and it's it's just oh just where's the booze Jeez, i gotta get my three beers in and then we gotta go pin the tail on something or whatever the fuck it is people do i do um. look into tux though you, I have. A, I, I got a white one. I'm being white gaslit, Rex. Right? I'm being gaslit. Someone said, "Are you?" But we oh. missed their super chat, and they got a sad face. And it was their first one. Their what? super chat was check out Alpha Alpaca Pack, it's a video we, series on Stranger Things that. season two. We, yep, I remember that. Yeah, we definitely yeah. talked about that. Yeah, I guess I'm sorry that you missed it, but it seems that we did get that super chat. Big we didn't miss your. We did not miss you your second super chat though, so no, well, you, no, you went into super the super chat. chat. Oh, well, I was <laughs> gonna say that you went into this thinking you were zero and one, but it turns out you're two and two. And I don't know about you, but that's a good ending to me. I get you. Right, Sorry, Fringy. The session is still a great show, but I realized this season how much the writing approach is Batwoman level when it comes to plot, convenience, and contrivance. Plot for plot's sake. Oh, damn. Uh, well, Dude, I, how can a show come anywhere near Batwoman and still be considered I great? Do want to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, there is a chasmous gap between Batwoman and quality. I think we need to be very <laughs> clear. <laughs> You can maybe see a sign. It's cosmic, the this distance. gap, okay? That's the amount of space-time that exists between quality and Batwoman is not comprehensible. Incomprehensible, even. I like to mix it up every once in a while, say not comprehensible. Yeah, yeah. yeah it keeps them on their toes. Uh, Shad have been getting more mad at well, Wheel of Time as it goes on. Shad's your man for it in that case because the rest yeah, of us don't yeah. have any context for this one. Yeah, I could just judge it as it is. I don't know anything about the book series. I, I never read it. It wasn't one of the ones I read. I remember Alpha Alpaca Pack calling your videos autistic and how you don't have any knowledge on film, Mola. You can join the fucking crowd. Loads of them say that. They don't have any arguments, <laughs> though. That's, that's the thing for me. He's like, let me know when you have an argument. I'll be here. Um, I catered for at least six weddings at my last job. They're god awful. I can barely drink. They t take forever, and I have to clean up afterwards. Oh. Well, I was only <laughs> one proper wedding, and that was one of my best friends. So it was actually pretty cool. Got fucked up. I would have been to one <laughs> wedding, and it was a family one, and it was sweet. I was bored I made, for like, lots of it, but I was also fine with lots of it. I made like a whole vacation out of it because they did like the legal marriage and later and like a couple of days later they did the festive one, I guess. So I just stayed there up north in Germany where they were getting married and it's like I'm gonna get this hotel, I'm just gonna go to the beach, it's gonna be great. And it was drunk a lot. Fantastic. Lol, Good I was time. going to accuse you of skipping my owner super chat, then I went back and listened better. Yeah, see gaslighting again. Can you believe it? <laughs> we definitely didn't skip the onus one. <laughs> we did. Remember the onus. Dune backwards is spelled Enud, which is a word that makes about as much sense as the plot of Tross. On second thought, Enud makes more sense. <laughs> Good old Enud. Yeah, I feel like you make something out of Enud. 
Um, it does say the slow blade can pass through the shield, and if someone fire a laser gun to someone with a shield, it would kill both and everyone around them about five miles, so rarely if someone do that. <sighs> <laughs> that seems like something that you'd be constantly exploiting. If I shot you with a laser and it killed everyone within five miles, <laughs> no one would wear shields. That's, like, can we just... Can we Dude, discuss how dumb this is? I'd love it if, like, Rags at the top of his kingdom celebrated to his people, like, we have done it, we're the best, you have your shield on, I'm a sniper, I'm, like, about to wipe out a whole civilization. <laughs> 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 Everything in five miles gets nuked. <laughs> have you seen Santa Inc? Good Dawn, it's terrible. I... I... I just downloaded a... I... when now I, um... I'm gonna do a video on it. Oh, no. And... Do it. yeah, luck, uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, it, it'll be it'll be fun. Dev made a great one, Short Padotaku. He was on EFAP once. He's good. He made a video on it, uh, I think yesterday, and oh, it's good. You that. guys should watch that. But I I downloaded the um, the, it's on a certain site, and so I downloaded those because when I looked earlier, it wasn't there yet, and now I've got uh, copies of it to use. So I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start going through those. Luckily, only eight episodes, about twenty minutes or so. So. We shall see. We shall see. It's probably going to be terrible. Another show with that quality IMO is Harley Quinn. If that quality is better than Batwoman, trust me, we would prefer you recommend things at a, at a degree that raises that bar just a bit. Uh, as, as for the Harley Quinn show, I, I think I've heard mixed things. I'm not sure. I've heard mixed things. They should cast Willem Dafoe as Luigi. Yes. No, Waluigi is who Willem Dafoe should be, right? Yeah, well, I think Willem Dafoe Waluigi for sure. Uh, I like the way they differentiate between factions with armor color. The vastly differing shades of brown, dark brown, mustard brown, and gray brown really help me tell them apart. I think this regards Dune, I'm not sure. An older one. I guess so, yeah. So that Rex will need a lot of booze to get through Santa Inc. So here's the thing. No, I won't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you say so. Well, yeah. I think we'd be in agreement. Chat filter knows F-U-G is a stand-in for fuck. Fug? You can't say fug? They don't let you say fug anymore? Fug. Fuck, Can fuck, you say fuck, fuggin? F-U-G-G-I-N apostrophe? Oh. Fuggin. Send us another super chat and test that out. Nice fucking. Will you guys continue about when EFAP? Yes. We still we will, absolutely. Them. We just got lots of things on. Yeah, on both. All of the you started again, projects man. will complete. <laughs> they just they just take the time. Yeah. Sorry. Um Mola and Super Friends, please see Nostalgia Critics' review of The Matrix before the new movie. I come in peace. Hi, Rags. May peace be upon him. Hello to you. May peace be upon you. Um, It's like the verbal handshake. I don't know what plans we have for uh, good old Matrix right now, because Coverage. I do want to watch the trilogy again before I see 4, but I also would like to do EFAP Movies coverage of it, and I don't know if we can do that. I don't know that we have the time. So, not sure. Speaking of, I don't know if we have the time, that's about it for the Super Chat Catch-Up, I'm afraid. Oh my goodness. All right. da, da, da. A We've, short um, six-hour EFAP. <laughs> let's just say we did a couple of the uh, backlog. We did. Uh, awesome. Wow, that's great. Good job. Now, EFAPers thanks, thanks. who are listening, what you got that's coming, you guys. I think, is mm -hmm. next Saturday day. Will be Spundo. That's, that's um, that's true. And the following Wednesday, I think, will be 166. And then we need to figure out where we're gonna aim. We we can't really do EFAP Christmas Day, I'm afraid. Us too many of us will be busy with things that go beyond being able to stream a chat um, show for eight hours. That's 25th, right? Yeah. Yes, the word YouTube deleted. You know what? I'm, I name. might be so, streaming because I'm mostly free in the evenings. So. Oh, I meant like Maybe people I'm with in... lives and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm so, doing my life days. 
the, the, the maybe 24th, maybe 26th, maybe 23rd, maybe 27th. Not sure when we're going to do the Christmas EFAB. Exactly. Christmas. Um, but yeah, you got you got some fappins along the way. I guess the next thing we'll, you'll see us for catch-up on Wednesday. That'll be the next thing. Unless something gets in the way of that. I, I, we Wait, this, this week? Yeah. I catch up this week. I thought we talked about this. Did we? I've seen um... Spundo uh, around the time that we normally do it. I told you. I don't think we had that much of a conversation about this. You may have mentioned it. No, I'm pretty sure I explicitly said it, and you're like, yeah, that's cool. We'll just uh, we'll, we'll hold off until Spundo. Well, we can do that. We have to, is what I'm saying. <laughs> when are you seeing <laughs> like, it? I'm seeing it on Thursday morning, which is around the time that we're doing catch up. Uh, oh yeah, I just it, you know, big revelation here. But I'm assuming the 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 time it'll take for you to do all that will be like three hours, right? Um, it's more just that it might not line up super well. We we might be able to squeeze in a uh, catch up. Um, maybe, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not moving the date. Is what I'm saying <laughs> to watch the movie. No. So the way it works, right, is if we start at let's say seven my time, and you weren't available for the first three hours, that's. Oh no! I'd be available for. I'd be available for. Oh, we well. You know what? Maybe we can. We can get some. We can get some shenanigans in uh, before I got to watch Spondo. Actually, by the sounds of it. Yeah, that'll okay. be the yeah, idea. Yeah, that, that'll work. Okay. <laughs> Uh, well, look, I'm just saying, you, you told me that we weren't going to be doing it this week. <laughs> That's all. Well, I'm pretty sure I said we'd figure it out. Oh, I I didn't think you even said that. I thought you said we weren't going to, but alright. Well, this is why in my head it's been a thing of we haven't talked about it yet. Okay. That's fine. We're talking about it now, I guess. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the end of the stream, uh, so it only makes sense that people know when we're going to stream again. Fair yeah, and I don't enough. know why you seen a movie would get in the way definitively if we do these for like six hours. Fair enough, yeah. True. So, we, is it going to be later or early? Is it going to be early? Uh, and no, no, no. It, it'll be fine if you start at the normal time. It just means I will have a cap uh, before I have to head off. Is it like a two-hour cap, three-hour cap? Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's more like uh, I think it's like four hours, probably. That will be absolutely fine. All right. We actually shall allow it. Oh, I, just, I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> yep. Good job, Mahler. Yay! Uh, sent the word, YouTube deleted it. Oh, apparently they tried FUG. It didn't work. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you, YouTube, for defending myself, Fringy, Metal, and Rags from bullying. I appreciate that. I wasn't yeah, going to be able to go to sleep very well tonight if that had gone through. Would have been very offended. Very yes. offended. Final thought. Atler is tismy trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Evab 166 equals Morley does Iron Man 3 unbridled praise. <laughs> Maybe. Lies. Maybe. Hmm. Um, so yeah. Maybe. We'll see y'all on the Wednesday more than likely. Yeah. Uh, anything you guys want to say before we go away? I got nothing at the moment. Just chipping away at some stuff. Weekly Metals Forge. Go subscribe. Also streams. Uh, <laughs> Rags, you doing Rags' Forge every week now, or no? Rags' Forge? Um, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Not, not, not the forging I normally do, but it's fair enough. Um, the, I should, within the week, have all my new stuff done. Should. Ooh. So we'll see how that actually turns out. Uh, but I do want to see if I can get this video done before Christmas, if that's the case. But I definitely don't want to promise anything. It would be nice to be able to get into the swing of using them for their intended purpose, which is speeding up video stuff. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to make any promises, but it, it would be cool if I could do that. And of course, the other stuff that's you know in the works, you know, it, it'll it'll be out. It'll be out. And for me, stuff is on the way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Good night, nice everybody. Job. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, having a chat. Thanks for donations. We'll see you next time. <laughs> you sound like you're dying. <laughs> oh no, I'm just I'm, I'm buying. I'm bu buying. That's my bu buying noise. Oh well, goodbye. If that's the case, I'll just I'll just. My you guys did it the normal way. What a weirdo. 
<laughs> Weirdo. Well, yeah, that's that's how I continue to be weird, is I was the only one who did it normally. That's right. Oh Interesting. It makes you think. It does make you think. Every, every, everything I see, it's just a head scratcher. Okay, bye.